while others leave school in Ferraris. Cuddling with Lolitas on the left and royal sisters on the right I start my journey flying on a sword. The school beauty from the next class is stunned, had she known I was a divine being she would never have rejected me. All because I accidentally awakened the all heavens fishing system? With just a shabby bamboo rod provided by the system. I easily fished out a cultivator storage bag containing numerous cultivation techniques pills resources a flying sword. And three first tier spirit talismans, overnight following the all heavens fishing system's instructions. I advanced to the second tier of cultivation, riding on my flying sword I returned to my shabby home. Despite being recognized as the school's heartthrob, my poverty led the most desired school goddess to reject me on the spot, I settled for the class bell instead. But recently discovered that my girlfriend, the class bell Xia Zhuxin, cheated on me with my classmate. The rich second generation Chang Xing infuriating me to the point of exploding, as I rushed over to confront them. I tripped over a stone and fell unconscious, when I woke up the all heavens fishing system appeared. The cheating pair, now that the college entrance exams are overweight for my thunderous revenge, my eyes flickered with towering rage as I cursed under my breath. I despised Chang Xing more than the unfaithful Xia Zhuxin, he knew we were dating yet dared to intervene. I heard he has a beautiful sister in college named Chang Siyu and suddenly, I couldn't help but let out a sinister laugh. As noon approached my gaze sharpened, my first celestial fishing netted me a storage bag that turned me into the first cultivator on Blue Star. Eager for my second attempt I called upon the system to use today's fishing rite, as desired, the cold system prompt sounded in my mind. And the next moment a ragged bamboo rod appeared in my hand. With a flick the rod's transparent line and hook were cast into another dimension. My mind and sight followed the line and hook into a strange room rich in ancient style with candles, paper windows, dull yellow bronze mirrors, and a violently shaking wooden bed, indeed the bed shook intensely with two pale bodies intertwined in vigorous action. Their movements and occasional uncontrollable screams indicating fierce combat, what a lousy system tarnishing my eyes at such a vigorous age. But having come this far, how could I leave empty-handed, as I pondered, I quickly maneuvered the transparent hook to search the room. And indeed I found something valuable, a gold ingot hidden behind a secret compartment of the dressing table. Though it was only about 10 grams, I was quite pleased, I hooked it swiftly and began to reel in my line, escaping with the gold ingot while drooling with glee. This was the first pot of gold that made me the richest man on Blue Star. I soon took out my phone and announced proudly in the class group, Xia Zhuxin from today onwards we are done, afterward I flaunted the breakup fee in the class, wasn't she just disdainful of my poverty? Strutting along the city sidewalks with a grim yet exhilarated expression I occasionally let out uncontrollable, maniacal laughs. It was just past 1 p.m. in June and it was too sunny outside otherwise one might be mistaken for a lunatic. As I pondered this I walked into a gold shop, boss how much for this gold ingot? The moment I spoke, the eyes of several saleswomen dressed in black silk uniforms in the shop lit up exclaiming so handsome. Even the old lady actually looking at the jewelry was staring at me intently drooling. I felt something was off, I often caught the attention of the opposite sex but it was never this exaggerated. Trembling slightly I said miss, the price of gold is by the 500 grams, right? Could you calculate how much this piece in my hand costs? 138,000 and she replied deal done, outside the gold shop I looked at my phone where I had just saved the contact beauty sister Zhao Zi and checked my bank account balance, 138,000 a six figure sum. I couldn't help but curve my lips in a devilish smile, just from that smile two girls passing by on my left stared dumbfounded and walked straight into a wall. Seeing their embarrassed awkward retreat I could only shake my head and chuckle, sometimes being too handsome is a trouble in itself. With looks like mine if not under the blazing sun I might just cause a traffic jam, no matter time to spend. First thing I'm getting a new phone. Then going on a shopping spree for shoes clothes and supplements for my parents. At this very moment, in a villa in the center of Guangling City, Chang Xing was furiously sucking the saliva from Xia Zhu Xian's mouth. Each time Xia Zhu Xian would shake her head vigorously and push him away. If it weren't for Chang Xing's wealth she wouldn't have chosen to betray me and get together with him. Suddenly Chang Xing pushed Xia Zhu Xian away cursing and spitting thick sputum, he glanced at Xia Zhu Xian whose lips were swollen from kissing and a flash of anger crossed his eyes. He grabbed Xia Zhu Xian who was grimacing in pain and furiously shouted why did Kai Xiaofan suddenly break up with you? Did you tell him about us? I didn't how could I possibly tell him such a thing? Xia Zhu Xian, enduring her heartache, dodged the foul-smelling saliva spewing from Chang Qing's mouth as she vehemently denied, if not you, who else could it be? In a few days, I'll organize a group trip in the chat group and I'll use this trip to teach this idiot a lesson. Chang Xing suddenly kicked Xia Zhu Xian to the ground his face contorted with ferocity then he roared loudly. 
In his view Xia Zhu Xian was still one of his women, and it was unacceptable for someone to humiliate his woman in public, the next day at 2.30 a.m., m, I slowly opened my eyes in bed. Ever since I successfully cultivated and broke through to the second level of qi refining I found that I needed very little sleep, it seemed I only needed three to four hours of sleep a day. And I was so energetic that I could punch dead a tiger. Sometimes a short session of cultivation could even replace deep sleep leaving me fully refreshed. Since I was awake I decided to take out a spirit stone and cultivate for a while, this session lasted for two and a half hours. Around noon, just as I was about to prepare a nutritious lunch of stewed fish and soup, there was a loud knocking at the door. My grandfather's voice, surprised yet somewhat excited, rang out at the entrance Xiao Fan one of your classmates has come to visit you and it's a girl. His voice was so loud that not only I heard it but even the neighbors came out to see. When I reached the door I was stunned, the visitor was someone I never expected to see. A girl in a blue JK uniform with her black hair tied into a ponytail and adorned with a pink ribbon, her waist slim and her legs long and slender. It was none other than Xiao Youyu, the recognized top beauty of the premier high school. At this moment, Xiao Youyu was standing outside the door holding a bunch of very high-end gift boxes, her head lowered her face coy and shy like a good girl, I looked at the school beauty standing before me, my face set coldly as I asked, what are you doing at my house, my grandfather immediately kicked me scolding you rascal how can you speak like that. The onlooking neighbors were stunned, watching the scene unfold as if this beautiful girl looking like a fairy was actually taking the initiative to pursue me. They also noticed that my appearance and demeanor had significantly improved compared to before, now I truly appeal to all ages. Kai Xiaofan, I know you must hate me, but I can't help it, my mom said no dating in high school only after graduation, Xiao Youyu seeing that I didn't even glance at the expensive gifts she bought became anxious and quickly explained. So you mean you're willing to be my girlfriend now? I suddenly countered. If you wish I'd be very glad to be your girlfriend Xiao Youyu hesitated for a moment before speaking as if she had made up her mind her face flushed with determination. Hearing Xiao Youyu's response I quickly shook my head and said you hesitated just now and I didn't see in your eyes that you like me, you should go back, I reached out to close the door as Xiao Youyu driven outside finally shed her goddess demeanor biting her lip and shouting loudly at me I won't give up. I'll pursue you for three years or even longer until I win your heart. The incident of the school beauty visiting was quickly pushed aside by me as the urgent matter at hand was to proceed with my third attempt at fishing the heavens. Thinking of this I didn't even eat lunch but kept watching the time waiting until the clock struck 12, I immediately communicated with the system, initiate today's fishing the heavens as you wish the system's icy voice echoed in my mind. In the magical forest of the Dolua continent unlike any on blue star, a 10,000 year old gale wolf, its face contorted, its body as large as a small hill, trembled violently, after a long while with a soft puff sound. The gale wolf finally stopped trembling giving birth to a gale wolf pup. The newborn pup was the size of a baby, its body shimmering with a green glow. Without a second thought I cast out my fishing rod made of threaded steel and aircraft carrier barrier ropes confident in my first cast. When I opened my eyes again a plump gale wolf pup was at my feet, just right as my family's big yellow dog had died two years ago due to poison from a dog trafficker. And I hadn't owned another dog since, now just then my new phone vibrated abruptly. I casually opened it to find the class group had exploded with 999 messages, ignoring the class leaders and some female classmates who had been chasing after me. I only opened the chats from Chun Qinwei and Zhang Jiaqing, Xiaofan checked the group, Chang Xing is actually rallying everyone to go on a trip to Huangshan. I feel like he's up to no good said Chun Qinwei, Zhang Jiaqing, and Su Anling, my closest friends who had already dropped out of school. I had been looking for a chance to gather this deceptive couple for a second revenge, the opportunity had come so soon. This time you just watch I began preparing for the class trip in three days having already noted the exact meeting time from a quick glance in the group. Apparently, the class monitor Zhang Nanan had also invited her best friend. The school beauty Xiao Youyu, because of Xiao Youyu's presence not a single boy from class 3 to 1 was absent each of them acting like bulls in heat furiously boasting and showing off in the group chat. But none of these matters concerned me for an hour later I found myself in the bustling center of Guangling City embarking on a frenzied shopping spree. After making all necessary preparations I spent the next few days quietly at home alternating between eating and sleeping, occasionally fishing, playing with the dog and practicing my cultivation at leisure. This pleasant routine continued until the morning of June 13 at 8 am when it came to an abrupt halt. By 8.50 a.m. at the entrance of Guangling City's first senior high school clusters of vibrant young figures were chatting animatedly in various groups. The largest group, nearly 20 strong, was centered around Chang Xing who was clad in designer clothes and nonchalantly puffing on a 95 Mangliisha cigarette occasionally pointing and gesturing. Flanking Chang Xing were two delicate and graceful figures one being Xia Zhu Xin and the other his sister Chang Siyu. 
As the clock neared 9 a.m. he grew impatient for the arrival of Kai Xiaofan and the others, it's almost getting hot, if they don't show up soon we're leaving without them. Amidst the growing clamor Chang Xing's angry shout suddenly pierced the air signaling the commencement of his planned vendetta against me. Chang Xing you're unaware but it's quite normal for Kai Xiaofan and Chen Xinwei who live far in the outskirts and in poverty to be late piped up a sycophant with a face partially covered in moles quickly catching the rhythm of the conversation. You guys are being too harsh, don't think I can't tell that you're deliberately slandering Kai Xiaofan, as the commotion around Chang Xing intensified Xiao Youyu, who was chatting with a few girls suddenly stood with hands on hips and chided sharply, Xiao the beauty have you lost your mind? Why would you defend that pauper Kai Xiaofan? Chang Xing furrowed his brows staring at Xiao Youyu in surprise, not just Chang Xing but everyone in class 12 to 1 was taken aback by the fiery Xiao Youyu. Well as long as I'm here today don't even think about disparaging Kai anymore, Xiao Yaoyu's eyes bright and spirited swept over the crowd with a non-lethal yet charming gaze somewhat like a protective hen, no one knew what got into the school beauty today especially her best friend Zhang Nannan who was utterly confused, Zhang Nannan had been secretly in love with me for three years. So what if Kai Xiaofan is late and we all have to wait here, is it that wrong to complain a bit, just as Xiao Yaoyu was about to retort to Chang Xing a sleek and imposing Mercedes-Benz screeched to a halt in front of the school, damn whose car is that parking here for what? The three doors of the Mercedes swung open and out stepped Ai Chin Qinwei and Zhang Jiaqing leisurely alighting from the car. Especially me emerging from the passenger side. Clad in fresh snug sportswear my handsome features and an ethereal aura almost blinding. Sorry to keep everyone waiting, to show my apologies I'll treat everyone in the class to a milk tea. As the crowd was still in shock I along with Chun Qinwei and Zhang Jiaqing began distributing milk teas. Of course a few were left out and as I passed Xiao Youyu I even flashed her a smile. This smile made Xiao Youyu's heart bloom with joy nearly causing her to drop her milk tea. Xia Zhuxin's pretty face was twisted beyond recognition unable to accept my arrival in a Mercedes, in her eyes I was nothing but a shell of good grades and handsome looks. Chang Xing burst out shouting and I simply raised an eyebrow extended five fingers towards him and taunted. If you can give me 5000 yuan right now go ahead but if you can't even manage that then you'd better shut up. Chang Xing looked at me with disdain nearly choking in his frustration. Although his family had tens of millions in assets his parents only gave him 3 to 4 thousand yuan as pocket money each month, the reason he brought his sister Chang Siyu was thinking that in a pinch he could borrow some money from her. Watch and learn young master Chang, sensing Chang Xing's embarrassment I deliberately pulled out a thick stack of bills from my pocket and without even counting tossed them onto the passenger seat of the Mercedes. Thank you young master, I'll be going now said the driver and uncle who seemed to know his way around things well. Go ahead, as all the classmates gaped at me Chang Xing was already doubting his life choices. Alright it's past 9 o'clock and we're still not on the bus. Eventually I clapped my hands and like waking from a dream everyone started boarding the bus instinctively, inside the bus, Kai Xiaofan are you thirsty? I brought some soda, the atmosphere inside the bus grew increasingly eerie. Since boarding those who felt misery and discomfort began to increase rapidly. Initially, it was only Chang Xing and Xia Zhuxin, but as time went by except for the driver and a few others, everyone's expressions grew more and more awkward. Unknowingly, three to four hours passed, and at 11.40 am our group of 50 finally disembarked at the foot of Mount Huang. Class monitor Zhang Nannan decisively waved her small hand saying I was thinking of finding a place to rest first, maybe climb the mountain this evening or tomorrow morning, but since it's not hot, let's just grab something to eat and drink and head up the mountain. We'll find a place to eat and stay once we reach the summit. Guangming Peak at an altitude of 1,860 meters is the second highest main peak of Mount Huang and offers views of the East Sea and the Western Peaks. Their main goal or purpose was to camp for two days at Guangming Peak to truly experience the boundless sea of clouds. After more than five hours of climbing amid noisy chatter, the group reached the summit. It was then near a cliffside that sudden commotion broke out, a lady with wine-red hair heavy makeup. And a voluptuous figure wearing sunglasses stood on ground that had several cracks forming beneath her. But including the glamorous lady none of the young men and women noticed the cracks beneath their feet, in a critical moment many tourists and a few quick reacting students immediately started shouting quick come over here. It's collapsing, among them a 20-something photographer happened to turn his fixed camera in that direction, he quickly pulled out a thick hemp rope from his backpack and threw it, shouting as he did so grab the rope. At least you'll have a chance to survive if the ground really splits and you fall, the mountaintop cracked loudly finally splitting completely. A few strong young men barely managed to grab the rope thrown by the photographer before falling. However two women in the group screamed helplessly. Causing sighs and cries of shock from the surrounding tourists all chilled to the bone. At this critical moment unknown to the crowd I pulled out a mask and hat from somewhere put them on my face and head and shouted everyone move aside. 
A roar suddenly erupted among the crowd who instinctively cleared a path then witnessed a scene they would never forget. A man with a sword glowing green floated in midair, before the crowd could even exclaim the next moment he and his sword screamed piercingly as they soared into the air chasing after the two women who had already fallen off the cliff. Swordflight, the legendary Shu Mountain Swordsman indeed I always said that there are divine beings in this world. At this moment Yan Qingyao and Zhu Ziying felt that their death was certain. The two sisters, one a female boss of a multi-billion dollar conglomerate fiery and spicy in both personality and stature. The other, a top-tier red third generation, famously known as the ice beauty within her circles. Never imagined they would meet their untimely demise while climbing Mount Huang. Just as they closed their eyes in resignation an irresistible force suddenly enveloped them. The two women were startled instinctively opening their eyes and beginning to scream. Stop yelling or I'll drop you, I said sharply trembling the Qing foam sword under my feet to halt their sonic attack. His ears had nearly burst from the noise, what was happening, who are you, why are you holding us, where is this, how come we're not dead yet, could this be an illusion after death, startled by Kai Xiaofan's shout Yin Qingyao and Zhu Ziying finally came to their senses, their eyes darting suspiciously over Kai Xiaofan and their own bodies, dead, death was no longer a threat, you're lucky to have met me. Kai Xiaofan couldn't help but roll his eyes several times, he had just closely observed that the two ladies he had saved were indeed of high aesthetic appeal with impressive figures to match, unfortunately a pretty face doesn't t always mean a high IQ. Couldn't they see that they had been rescued, Ziying look, we are actually flying in the sky, what is beneath our feet a sword, my god, you saved us riding a sword, you can fly, are you an immortal? Just as Kai Xiaofan was mentally complaining Yan Qingyao suddenly snapped out of it and began exclaiming loudly, even Zhu Ziying who usually appeared calm and collected noticed something amiss and covered her mouth in disbelief staring motionlessly at Kai Xiaofan beside her, sword. Flying, holding them both floating among the clouds. Such feats were simply not possible for a mortal, this completely shattered her worldview. It was utterly contrary to the strict education she had received since childhood, shut your mouth I'm taking you up, Kai Xiaofan, tired of further discussion commanded before controlling the flying sword to ascend, if it weren't for his inability to watch two lives simply vanish before his eyes he wouldn't have risked being discovered to perform this rescue. As the whistling wind returned to his ears Kai Xiaofan with one arm around each lady soon reappeared at the mountain peak, Amidst the shocked stares of numerous onlookers he casually dropped Yan Qingyao and Zhu Ziying then with a flicker of blue light beneath his feet his figure vanished into the void, no sooner had he left than a large crowd swiftly surrounded Yan Qingyao and Zhu Ziying. The noise atop Mount Guangming was deafening and persistent, yet unnoticed by all the school beauty. Xiao Youyu did not join the crowd, not only did she stay away but she also revealed a deeply meaningful smile. Eh, Xiao Fan, where did you just go? Boon, damn it, Xiao Fan, you didn't see it. A sword immortal. There is actually a sword immortal living in seclusion on Mount Huang, boss. You missed a scene that could have shattered your worldview. What I saw today will be something I can boast about for a lifetime. When Kai Xiao Fan shed his disguise and returned to the class of Senior 3, Chen Xinwei, Zhang Jiaqing, and a few girls who adored Kai Xiao Fan immediately crowded around him, clamoring, I went to find a bathroom. What happened? Sword Immortals and Worldview Shattering. Kai Xiaofan appeared clueless, pretending to be unaware of what had happened. Seeing Kai Xiaofan in such a state, the girl's eyes lit up and they immediately pushed aside the bothersome Chun Xinwei and Zhang Jiaqing, starting to chatter excitedly about the recent events. Kai Xiaofan pretended to listen intently, occasionally exclaiming in surprise. Not far away, the school beauty Xiao Youyu, however, was smiling quietly, her eyes fixed on Kai Xiaofan. Among all those present, probably no one understood the situation better than her, the so-called reclusive immortal of Mount Huan was none other than Kai Xiaofan. Xiao Youyu secretly rejoiced in her heart, among so many people only she knew Kai Xiaofan's secret, if she really managed to win his heart Wu Ti she become the girlfriend of an immortal, if there ever comes a day when the term fairy tale couple becomes more than just a phrase for her but a real possibility, the more Xiao Youyu thought about it the more excited she became and the more excited she became the more she liked Kai Xiaofan. Catching Kai Xiaofan meant not only would she never lack money but she could even become the wife of a sword immortal. As the sweet and beautiful school flower, getting a rich boyfriend would be as easy as lifting a finger, but she knew that wasn't what she wanted, what she desired was not just wealth, but an unparalleled status that everyone would envy and respect. Xiao Youyu's fantasies were known to no one, 
However, the event that occurred this afternoon at the summit of Mount Huangshan went viral online instantly. The story began with a video posted by a photographer who goes by the names Lover of Little. Dragon Girl and Wang Yuyan. He was the same young photographer who had thrown the rope earlier, lucky for him he captured the entire incident involving the Mount Huangshan Sword Immortal, without a second thought he posted it on social media platforms simultaneously unedited, in just half an hour his videos gathered over half a million likes and tens of millions of views across two platforms. The number of comments and shares exceeded 3 million and these figures were skyrocketing like a rocket, the photographer who first posted the video was laughing his head off, not only that. Many media outlets like sharks that smelled blood crazily surged towards Mount Huangshan, some superstitious folks of all ages were howling and rushing to Mount Huangshan by various means, even officials started holding frequent meetings, in no time both the internet and the real world were exploding. There was no helping it as the video verified by dozens of professional photographers and editors was declared absolutely authentic with no traces of editing, shocking, a sword immortal. Resides on Mount Huangshan, a celestial being spotted atop right summit. A sword immortal flying with his sword saves two beautiful women who had accidentally fallen off a cliff. Brothers, hurry over to learn his arts, a man of few words, I.V.E. already bought my flight ticket, I am determined to be the first disciple of this immortal, not even Jesus can stop me, I'm planning to drive to Mount Huangshan to seek apprenticeship and immortality. There are three seats left in my car, looking for three tall beauties to join and once we're under the immortals. Guidance I'll be the senior brother and you'll be my second, third and fourth junior sisters, wouldn't it be wonderful to ascend the path of immortality together? To the person above, are you seriously talking about future? While the internet was buzzing Kai Xiaofan was in his hotel room eyes wide open in surprise at the two vastly different stunning beauties before him. It was already 8.30 p.m. and the students from senior class 1 had already settled into a hotel on the mountain peak and had dinner after the initial shock. Actually, it was Kai Xiaofan who reminded everyone as it was clear what the situation on Mount Huangshan would be like. Following the viral news. Not to mention hotel prices were expected to skyrocket and availability would be scarce, taking advantage of the hotels on the peak not yet reacting booking a few days in advance was definitely a smart move because later even privately subletting the hotel rights could bring in a hefty profit, after discussing, most classmates decided it was a great opportunity and grudgingly rented rooms for about a week. It is worth mentioning that after dinner, the students of senior class 1 went out in small groups to search for the immortal. Kai Xiaofan declined the invitation from several classmates including Chen Xinwei and Zhang Jiaqing to join them in searching for the immortal. Just after taking a shower and lying in bed there was a knock at his room door, unlike the straightforward Zhu Ziying Yen Xinyao was evidently smarter, she even thought of using this opportunity to stay by Kai Xiaofan's side, was that the side of an ordinary person? No, it was the side of an immortal, if those super rich tycoons knew they would throw billions at him without even blinking. Keep you by my side, that is indeed a good idea, Kai Xiaofan thought as he stroked his chin which was still smooth and devoid of any beard slightly tempted, he wasn't lusting after the two women's looks or bodies but he genuinely wanted to understand the sisters' characters and morals better, if he could keep them close for a while he wouldn't have to worry about his identity as the Huangshan sword immortal being exposed anytime soon. Both women were sharp-witted and seeing that Kai Xiaofan didn't seem to reject them outright they immediately seized the moment to bow deeply and said in unison Yin Xinyao willingly serves by your grace's side, I hope grace does not abandon us, in the end Kai Xiaofan accepted Yin Xinyao and Zhu Ziying, their personalities one cold and pure the other fiery and enchanting were not exactly his favorite types, but having no choice but to keep his identity as a cultivator secret he decided to keep them close for supervision. Only when he made a breakthrough in his cultivation to a stage where he no longer feared conventional weapons or truly felt he could trust these two women would he then give them some freedom, however he was also cautious asking them not to stay too close or too far from him while on Mount Huang, they could only get a bit closer when they descended the mountain, after all it was a sensitive period and soon a throng of reporters and tourists seeking immortals would appear at Mount Huang. It was always right to be cautious. And indeed, as he had predicted, the influence of the Huangshan Sword Immortal incident grew day by day. In just a few days, the region around Huangshan saw millions of additional visitors. Kai Xiaofan alone had caused the entire area around Huangshan to be packed for miles. 
especially the spots where the earth had cracked and the sword immortal had flown to save people were now heavily guarded by the authorities, Yen Xingyao Zhu Ziying and some eyewitnesses were almost driven mad during this time facing dozens of media interviews and inquiries from the authorities each day. Meanwhile, the students from Kai Xiaofan's senior class 3 made a fortune, due to the surge in tourists every hotel was fully booked and room rates had skyrocketed by 5 to 10 times, despite warnings from the authorities against raising prices during this special time few businesses listened, taking advantage of this the students from class 3 sold their previously booked rooms at 4 to 6 times the price opting to squeeze in with close classmates and make a tidy profit. Nearly everyone earned at least a thousand yuan. Now everyone in senior class 3 except for a few led by Chang Xing was extremely grateful to Kai Xiaofan, after all, who had ever heard of going on a trip without spending money and instead earning over a thousand while lying down, Chang Xing and his group faced unprecedented targeting and reportedly had a very uncomfortable few days, Kai Xiaofan's ex-girlfriend Xia Zhuxin was also verbally torn apart in private, many girls considered her a gold digger who had foolishly chosen Chang Xing. Over Kai Xiaofan a hidden super handsome guy with the potential of a wealthy second generation. What a topsy-turvy choice, however Xia Zhuxin didn't just take this lying down, instead her resentment towards Kai Xiaofan deepened, some people are just like that their minds don't work well and yet they refuse to admit it, clearly they are the ones who have made mistakes but they insist on blaming others, this situation is especially common among some little fairies, little fairies how could they make mistakes? If there are mistakes it must be those stinky men's fault. After staying in Huangshan for three to four days on the morning of June 17, Kai Xiaofan said goodbye to the class leader Zhang Nannan and took Chen Xinwei and Zhang Jiacheng who were still keen on seeking immortals down the mountain ahead of schedule, however when the three of them quietly arrived at the valley at the foot of Huangshan they discovered that the school beauty Xiao Youyu had somehow arrived first. Seeing Xiao Youyu standing there in a blue dress smiling charmingly. Chen Xinwei and Zhang Jiacheng were already drooling with hearts in their eyes but Kai Xiaofan was holding his forehead in utter helplessness. In the end, no matter how much he tried to persuade her Xia Youyu wouldn't budge, the girl had only one thing to say, she insisted on going with Kai Xiaofan, if Kai Xiaofan didn't agree she would call the police and accuse him of harassment, with no other choice, as the saying goes, strong women fear persistent men and good men fear persistent women Kai Xiaofan had to take the three of them in his seven-seater van, as soon as they got on the van, Xiao Youyu and the others gasped in unison. There was no other reason but to see that the two beautiful women sitting in the front passenger seats were the ones who had been saved by the Huangshan Sword Immortal a few days ago, Chen Xinwei and Zhang Jiaqing were slow to react, but Xiao Youyu sitting next to Kai Xiaofan quickly returned to normal, she already knew Kai Xiaofan's true identity so seeing these two women in the car was not a surprise to her, however, after observing quietly for a while, her lips which were dabbed with. Lip glaze still unconsciously pouted. Yen Qingyao and Zhu Ziying were undoubtedly beautiful each with their own unique charm and even compared to her, they were not inferior, now that they could stay with Kai Xiaofan it was very likely that they had also discovered Kai Xiaofan's real identity like her, the grace of saving their lives, combined with their unmatched beauty and the aura of the sword immortal made them formidable romantic rivals indeed. She absolutely didn't believe any woman could resist Kai Xiaofan's charm. Kai Xiaofan however didn't notice Xiao Youyu's sour mood but simply introduced everyone to each other and then leaned back in his seat to rest, Yin Xingyao, the charming older sister was driving and was very talkative, she chatted animatedly with Chun Xinwei and the others while driving swiftly, the usual four-hour journey by bus was completed by her in just over three hours reaching Wangling City in Jiangsu province, after dropping off Xiao Youyu who was frowning and hesitant to speak. Near the school the van only stopped briefly at a shopping mall before driving to Wuhua village. After reluctantly leaving Chen Xinwei and Zhang Jiaqing behind the van quickly stopped in front of Kai Xiaofan's house, it was around noon by then and Kai Xiaofan's grandparents were at home picking vegetables and preparing rice for cooking, suddenly seeing a long and wide van parked at the door they quickly came out in confusion. As they came out they saw Kai Xiaofan stepping down from the van carrying a backpack, followed by two fashionably dressed beautiful women each carrying large and small bags. Xiaofan, who are these two? The old man asked hesitantly, oh one surname is Yen and the other Zhu they are my friends, we happened to meet on this trip so we came back together, all right they might stay in our house for a while, grandma if you have time please help tidy up the guest room on the first floor, Kai Xiaofan explained, scratching his head. This was something he had arranged with Yen Qingyao and Zhu Ziying beforehand, 
After leaving Huangshan, the two women would live with him for a while. Of course, his original intention was for the two women to rent a hotel in the town above Wuwa village on their own, but the two women strongly pleaded to stay closer, so it was changed to them staying at his house. Ah, uh, it's Xiaofan's good friends come and come in, it's hot outside, Xiaoyan Xiaozhu come in and talk. Upon hearing Kai Xiaofan's words, the old man hadn't said anything yet, but Kai Xiaofan's grandmother had already enthusiastically pulled the two women into the yard, seeing the smile blooming on the old lady's face. Kai Xiaofan suddenly regretted it a bit, because he felt that his grandmother might have misunderstood his relationship with Yin Qingyao and Zhu Ziying. After Yin Qingyao and Zhu Ziying entered Kai Xiaofan's house, the first thing they did was to repeatedly bring in a large number of expensive-looking cigarettes, alcohol and nutritional products filling a corner of the living room. These items were purchased from a large mall in Guangling City after they got off the highway. Kai Xiaofan still remembered how socially embarrassing it was when Chen Qinwei and Zhang Jiaqing those two beasts couldn't help but exclaim holy shit in the midst of a crowd but it wasn't entirely the fault of those two beasts, after all Yen Qingyao and Zhu Ziying had gone big, not to mention other things, just the tobacco alone, they directly bought 10 cartons of three-digit priced cigarettes, the alcohol included four bottles each of Mutai and Wolianye, plus some cosmetics and health products, the checkout bill was nearly six figures. Coming out Chen Xinwei couldn't help but ask more, and that's when he found out that one was A. Domineering female CEO and the other was from a red third generation, knowing the background of the two women Kai Xiaofan's initial thought of persuading them dispersed. Joking aside, both women were super rich sisters and if it weren't for the rush, these little things wouldn't even count as gifts, however, Kai Xiaofan still underestimated Yen Qingyao and Zhu Ziying's generosity. After setting up the guest room beds in the afternoon, Kai Xiaofan accompanied the two women to buy a bunch of daily necessities and even ran to several banks and jewelry stores. By the time they got back to Wuwa village it was already dark, when they arrived home this time, the two women including Kai Xiaofan were carrying big and small packages. Kai Xiaofan's parents who had just gotten off work rushed out to help and in passing recognized some familiar faces, especially Kai Xiaofan's mother Chen Xiaolin who grabbed hold of Yen Qingyao and Zhu Ziying and wouldn't let go of her affection almost no different from Kai Xiaofan's grandmother. Kai Xiaofan didn't bother explaining knowing that his mother probably thought like his grandmother that he was dating. Now that he had graduated from high school and was about to enter university life he was transitioning from a teenager to a young adult, since he was almost a young adult as the parents of the boy they naturally wouldn't obstruct their child from dating, and Yen Qingyao and Zhu Ziying were indeed very good at handling elders calling auntie and uncle so sweetly that Kai Xiaofan's parents were overjoyed. After moving the things into the house, the two women even pulled out their trump cards. Two pairs of gold bracelets and two thick long gold necklaces. And two small suitcases, the gold bracelets were for Kai Xiaofan's mom and grandmother one for each and the gold necklaces were for Kai Xiaofan's dad and grandfather one for each, it must be said that the two women were very understanding, after these gold jewelry were given the atmosphere in Kai Xiaofan's home became extremely warm. Although Kai Xiaofan's family kept refusing, saying they were too valuable and couldn't accept them, they couldn't resist Yen Qingyao and Zhu Ziying in the end. Just when Kai Xiaofan thought things were over the two women quickly opened those two little suitcases, as soon as the suitcases were opened they were filled with cash, Kai Xiaofan glanced over and estimated that one suitcase had about four to five hundred thousand and the two suitcases together were about a million. Before the Kai family could react Yen Qingyao boldly announced Uncle Aunt Grandpa Grandma to be honest we might need to stay here for quite some time, it could be a month or even half a year and this one million is our way of covering our stay. Please Don T Refuse, Xiaofan helped his sisters out tremendously a few days ago a favor so valuable that even 10 million or 100 million couldn't tea compare. As Yen Qingyao spoke, Zhu Ziying had already closed the suitcase stuffing one into the arms of both Xiaofan's mother and grandmother. The expressions of the two were more serious and earnest than the next, creating an illusion for Xiaofan's parents and grandparents that if they did not accept the money the two girls would be very upset. In the end, the four of them had no choice but to turn to Xiaofan hoping he would make a decision. Unlike typical families in Xiaofan's home his words often carried more weight than those of his parents or grandparents. Since childhood Xiaofan had excelled academically and was far more composed than his peers, relieving his family from worry over many issues, as he grew older his influence in the family naturally increased, 
Seeing this, Xiao Fan could only give a wry smile and sigh, there was no helping it. After all, he was the one who brought these wealthy sisters home, except it, he said the favor I did for them is indeed worth a hundred million, a mere million is nothing. Signaling his family to take the suitcases, Xiao Fan mentioned he was tired and went straight upstairs to rest, the addition of a million in cash was certainly good news for the household. Although Xiao Fan had a system and cultivated immortality he still considered himself a mortal, and mortals need money. Late into the night Yen Qingyao and Zhu Ziying lay side by side in the guest room of Xiao Fan's house. It's worth mentioning that the guest room had no air conditioning, but that afternoon. When the trio went out Zhu Ziying passed an air conditioning store and specially ordered four units. Not only did she install one in the guest room, but she also equipped the other three rooms in Xiao Fan's house. Thus, the two women were not hot and the new air conditioning was so effective that they even felt a bit cold, the clock had slowly moved to 11 at night, usually by this time Yin Qingyao and Zhu Ziying caring for their beauty would have already been asleep, but today the two women lay wide awake with eyes as big as bell clappers. After a long while Yin Qingyao suddenly murmured softly Ziying do you think we are dreaming? Zhu Ziying almost instantly replied no we're not dreaming. We really are staying at our benefactor's home. Yen Xingyao still found it hard to believe Ziying I can hardly imagine that one day we would live under the same roof as an immortal Wu Zhu Ziying laughed brightly who would have thought, an immortal who can fly with his sword. With practiced ease Yen Xingyao stretched her little hand into Zhu Ziying's embrace drawing circles on a high mountain Ziying I've decided I am going to follow our benefactor forever, I want to learn the ways of the immortals. Removing the mischievous claw from her mountain Zhu Ziying whispered amusingly we've been inseparable since we were kids how could I not know your thoughts? You just want to use learning immortal methods as an excuse to be close to our benefactor Don Tiyu, Yen Qingyao's face turned red and she suddenly covered Zhu Ziying's mouth, Shu, Don Ti talk nonsense, our benefactor is right above us. After saying this Yen Qingyao's eyes suddenly dimmed, pursuing an immortal is not an easy task, in her heart she actually only hoped to become a disciple of the immortal. If she could learn even a tenth or twentieth of Xiao Fan's abilities she would be very content. Zhu Ziying actually felt the same way, but her personality was more composed and calm compared to Yin Xingyao, so she didn't tea show it too obviously. Kai Xiaofan heard everything Yin Xingyao and Zhu Ziying discussed in the guest room downstairs clear as day. Despite the barrier of tiles and reinforced concrete, he was a cultivator after all. He could hear through layers upon layers if he so wished. Their first goal was to win his affections and become the girlfriend of a cultivator? Their second goal was to become his disciple and learn the ways of immortal cultivation. Hearing the conversation from the room below, Kai Xiaofan nodded imperceptibly. He was now 70% sure that Yen Qingyao and Zhu Ziying were decent in character. However, to be 90% certain would take more time to prove. During this period of observation, he needed to quickly become stronger. Only with sufficient strength could he control the initiative immune to any external changes. That could threaten him, system initiate the fourth celestial fishing, Kai Xiaofan murmured internally. Logically, it had only been a few days since he finished the novice benefits triple draw but counting the days it was time for the fourth celestial fishing, after the third fishing he had stayed three days at home, three more at Mount Huang and on the seventh morning he returned home. Now, as the clock struck past midnight turning June 17th to June 18th th the eighth day today was also perfectly a weekend aligning well from every aspect. Thus, Kai Xiaofan communicated with the system. Hoping for a fruitful outcome? As expected the system responded with its usual rigid reply, as you wish, in the next moment Kai Xiaofan's consciousness along with his fishing rod and hook was transported to another plane, this time he seemed to appear in a spiritual medicine garden hanging in the clouds, this assumption came from the fact that all around his consciousness there was nothing but white clouds, Below these clouds was a garden filled with various spiritual plants. Through the mist, Kai Xiaofan could see a young boy, about 11 or 12 years old with a topknot, manipulating incantations to water the plants. Kai Xiaofan did not act rashly but waited patiently for a while. Sure enough, a few minutes later the child finished watering and left the garden yawning. Fortunate to encounter another cultivation plane, Kai Xiaofan wondered if it was the same one from his first fishing expedition. Muttering to himself, he controlled the transparent fishing. Line and iron hook casting it downwards. His target was clear the hook landed directly on a pure white ginseng in the very center of the garden emanating a strong aura and even releasing wisps of white mist. 
Being a second-level qi cultivator he could naturally discern the approximate grade and quality of spiritual medicines, this snow ginseng not only occupied the central position of the garden but also had an extremely powerful aura. Unlike other plants spaced three feet apart this one stood alone within a three-yard radius. Moreover, what shocked Kai Xiaofan the most was that the part of the ginseng sticking out of the ground was as big as a basketball, if pulled out entirely wouldn't it measure 70 to 80 centimeters? Considering the roots and smaller rootlets, it could well be over 1 to nearly 2 meters long. With this realization, Kai Xiaofan hesitated no longer and controlled the iron hook to pierce through a leaf at the top of the snow ginseng, with the system's fishing line and hook once hooked. There was no escape. Of course, there was a downside. No matter how strong or unreasonable the fishing line and hook were, they could only hook one item at a time. Soon, under Kai Xiaofan's manipulation, the snow ginseng was pulled out root and all. With this action Kai Xiaofan was astonished to find that he had underestimated the length of the snow ginseng it was indeed nearly 3 meters long, a ginseng growing to 3 meters? It was truly terrifying, Kai Xiaofan also keenly noticed that when the snow ginseng was pulled up it brought with it 2 to 3 square meters of black glistening mud, was this akin to pulling up a radish and bringing up the soil with it? Well with the spiritual soil, perhaps he could continue to nurture it, unlike usual after obtaining his prize this time Kai Xiaofan did not immediately pull it up to leave this world. Instead, he let the snow ginseng hang in mid-air, quietly waiting. For something, he had two purposes, one inch to see how long his consciousness could stay in another realm, two to gather some information he wanted to know when the herb boy would come. He had plenty of time since it was early morning in the world he was in, and so he waited for a full two hours, after two hours the herb boy entered the garden again, as expected an unexpected event occurred. The boy stared at the large pit in the middle of the garden for a long while before he couldn't help but let out a high-pitched scream, then without even a second glance at the snow ginseng floating in mid-air he ran out of the garden shouting, Kai Xiaofan listened clearly, the boy was shouting that he was going mad, the 3,000-year-old snow ginseng had been stolen by a thief, that was the only fourth-grade mid-level spiritual medicine of the masters, would the master kill him? So, the snow ginseng was actually a high-grade spiritual medicine that was 3,000 years old, Kai Xiaofan was so thrilled that he almost burst into tears of joy, according to what the herb boy said he could easily deduce the ranking of spiritual medicines in this cultivation plane, by estimation medicines aged 10 to 99 years were considered first-grade spiritual medicines, 100 to 499 years were second-grade, 500 to 990. Nine years were third grade. 1,000 to 5,000 years were fourth grade. The snow ginseng was around 3,000 years old so it was classified as a fourth grade mid-level. According to the correspondence of first grade with qi training, second grade with foundation building, third grade with golden core and fourth grade with nascent soul what he had obtained today was a high-grade spiritual medicine suitable for use by a nascent soul elder. He had struck it rich. After figuring out the rank of the snow ginseng Kai Xiaofan didn't think twice and immediately made his escape, with such a treasure hooked why bother with time tests, he hurried back to study how to consume it properly, what Kai Xiaofan didn't know was that just as his consciousness was leaving with the snow ginseng a grey-robed elder appeared quietly in the spiritual medicine garden, as soon as the elder appeared the space within 10 miles was sealed off and even the air ceased to flow. An immensely terrifying aura enveloped the entire garden as if a volcano ready to erupt at any moment was being suppressed, who, who dared to steal my spiritual medicine, at 2.10 in the morning Kai Shafan's consciousness returned to his body, at the same time a sudden thud sounded out of place in the room, fourth grade spiritual medicine Kai Shafan looked at the gigantic snow ginseng that had fallen in the corner of the wall and couldn't help but excitedly rub his hands together, soon. He resisted the urge to slice a piece to taste and walked to the second floor window leaping down to the courtyard on the first floor. Kai Xiaofan's home was in the countryside naturally not lacking large and small tanks, conveniently Kai Xiaofan remembered there was a super large water tank specifically for storing water placed on the left side of the courtyard, standing next to the water tank Kai Xiaofan gently waved his hand and the water inside the tank was drawn up into the air condensing into a slightly murky giant water sphere. This magical scene if witnessed by others would surely make them kneel before Kai. Xiao Fan in awe. Go, with another wave of Kai Xiao Fan as hand the water sphere swiftly moved over the vegetable field on the right side of the courtyard transforming into a handful of water mist that silently fell down, 
After finishing these tasks, Kai Xiaofan's palm brushed over the water tank, which immediately disappeared from the courtyard as if by magic. Before heading upstairs, Kai Xiaofan casually glanced at the rooms of Yin Qingyao and Zhu Ziying. It was precisely this glance that instantly elicited two increasingly heavy and rapid breaths from inside the guest room. After a light chuckle, Kai Xiaofan tapped the ground with the tip of his foot and soared to the second floor as swiftly as a springing leak. Once he left, the breathing sounds inside the guest room gradually became relaxed and slow. Honestly, Kai Xiaofan didn't really care if Yin Xingyao and Zhu Ziying discovered more of his tricks, like tonight's event, it might have been intentional on his part. After all, his core secrets were impermeable to others, as long as he could control the overall situation, he didn't mind having an equal conversation with them. But if he couldn't maintain control, he wouldn't he hesitate to be ruthless. Worst case, he'd kill them and stash them in a storage bag who would discover it then. As long as no corpse was visible, it would be considered a disappearance, and even if he were a suspect, he wouldn't end up in jail. Moreover, in their eyes, he was a celestial being, and it was only natural for such beings to perform bizarre acts, understandable even. The more he demonstrated his power, the less likely they were to expose him. Besides, he was constantly monitoring them and also had once saved their lives. With these three layers of security accidents were virtually impossible. The next morning at 8, since it was the weekend, both mom and dad were off work so Kai Xiaofan's door was loudly knocked on early in the morning. After Kai Xiaofan responded his mother Chen Xiaolin entered the room, she was immediately startled upon entering. Kai Xiaofan's normally spacious and tidy bedroom now suddenly contained a large water tank and a doghouse. The doghouse was manageable but the large water tank was quite exaggerated. Upon closer inspection Shen Xiaolin realized it was the large water tank from the yard, she couldn't fathom how such a large tank had been moved upstairs and into the room and moreover there was a stark white radish planted in it, the scene was utterly bizarre, but before Chen Xiaolin could inquire further she was promptly pushed out of the room by Kai Xiaofan who explained as he did so. Don't worry about it, it's just a simple feng shui setup. A few days ago, I met an old Taoist on Huangshan who did a reading for me, and then he told me to arrange this feng shui setup. You and dad should avoid touching it, it will ensure our family's prosperity. Chen Xiaolin wanted to argue, but the words faltered on her lips as she suddenly remembered that just last night, their family had received a huge sum of 1 million in cash along with many extremely valuable gold ornaments and other gifts. Could it really be that this feng shui setup was working? The more she thought about it, the brighter her eyes shone. She decided that she must never touch the water tank again, no not just her, but the whole family except for her son. Unaware of his mother's thoughts, Kai Xiaofan pushed Chen Xiaolin downstairs and then sat down at the table in the living room on the first floor. Possibly because they had guests, or maybe because the family was now well off, today's breakfast was exceptionally rich. The table was laden with steamed buns pickled. Vegetables, fried dough sticks, millet, porridge, wontons, noodles, fried eggs, potstickers, and sesame cakes. It was the first time Kai Xiaofan had seen such a spread for breakfast at home. Yen Xingyao and Zhu Ziying had also gotten up earlier than him and were already lightly made up, sipping porridge in small bites. How did you sleep last night? Are you getting used to it? Kai Xiaofan picked up a bowl of green pepper and shredded pork noodles and began to eat with gusto, not forgetting to check on Yen Xingyao and Zhu Ziying during the meal. I slept really well. It's been a long time since I've stayed somewhere with such fresh air. I feel like my whole body has been refreshed. Xu Ziying said, tucking a stray lock of hair behind her ear and swallowing a mouthful of millet porridge with a smile. Ziying said, This place is too comfortable. Yen Xinyao was devouring a baked bun, the lipstick she had just applied smeared with crumbs. She was not as ladylike as Xu Ziying. As long as you're comfortable, it's fine. My intention isn't to imprison you. If all goes well, you'll be completely free in three to six months. But for now you'll have to follow me, of course, during this period I will also provide some special benefits to you both as a reward like this, Kai Xiaofan said, flipping his palm up while only the three of them were in the living room revealing a mineral water bottle filled with a red liquid, this is? Yen Xingyao and Zhu Ziying stared curiously at the palm of Kai Xiaofan, spiritual liquid, just a tiny drop can transform you completely purifying bone and marrow. Kai Xiaofan laughed, shaking the unconvincing Beishishin mineral water bottle. The red liquid inside was made from the red fruit of a snow ginseng leaf he had picked the night before. The medicinal power of the fruit is generally less than that of the roots and the roots less than the main body of the ginseng. Even so, Kai Xiaofan was very cautious only taking one fruit and then diluting it with a bottle of mineral water. 
his caution indeed saved his life, even after being diluted hundreds or thousands of times, just a small sip allowed Kai Xiaofan to break through three levels of cultivation reaching the fifth level of qi training, how could his magical power not increase manifold, spiritual liquid, transform completely, purifying bone and marrow, upon hearing Kai Xiaofan's words the delicate faces of Yin Qingyao and Zhu Ziying suddenly blushed. The reason they willingly followed Kai Xiaofan and swore. Not to reveal his identity was precisely for this moment, but happiness came too quickly and they weren't prepared. This spiritual liquid is too potent neither of you can drink even a drop, it must be diluted, Kai Xiaofan fetched a soup bowl filled it with boiling water and carefully dropped a drop of the ginseng fruit spiritual liquid into it, strangely, the moment the drop of spiritual liquid entered the steaming hot waters the water at around 80 or 90 degrees stopped steaming instantly. Yen Xinyao couldn't help but touch the bowl which was icy cold it wasn't frozen yet but it definitely wasn't boiling water anymore. Before the two women could speak Kai Xiaofan had already started gulping down the bowl and by the time he put it down only a bit of pale red liquid remained at the bottom. Don't look at me even diluted this spiritual liquid is not something you can handle, I've left two spoonfuls for you one for each of you will do. Kai Xiaofan exhaled a white mist gesturing for them to drink the little bit of twice diluted ginseng fruit spiritual liquid left, I'll go first, Yen Xinyao didn't hesitate. And taking the bowl where Kai Xiaofan had just drunk from pressed her red lips to it, after taking a sip she passed the remaining liquid to Zhu Ziying, Zhu Ziying was even bolder drinking it in one gulp and not caring about her image she even licked the bowl, alright soon your bodies will expel a lot of impurities it will be very dirty and smelly you two quickly get some toiletries and prepare in the bathroom. Kai Xiaofan instructed hastily a bit unable to bear the sight he had given. Yen Xinyao and Zhu Ziying a taste of the twice diluted ginseng fruit spiritual liquid first essentially using them as guinea pigs. After the two women had drunk it if it truly transformed their bodies as he had speculated he could start having his family members drink a bit too, he figured it would greatly improve the health of his grandparents and parents, however Yen Xinyao and Zhu Ziying were clearly unaware of this and the two women were just frantically gathering toiletries from the guest room. The sound of rushing water and suppressed excited screams never ceased in the bathroom while Kai Xiaofan was downstairs in the living room eating breakfast and waiting, after well over half an hour Yin Xingyao and Zhu Ziying finally emerged from the bathroom in new clothes, their wet hair dangling and their faces filled with excitement, as Kai Xiaofan had said the two had been quite busy in the bathroom, even though they had consumed the spiritual fruit essence diluted twice they began to experience severe diarrhea within 10 minutes, it wasn't just diarrhea, their skin began to peel off exuding layers of black viscous material. After more than half an hour the two were finally clean, the moment they stepped out of the bathroom their bodies were twice as light and their skin glowed constantly reminding them of their incredible transformation, impressed Kai Xiaofan swallowed down his fourth bowl of millet porridge and looked at Yen Qingyao and Zhu Ziying with a spark in his eyes, unreservedly the transformation in both women was tremendous. If beauty could be scored with 100 being perfect considering looks figure and temperament Yen Xingyao and Zhu Ziying could have previously scored 85 each, 85 is not low since 95 might be the human limit, after all humans are not deities and every human has various flaws and imperfections, but after the transformation by the spiritual fruit essence their scores could nearly reach the 90s. This level was like a cow flying in a plane utterly. Extraordinary, they could easily outshine those so-called millennia beauty stars and various internet celebrities. If they entered the entertainment industry now, the first thing wouldn't be getting them to act in TV or films, but rather, they'd be exploited by the capital's unwritten rules. Master, I feel like I'm full of strength, Yen Xingyao suddenly swung a punch producing an afterimage and a gust of wind, your strength now might be stronger than that of an average adult, remember to be careful Kai Xiaofan commented thoughtfully. Master, I also have a strange feeling, as if I ve shed my chronic ailments and am as light as a swallow, Zhu Ziying couldn't help but jump unexpectedly soaring nearly a meter high almost hitting the old-fashioned ceiling fan in the living room, alright alright you two go to the city and order a set of fitness equipment and get acquainted with your new selves over the next few days. Kai Xiaofan waved them off, their faces flushed with boundless gratitude, after they left he immediately dragged his strolling parents and grandparents back inside. He gave each of them a sip of the diluted spiritual fruit essence hoodwinking them into drinking it by claiming it was a talisman water for peace obtained from a Taoist temple at the foot of Mount Huang, 
although his parents and grandparents didn't he believe in such superstitious things out of respect for Kai Shaofan's filial piety, they pinched their noses and drank it. Just after they finished, Kai Shaofan pushed his grandparents into the bathroom on the first floor and sent his parents to the second floor bathroom. Within minutes, exclamations and the sound of rushing water could be heard from both floors. At 9:30 in the morning, dressed in a new set of clothes that made them look at least 10 years younger, dead grandpa and grandma sat in the living room, staring at each other with wide eyes. They were clearly unable to comprehend the drastic changes that had occurred to themselves and each other. During my recent trip to Mount Huang, I met a highly skilled master and learned some wonderful tricks. However, these tricks cannot be revealed yet, as they would surely cause a huge commotion and bring endless trouble. So you must remember to keep this secret. To prevent the family from overthinking, Kai Shaofan still revealed a bit. So my son is also a hidden expert. Dad suddenly slapped his thigh and grabbed Kai Shaofan's arm, shaking it vigorously. Unlike mom and grandparents, who found it a bit hard to accept, Dad Kaibin, who loved reading martial arts novels, understood in an instant and became extremely excited. With a twist of his toe on the ground, the next moment Kai Shaofan's figure shot out of the living room like lightning appearing on the kitchen roof. Kai Shaofan didn't speak, he simply responded with his actions, revealing some of his strength to his family was inevitable. After all, in just a few days, he had raised a soul beast and a thousand year ginseng at home. If this continued, it was inevitable that more earth shattering things would happen. As a vigorous young man, he couldn't just buy two mountains and retire from the world prematurely, so some things had to be told to his family sooner or later. Kai Shaofan even planned that once. His own strength was sufficient to withstand bullets, he would gradually start to reveal himself to the outside world. He was young and not a coward, hiding his strength and playing the fool was only necessary while he was still gathering his power. Once he was no longer afraid of any weapon except nuclear arms, Kai Shaofan actually planned to establish a power of his own, this power would likely be a sect born in the Dragon Nation but transcending it and even the entire world as supreme sect. When the sect became famous worldwide the first thing to do would be to cross the sea to the neighboring Fusong country and capture all the extremists to make them slaves, the second thing would be to subdue the pretty nation and make them slaves alongside Fusong, of course as of now this plan was still a bit far-fetched, at most a long-term goal for Kai Shaofan, but he firmly believed that it wouldn't take too long. With the celestial fishing system allowing him to fish once a week, after dozens of sessions his strength would surely be sufficient to be fearless against firearms, as for the safety of friends and family, by that time he was confident that he could protect them all. Time swiftly passed and it had been seven or eight days, these days were not comfortable for Kai Shaofan, ever since he revealed a bit of his strength to his family dad had been pestering him every day to teach him martial arts, making Kai Shaofan regret letting him quit his security job. However seeing his four loved ones looking younger and healthier day by day, Kai Shaofan was mostly happy. The day after Yen Qingyao and Zhu Ziying moved into Kai Shaofan's house, he persuaded his parents to quit their low-paying jobs. Considering the family now had savings of over a million inch plus his son's miraculous abilities, there would never be a shortage of money. Kai Bin and Chen Xiaolin did not hesitate and promptly fired their boss, of course the two women were not idle. They rested and recuperated while pondering over starting some small business with their savings. Kai Shaofan didn't concern himself with these matters. In the span of just seven to eight days, he accomplished four things. First, he fed his family. Members a sip of the twice-diluted ginseng fruit spiritual liquid every day which visibly rejuvenated the four middle-aged and elderly people. His parents, already in their 60s, experienced a reverse in their aging, their gray hair turning black again, making them look about 40 years old. His parents transformed from being in their early 40s to looking like they were in their 30s. While the physical appearance was one thing, the main benefit was that after drinking the ginseng fruit spiritual liquid for several days, all four of them had the physical fitness of active special forces soldiers, according to his. Grandfather and father they felt even stronger now than when they had joined the military in their teens and twenties. Yen Xingyao and Zhu Ziying living under the same roof were almost dying of jealousy as they hadn't tea tasted the ginseng fruit spiritual liquid since the first day, second after several days of intense cultivation and consuming the ginseng fruit spiritual liquid that was only diluted once, Kai Shaofan rapidly advanced to the sixth level of qi training. If the second level of qi allowed him to fly from the city to his rural hometown in about five minutes before exhausting his power, the sixth 
Level of chi training enabled him to sustain flight for an hour and cover 30 to 40 kilometers in less than two minutes. Third, he engaged in his fifth session of fishing through the heavens, this time he was also lucky to encounter a cultivation plane again, the site of his consciousness descent appeared to be a mining area for spirit stones, amid a large pile of raw ores Kai Xiaofan carefully selected for a long time before reluctantly abandoning a mountain-like pile of spirit stone ores choosing instead the largest and most spirit-rich stone. He guessed that this piece of spirit stone ore was definitely of medium quality, if broken down it would roughly be equivalent to 50 or 60 medium-grade spirit stones, by comparison one medium-grade spirit stone was at least equivalent to 100 low-grade spirit stones, this fifth fishing expedition turned out to be quite profitable though it was not as rewarding as the fourth catch which was the snow ginseng. Fourth, his college entrance examination results were released and even the admission notice had already been mailed to him, unquestionably his scores were high enough for first-tier universities but his first choice of university was not met. Instead, he was admitted to his casually chosen second choice Magic City Drama Academy. Magic City Drama Academy was also a first tier institution, selected initially because he heard that the academy was full of beautiful girls and also because it was close to Jiangsu Province's home. Surprisingly, he hit the mark, and the admission notice stated he should arrive in Magic City by September 6, with the new academic year starting on September 7, meaning he still had over two months to stay at home. On June 27, the morning after his fifth heavenly fishing expedition Kai Xiaofan's parents began a phone marathon that lasted over an hour, discussing his upcoming educational celebration. They notified everyone school teachers, relatives, friends, former colleagues, even fellow villagers with the same surname and neighbors on both sides. For those elderly who had difficulty walking his grandparents notified them using an electric tricycle, in the end, the number of guests who confirmed their attendance was astonishingly around 15 to 16 tables for the evening alone, counting the lunch session they might end up hosting about 20 or more tables of banquets in one day, today the Kai family was no longer what it once was, eager to reclaim their pride and show off the elders decided to hold a rather grand celebration. For Kai Xiaofan's academic success. According to the grandfather, the banquet must be held in the countryside, calling in local caterers. The standard had to be high, in the rural areas of Guangling City, each table costing between 800 to 1,000 yuan for the food alone, plus cigarettes and drinks, would make it about 1,500 yuan per table, which was considered quite generous. After all, this was not a hotel. If it were just the food would cost 2 to 3,000 yuan per table, with 20 or so tables. For both dinner and breakfast the expense would easily reach around 40,000 yuan. While the family was heatedly discussing around Kai Xiaofan's university admission letter Yin Xinyao who had been quietly observing suddenly interjected, Uncle, Auntie, Grandpa, Grandma, my family just happens to have opened a big hotel, we have chefs and ingredients ready, why don't you let me handle this event, don't you worry about the money, I assure you it will bring great honor to your family. By now Kai's family were aware that Kai Xiaofan had saved Yin Qingyao and Zhu Ziying at Mount Huang. But owing to the strict family discipline and having served in the military for generations, they naturally declined taking any advantage from the two young ladies, hence they politely refused Yin Qingyao's offer. However, they underestimated the determination of Yin Qingyao and Zhu Ziying, seeing a rare opportunity to earn Kai Xiaofan's favor, how could they let it slip away? While the family was still considering which local caterer to hire Yin Qingyao stealthily stepped outside and made a phone call, in less than three minutes she returned innocently announcing, it's all settled. The standard is 5,000 per table each table gets two bottles of alcohol and one pack of 95 brand cigarettes totaling 26 tables, 10 for lunch and 16 for dinner. The hotel staff will arrive at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Chen Xiaolin holding Yin Qingyao's hand was at a loss for words for a moment and so were the elders. For the countryside of Guangling City where a banquet table normally costs no more than 2,000 yuan Yin Qingyao's arrangement of 7 to 8. Thousand yuan per table was extravagantly high. This display would certainly bring immense face to the Kai family making their friends and relatives think they had struck it rich, However, it also seemed excessively wasteful, estimating the costs, the celebration would likely result in a loss of at least 100,000 yuan, fortunately, in the end, it was Kai Xiaofan, the youngest family member who made the decision to proceed as planned, the two ladies were wealthy and influential, such an amount was trivial to them, so why be formal?
In comparison his own ginseng fruit spiritual liquid was truly precious a single drop was a rare treasure not purchasable with money, if need be he could simply give Yin Qingyao and Zhu Ziying another drop of the ginseng fruit spiritual liquid later, in the grand scheme, the two ladies were definitely making a huge gain. The next morning at 7.35 brand new trucks with banners of the Magic City Peninsula Holiday Hotel and two Mercedes-Benz vans grandly entered Wawa Village attracting countless villagers to follow, such a lineup might not mean much in the city or the province, but appearing in a remote village it was incredibly eye-catching. Especially to the young people at home for the summer holidays who after a moment of shock started shouting excitedly, after all the name Magic City Peninsula Holiday Hotel carried significant weight, just the mention of Magic City was enough to say it all a hotel that could establish itself in such a top-tier city was no ordinary place. Not to mention that the Peninsula Holiday Hotel was a nationally renowned, heavily advertised, five-star chain hotel. What business did such a hotel have? Coming to this remote corner of the countryside? In the village, there are hardly any secrets, especially with a dedicated community service group online, so it didn't take long for half of the villagers to learn that a five-star hotel chef team from the metropolis had arrived in their village, especially when the convoy stopped right in front of Kai Xiaofan's house, the community group was buzzing like a disturbed beehive. Just yesterday, many had received invitations to a banquet celebrating academic advancements at the Kai household. But few had taken it seriously. Everyone assumed it would be a modest affair with a few tables for lunch and dinner, who would have thought that the Kais known in the village for their humble means would bring in a whole five-star hotel team to cater the event, it was like using a cannon to kill a mosquito, after all even the village chief couldn't pull off such a feat so how could the Kais? A curious villager approached the elderly Mr. Kai who was helping unload ingredients and the answer he received left him utterly shocked, this prompted another villager Kai Ji Chang a distant relative of the Kai household to dash home, when someone stopped him to ask why he blurted out, the hotel chefs were indeed called by Kai Bin's family and I heard each table costs a whopping 7 to 8 thousand yuan, move aside. With such grand arrangements, we can't just contribute 2 or 300 yuan as a courtesy gift, I need to get another 300 inch no 500 from my wife. Watching Kai Ji Chiang hurry off, dozens of idle villagers were stunned, 7 to 8 thousand yuan per table, that's more lavish than what the town mayor's son would dare to spend on his wedding, Kai Xiaofan of course saw the crowd of villagers gathering in the distance, but he was too busy to attend to them, at that moment he was helping his family and friends Yen Qingyao and Zhu Ziying with the preparations, even with their help, they were short-handed but he had already messaged Chen Qinwei and Zhang Jiaqing who would soon arrive. It was evident that the hotel staff, summoned over the phone by Yen Qingyao, were not familiar with catering in rural settings and were quite inexperienced, a dozen people had been bustling about for a while and had only just finished unloading the ingredients, the tables chairs and red tents were still not set up, however fortunately although inexperienced the team was well prepared, at that time Kai Xiaofan was fussing with a red inflatable arch. When he finally managed to inflate and erect the first arch, the congratulatory message, congratulations to Kai Xiaofan of the Kai Mansion on his high school acceptance to a top university in the metropolis, was clearly visible. Below the large characters, there was a line of smaller text, General Manager Wang Lei of the Peninsula Holiday Hotel franchise in the metropolis congratulates Kai Xiaofan. Kai Xiaofan nodded, memorizing the name, then continued his efforts. Shortly after Qin Qinwei and Zhang Jiaqing arrived and before long 18 majestic red arches spanned the thousand-meter-long asphalt road leading to the house filling the village with festive joy, done, let's head back, after setting up the 18 inflatable arches Kai Xiaofan dusted off his hands and returned to the front of his house with Chun Qinwei and Zhang Jiaqing, holy smokes, Australian dragon, abalone, are these spotted groupers? And boxes of liquor and prestigious. Cigarettes, Xiao Fan. Did your dad win the lottery with such extravagance? They had just reached the front door when they saw the piles of ingredients and alcohol causing Chun Xinwei and Zhang Jiaqing to gasp and exclaim loudly, their shouts immediately shook the lingering villagers nearby and many who had initially doubted Kai Jiqiang's claims now rushed over, crowding together in excitement. Within seconds, a chorus of synchronized gasps resounded at the doorstep of Kai Xiaofan's home, Zhang Zhengming was in. A foul mood, especially since his wife received a call from her impoverished relatives yesterday morning inviting their family of three to a university admission celebration banquet. 
Logically, these poor relatives were his wife's younger sister his sister-in-law yet what was his own social standing, four years ago during the demolition his family was compensated with 3-7 million yuan, he saved 2-7 million yuan and spent 1 million on an unrenovated second-hand apartment in a remote old district. Unexpectedly, less than a year later, just after the renovations were completed the old district was slated for demolition again, this time, instead of receiving cash, they were compensated with three apartments, in less than five years his single apartment turned into two, seven million yuan in cash plus three apartments. Within four to five years Zhang Zhangming transformed from a struggling carpenter into a small business owner with nearly three million yuan in savings and three apartments, as his wealth increased so did his arrogance, his disdain for his poorest sister-in-law's family grew over the years, neither did his wife correct him, in fact she shared his sentiments, Despite being her own sister she had often ridiculed and dismissed her especially during her sister's family's most desperate times when they had come to borrow money only to be turned away under the pretense that all their money was tied up in business. But this time was different, they heard that their nephew had been admitted to a top university in Shanghai, that was a top-tier university in Shanghai, if he graduated and stayed in Shanghai his prospects could be very promising, Thus after discussing it with his wife Zhang Zhangming decided to set aside his pride and attend the celebration banquet. Approaching noon Zhang Zhangming his wife Chen Xiaoyan and their daughter Zhang Min got into a Mercedes, as they were boarding Zhang. Zhangming handed Chen Xiaoyan 200 yuan. Chen Xiaoyan hesitated as she looked at the money wanting to say something but ultimately remained silent, meanwhile Zhang Min who was around 24 or 25 frowned and said just 200 yuan for a visit to my aunt's place, ISNT the too little, what do you mean too little, Zhang Zhangming snorted and reprimanded then started the car, Min Min it is not that your dad and I are stingy, you know the situation at your aunt s and uncle s. This university admission banquet is probably just a gathering at a rural kitchen and a table of dishes might cost just 7 or 800 yuan at most, our 200 yuan contribution just for a meal there means your aunt s family will not only not lose out they ll actually make a profit, Chen Xiaoyan added with a laugh patting Zhang Min s hand, Zhang Min seemed to want to say something but ended up holding back, alright let us not dwell on it, we re just going there to show our faces. With your dad's current status and position attending your cousin's university admission banquet is already giving your aunt face, the money isnt important Chin Xiaoyan reassured her and the conversation ended there. Kai Xiaofan's maternal family had many relatives, his grandmother had five children, four daughters and one son, Kai Xiaofan's mother was the youngest daughter, above his mother he had three aunts and Chen Xiaoyan was the second aunt making Zhang Zhangming the second uncle, the youngest was an uncle, the three aunts were fortunate. Their husbands were all from a place called De Wangzwang where most of the residents had become demolition beneficiaries in recent years. Since these aunts and uncles had a low level of education their newfound wealth only made them increasingly sharp-tongued and critical, only the uncle's family who like their own had not benefited from a demolition maintained a relatively good relationship with them often sticking together. Aside from these aunts and uncles Kai Xiaofan's father had many relatives on his side, However, due to the distance, they rarely contacted each other unless it was for a significant event, so let's leave them aside for now. By 10.30 in the morning, guests began to arrive one after another with relatives from Kai Xiaofan's father's side arriving first since they lived farthest away, undoubtedly when these people saw the Peninsula Holiday Hotel car and various precious food and drinks in the yard everyone was stunned, especially an uncle and aunt from the same village who didn't get along well with the family, they nearly popped their eyes out at the scene. They didn't mingle much, but to suddenly strike. It rich like this? Especially Uncle Jia Song Yuan, he still remembered how a few years ago his brother-in-law Kaibin who had failed in business had come to borrow money and was pitifully refused, and now, that pitiful brother-in-law was tucking not one but two imperial cigarettes under his arm scattering them around everywhere as if he wished he could even give one to any passing dog. Most importantly every member of Kai Xiaofan's family was now surrounded by a crowd of people flattering them. Disgusting. Zhao Song Yuan couldn't help but curse silently in his heart, but it wasn't long before Zhao Song Yuan looked at the cigarette in his hand worth 5 yuan each, twitched the corner of his mouth and soon was smiling and heading towards the old man who was boasting among a group of neighbors. Dad, what fortune has our family come into? Around 11 o'clock, the cold dishes were served and even the relatives from the village had arrived with several aunts and uncles arriving as if they had planned to come together. 
In fact, they were the ones who lived the farthest from Kai Xiaofan's family, but clearly, they didn't care too much about it so they arrived the latest, this was in stark contrast to the attitude of the uncle and aunt who had arrived at Kai Xiaofan's house just after nine and had been helping out since. When Shang Zhengming parked his car and walked to the entrance with his family and his aunts who were also relocation residents, they ran right into Kai's father who was surrounded by neighbors and laughing heartily, you're here? Since everyone's here, come in and sit down the feast is about to start, Kai Ben glanced over at neither cold nor warm and gestured them in with a wave of his hand, he had indeed lost money in business and drained the family finances, but it was precisely because of this that he knew the true faces of his wife's relatives, clearly wealthy, but they refused to lend a penny, millions in savings plus several houses, yet when he went to ask he couldn't tea borrow even a single yuan and also had to endure a scolding ultimately returning home in disgrace. Kaibin and Dong Ti dwell too much on the past, I heard little Fan got into a good university, here, this is a small token from us elders, the other two ants immediately also pulled out some banknotes to hand over, however, before the money reached Kai Bin's hands, Kai Xiaofan's mother Chen Xiaolin walked by holding several bottles of wine, sisters, it's good enough that you came forget about the money, Xiaolin where did you buy all this fake alcohol from, fake alcohol is cheap, but it's not good for the health, Shang Zhengming's eyes shifted and suddenly he pointed at the wine in Chen Xiaolin's arms and shouted loudly. His shout was definitely with ulterior motives, he couldn't he believe that his sister-in-law's family could afford real alcohol, especially in such quantity, the alcohol must be fake, however, although his shout attracted attention, the people who had already sat down didn't he react as he expected, instead, they looked at him with a very strange expression. Just at that moment in the yard where Kai Xiaofan had just finished arranging the cigarettes he also came out with Chun Xinwei and Zhang. Jia Cheng. The entrance of the three was somewhat flamboyant, each of them had an unopened pack of Supreme 95 cigarettes tucked under their armpits and even held a few open ones in their hands, leading them was Kai Xiaofan who upon arriving didn't hesitate to tear open a pack of Supreme 95s and distribute a cigarette to each of the three uncles, including Shang Zhengming, being seasoned smokers, they instinctively pulled out lighters and lit up, only after exhaling a few puffs of smoke did they shockingly realize the truth. The cigarettes were genuine. Supreme 95s, costing a hundred yuan per pack, and here these young men had seven or eight packs on them that was a whopping seven to eight thousand yuan, and if the cigarettes were real, what about the alcohol? Could that be fake? Uncle Wu Diong, unable to contain his excitement, snatched a bottle of alcohol from Chen Xiolin's hands, and after popping the cork, he was petrified on the spot. Uncle Chen Jiang, skeptical, suddenly rushed into the courtyard, but within five seconds, his scream echoed. The packaged kitchen was actually from a five star chain hotel. His shot made it clear to everyone everything was real, the cigarettes were real, the alcohol was real, even the chefs came from a five star hotel. The once poor relatives had suddenly thrown a lavish entrance exam celebration party. By 1 p.m., as Shang Zhengming and Chen Shaiyan were preparing to head home, their minds were still somewhat dazed. Shang Zhengming was genuinely bewildered. The table today was filled with genuine Fatian alcohol, a quality so high that even with his wealth, he could not afford to drink regularly, which led him to overindulge. Chen Shaiyan was in disbelief, unable to comprehend how her always impoverished younger sister could afford such a luxurious banquet. She had even shamelessly asked Chen Xiaolin during the banquet, but Chen Xiaolin only responded with smiles, saying nothing more. Even when she finally toughened up and increased her gift money to a thousand yuan, she couldn't get any information out of Chen Xiaolin. Not only were Shang Zhengming and Chen Shaiyan shocked, but Kai Xiaofan's maternal aunts and their families, who had previously acted superior, also changed their tone and became much more reserved in their conversation. It's worth mentioning that the standard set by Kai Xiaofan's entrance exam celebration thoroughly impressed everyone at least prompting the three families who originally looked down on the Kai family to increase their gift money from 200 to over 600 yuan, still, Kai Xiaofan's parents kept refusing to accept it. It wasn't until they couldn't resist the persistent insistence of the three families who shamelessly kept pushing the money that they reluctantly accepted. However, the gift money from the uncle and auntie who had always had a good relationship with Kai's parents and who had come early in the morning to help was firmly declined, it was both reasonable and proper not to accept their money. The entrance exam celebration was split into two parts, one at noon and another in the evening, and just the ten tables from the noon session alone had established a significant reputation for the Kai family, in these times, who doesn't care about face? 
who doesn't compare themselves with others, in the countryside a single banquet table costing nearly 10,000 yuan and having 20-something tables, what kind of level was that, without exaggeration such a standard of banquet in the surrounding villages and even in the towns above Wuwa village like Guowa town was unprecedented. Everyone who could enter the Kai family's courtyard for the meal almost all took photos and shared them on their social circles, they flaunted there. Experience which also made their friends and relatives on social media quite envious and jealous. Overnight the once inconspicuous Kai family became the most famous and wealthy household within 10 miles, relatives and friends who once looked down on Kai Xiaofan and his family suddenly changed their attitudes, becoming as warm as fire, Dad, are you going for a walk right after breakfast again? A few days later on a weekend morning just after breakfast Kai Xiaofan saw his father Kai Bin ready to go out for a walk hands behind his back and a cigarette in his mouth which prompted him to ask. It was you who told me to quit my job and rest at home what's wrong, do you have a problem with me going out for a walk after meals, the old man took a deep drag on his cigarette squinting back at Kai Xiaofan, how could I have a problem, I just want you to smoke less, don't ruin your health just as it's getting better. Kai Xiaofan quickly shook his head and explained, with your elixir there is nothing to worry about, I'm off. Waving his hand Kai Bin strode out the door, Kai Xiaofan could only smile wryly at this scene, he knew exactly why his father liked to go out for walks. Since the day of the academic celebration banquet not only his parents but even his grandparents had taken up the habit of strolling around the village, it was irresistible, the villagers always had such nice things to say, Going out often brought a whole lot of praise and flattery, it wasn't an exaggeration to say that the most leisurely old man now held a status in Wuwa village that was almost on par with the village chief. ISNT this Kai Xiaofan s house is Kai Xiaofan, get your ass out. Here now. Just a few minutes after the old man left and right as Kai Xiaofan finished his breakfast and was about to go upstairs to check on his snow ginseng and wind wolf cub a sharp female voice suddenly rang out at the door, what is going on? What happened? Seems like someone is here to cause trouble, hey. Perhaps being too high profile in the past few days had made some people jealous and hearing the commotion, several of Kai Xiaofan's neighbors had already come out with their bowls in hand to watch the excitement, about to go upstairs, Kai Xiaofan heard the noise too, but he frowned puzzled. He couldn't t recall offending anyone and the voice outside was clearly that of an older fierce woman, Xiaofan what is going on, at that moment his mother and grandmother as well as Yen Qingyao and Zhu Ziyin who had just been fast asleep all came out yawning their hair disheveled, it is nothing I ll handle it, he waved his hand to indicate there was no need to panic and Kai Xiaofan then confidently walked out to the iron gate, just as he stepped out he saw his ex-girlfriend Xia Zhuxin standing there. Her cheeks were slightly red with tears streaking down and her pale hands were daintily pinching the bright yellow hem of her dress looking utterly aggrieved and pitiful, next to her a slightly overweight middle-aged woman was loudly berating the neighbor standing by Kai Xiaofan, Kai Xiaofan recognized her as Xia Zhuxin's mother Wang Qing, what are you two doing making a scene at my doorstep, if you're sick go to the hospital, if it's money you need I can lend you a few hundred. Kai Xiaofan said coldly his young voice carrying an unexpected authority that immediately subdued the clamorous Wang Qing, you, you're the brat who dated my daughter for three years, you look decent enough, but you handle things quite poorly, my daughter was with you for three years, wasting three years of her youth, and you just break it off with a single sentence, upon seeing the tall and handsome Kai Xiaofan, Wang Qing's tone hesitated for a moment, even though she was there to create a Seen she couldn't tea help but inwardly admit that the young man was indeed handsome, Auntie, are you here to joke around? What era do you think this is? I dated your daughter for three years, but now we've broken up and there's no connection left between us, yet from what you're implying, are you seriously expecting me to pay compensation? Kai Xiaofan could instantly see Wang Qing's intentions, he had been puzzled why Xia Zhuxin, despite him being such a handsome guy, would abandon him to secretly meet with Chang Xing. Today after seeing Wang Qing he understood it as a case of like mother like daughter. I'm not dealing with this, if we don't get some kind of explanation today I'm not leaving, my beautiful daughter was with you for three years and I heard that your family is so poor that sometimes she even had to pay for the hotel rooms, you just graduated from high school and dumped her just like that, is that acceptable, let's all judge this, don't you think this Mr. Kai is a scumbag? Wang Qing hands on hips and stomping her feet was so agitated that her spittle flew in all directions, causing the onlookers to step back in alarm. 
Wang Cheng ISNT particularly attractive in fact you might say she is both short and ugly, Xia Zhuxin looks good supposedly thanks to her father's genes, honestly Wang Qing only learned about her precious daughter being dumped by a young boy a few days ago when she saw Xia Zhuxin in a daze, after finding out she Wang T even slightly upset because Xia said the guy who dumped her was also from their village and his family was extremely poor, although Wang Qing was unreasonable she Wun. T waste time trying to extort a poor family. She thought this issue would just fade away but just today while out buying groceries she overheard some people talking about how the family of the boy who dumped her daughter had suddenly come into money and spent hundreds of thousands on a college acceptance celebration that was unacceptable. After a few inquiries Wang Qing didn't tea hesitate. She dropped her shopping and rushed home dragging the just awakened Xia Zhuxin straight to Kai Xiaofan's doorstep to cause a scene. Although what you're saying is as nonsensical as flatulence and your shameless demeanor is truly despicable I still want to hear how much you think I owe your daughter for her lost youth. At this point Kai Xiaofan was not in a hurry anymore instead he casually crossed his arms and asked languidly, 500,000, not a penny less, pay that and we re-clear. Thinking Kai Xiaofan was considering a compromise Wang Qing perked up and proudly held out her hand, Kai Xiaofan cursed outright instantly losing any mood for further antics and turned to leave, you dare curse at me, you dare insult me, I'll scratch you to death you scumbag taking advantage of my daughter. In front of a crowd being insulted by a young man Wang Qing's eyes bulged with fury as she lunged at Kai Xiaofan claws ready, are you sure you want me to spill all the dirty secrets between you and Shang Xing? Kai Xiaofan turned and with a swift kick knocked down the clawing Wang Qing then slowly turned to the pitiful looking Xia Zhuxin standing by and said, mom, let's go home, it was the first time Xia Zhuxin spoke her voice filled with extreme guilt, this wasn't tea and act, she was. Genuinely panicked, as Kai Xiaofan's gaze fell on Xia Zhuxin he unconsciously used the demeanor of a 6th level qi cultivation practitioner. Xia Zhuxin had never encountered such a presence, in those few seconds under Kai Xiaofan's stare she felt as if she couldn't tea breathe as if the sky was falling. It seemed as if her past misdeeds with Chang Xing were completely under Kai Xiaofan's control so she quickly stepped forward pulling Wang Qing ready to leave. Wang Qing looked at her daughter's condition her heart startled and she guessed what might have happened, but as the saying goes it's better to lose face than to lose. Momentum, although she wanted to know if her daughter was still hiding something from her she continued to curse unabashedly as she was dragged away. Get lost. This matter started because your daughter wronged me first, if you keep spewing filth, don't blame me for kicking you again, Kai Xiaofan with his aura fully unleashed nearly scared Wang Qing out of her wits, she truly hadn't expected the handsome young man with clear eyes and handsome features in front of her to actually dare to make a move, the mother and daughter who had arrived so arrogantly left in complete disarray, the dozen or so neighbors who had been watching the drama. Unfold saw Kai Xiaofan angry for the first time and many silently praised him for his talent and commanding presence. Kai Xiaofan having had his good mood ruined by two scoundrels early in the morning simply greeted the spectating neighbors and then turned around and went back inside his house, the more Kai Xiaofan thought about it at home the more uncomfortable he felt, it was clearly Chang Xing and Xia Zhuxin who were plotting against him behind his back so why did Wang Qing that busybody have the nerve to come demanding compensation from him? Even after kicking Wang Qing Kai Xiaofan felt no relief. Stopping in his yard, Kai Xiaofan thought for a moment, then suddenly raised an eyebrow and unlocked his phone, 7.30 tonight, I'll be at your doorstep to pick you up. After sending this message, Kai Xiaofan didn't look at his phone again, during a previous trip to Huangshan he had added Chang Xing's sister Chang Siyu on social media, Chang Siyu was an interesting person. Despite knowing that her brother and Kai Xiaofan were at odds, she had inexplicably agreed when Kai Xiaofan took the initiative to add her, there was no helping it, his school heartthrob level good looks were simply too compelling. Recently Kai Xiaofan had been flirting with Chang Siyu online but never crossed the line, today however Wang Qing's tantrum had ruined his mood and Kai Xiaofan didn't want to hold back anymore, he planned to swiftly win over Chang Siyu and the process had to be extravagantly wasteful. As long as he was generous enough with Chang Siyu he could kill three birds with one stone. The first bird was a direct hit on Chang Xing, letting him watch his own sister lean into Kai Xiaofan's embrace. Helpless and furious. The second bird targeted Xia Zhuxin who looked down on him for being poor well he would splurge on another woman just to infuriate her. The third bird was to win over Chang Siyu, after all Chang Siyu was quite a beauty and Kai Xiaofan genuinely liked her. 
At 7.20 p.m. outside a posh residential area in Guangling City, Kai Xiaofan, sitting in the back seat of a Mercedes, sent a message to Chang Siyu, then squinted his eyes and pretended to nap. This time, of course, he had rented the same. Uncle S. Car is before sticking to his promise to look after the man's business. In fact, he had already gotten his driver's license at the end of his senior year in high school and his driving skills were quite good, but he still didn't he have a car of his own. The 1 million yuan in savings at home was set aside as capital for his parents' business and he hadn't he thought of touching it. With just his own resources he had about 70,000 yuan enough for a second-hand car, but a new car was out of reach, he still needed to make money, sighing to himself, Kai. Xiao Fan murmured. The driver perhaps hearing the mutter couldn't he help but look at him through the rearview mirror and chuckle a young Kai Yudan T look like you re-short on cash, renting my car including the driver ISNT cheap at over 1500 a day and you VE already rented it twice, Uncle Jai Yudan T understand, my family is really poor, just a month ago all the savings in my house couldn't he even cover the down payment for a suburban house, Kai Xiaofan said with a wry smile shaking. His head. Uncle Jai the driver is named Jai Xiaosheng, Kai Xiaofan only found out today that this car belongs to him personally, though he's just affiliated with a car rental service to make some extra cash, hey, I believe what you said, but I believe even more that you'll make a fortune in the future, Jai Xiaosheng confidently pulled out a cigarette from his pack, just as he was about to put it in his mouth, he paused and handed it to Kai Xiaofan instead, Kai Xiaofan instinctively took the cigarette and curiously asked Uncle Jai you're so sure I'll strike it rich? Shai Xiaosheng lit his cigarette opened the car window and casually blew a smoke ring before chuckling your uncle here is 40 this year, I'm just average in skill but I've amassed 70 or 80 million in assets, do you know how I made these millions, insight, I've got an uncanny eye for people, after graduation I didn't follow the usual path, instead I started a business with an incredibly talented senior classmate, in just over a decade not only did I make nearly a billion. But I also turned that classmate into my wife who has been earning money and gave me two kids, Jai Xiaosheng said with a proud puff of smoke. Amazing, Uncle Jai you really are incredible, Kai Xiaofan gave a thumbs up in admiration, absolutely your uncle's insight is unparalleled and your future will be remarkable. After another deep drag of his cigarette Jai Xiaosheng flicked the cigarette away and closed his mouth ceasing to speak, Kai Xiaofan who had just thought to try the cigarette quickly stashed it in the back seat side pocket. Seconds later, a petite figure stealthily slipped out of the residential area and quickly ran to the side of the big Mercedes. Hurry in, it's hot outside, Kai Xiaofan rolled down the window and said to the shy Chang Siyu. Chang Siyu shyly nodded and quickly opened the rear car door to sit inside. The moment Chang Siyu entered, Kai Xiaofan's eyes lit up. Today, Chang Siyu was dressed in a blue and white JK uniform, a white long sleeve blouse on top and a pure blue miniskirt below her knot. Particularly long but very white and slender legs were wrapped in a pair of over-the-knee white stockings. Paired with her clear cute round face she looked both innocent and alluring, clearly she had dressed carefully for tonight's date, women dress for the one who pleases them, anyone could understand her intentions unless they were a fool, see you you look beautiful today, Kai Xiaofan sincerely complimented her before she even warmed her seat, his comment immediately made Chang see you blush her face turning red in an instant. Chang Siyu was also a student at Guangling City's top high school. Just a grade below Kai Xiaofan and Chang Xing. Although she was younger she was of the same age as Kai Xiaofan only her birthday was later in the year, a schoolgirl like her had never experienced such direct praise and coupled with her actual fondness for Kai Xiaofan's looks her body went soft, even though she knew that Kai Xiaofan and her brother didn't get along she softly whispered brother Xiaofan I I told my mom I was going to a female classmate's house to study so I must be home before midnight, as she finished speaking wisps. Of white smoke visibly rose from her head, this little girl had gotten herself steaming. Don't worry, I won't keep you overnight, Kai Xiaofan obviously understood Chang Siyu's feelings and couldn't help but laugh, but after he laughed he quickly grabbed the tender hand Chang Siyu had placed on her thigh, as soon as he grabbed her hand Kai Xiaofan felt Chang Siyu's delicate body tremble and the sound of her rapidly beating heart seemed so loud that even Jai Xiaosheng, sitting in front and driving, could hear it, why are you so nervous? Kai Xiaofan asked, we were on a perfectly legitimate date not sneaking around for an affair. Seeing Chang Siyu so agitated just from holding hands briefly Kai Xiaofan was somewhat dumbfounded. Could it be that this young girl had never had any contact with men outside her family? No, it's just that I'm afraid of my brother finding out, 
He's also out watching a movie today Chung Siyu said her head lowered her face so red it looked like it could drip blood, your brother is out watching a movie with someone else, what a coincidence. Quick tell me which mall he is at. Kai Xiaofan suddenly found himself unexpectedly delighted and quickly pressed her for an answer, why was he teasing Chang Siyu, was it not just because Chang Siyu was indeed very beautiful and also as a way to get back at Chang Xing, now the opportunity had arisen. If Chang Xing saw his own sister holding hands with him in the cinema wouldn't he the boy explode with rage? I think he went to Vientian City, let us not go there okay, if he sees us like this he will definitely kill us. Chang Siyu shrank her neck, seemingly imagining the terrifying scene of Chang Xing freaking out upon seeing her on a date with Kai Xiaofan at the movies, what is there to be afraid of, I ll take the heat, if he dares to hit you, I dare to hit him back. Even if you fall out with him or your family, I ll take care of you from now on, I promise to take better care of you than your own family does. Kai Xiaofan said assertively waving his hand with authority, who needs you to take care of? Them? Don T talk nonsense, we haven't T even officially confirmed our relationship yet Chang Siyu coyly slapped Kai Xiaofan with her free right hand, though her heart was as sweet as an overturned jar of honey, she was still stubborn verbally. Around 8 in the evening Kai Xiaofan and Chang Siyu arrived at one of Guanling City's biggest malls Vientian City. According to Chang Siyu's revelation Chang Xing was supposed to have a movie date with Xia Zhuxin today but she unexpectedly turned him down, he then contacted another woman to go to Vientian City with him. At this time, they probably hadn't finished dinner yet. After getting out of the car, Kai Xiaofan immediately took Chang Siyu's hand. Although she was extremely shy, she did not refuse and quickly dug out a face mask from her bag to wear, their relationship was still not clear still in a phase of ambiguity, this was because both of them had reservations, Kai Xiaofan's reason for not clarifying was simple. He quite liked Chang Siyu but he did not want to truly commit to her, Chang Siyu's. Reason was even simpler purely because of Chang Xing. Even though she was extremely fond of Kai Xiaofan as long as Chang Xing was around she dared not openly confess her feelings for Kai Xiaofan, thus this caused their current relationship to be very delicate having a close yet secretive thrill of feeling even more intoxicating than falling simply in love. Like now after entering Vientian City Chang Siyu once again betrayed her own brother Chang Xing by directly leading her quasi-boyfriend Kai Xiaofan to Chang Xing's favorite restaurant. Without surprise, they soon saw Chang Xing and a white-collar woman who looked at least in her thirties laughing and eating together outside the restaurant, knowing Chang Xing hadn't gone into the movie yet Kai Xiaofan immediately bought tickets for the same movie in the same couple's hall as Chang Xing under Chang Siyu's guidance. The movie was a horror film and it seemed not many people were watching which made it easy for Kai Xiaofan to buy two tickets directly behind Chang Xing's. Ro, after getting the tickets, Kai Xiaofan hurriedly bought two cups of milk tea, some snacks and a large popcorn. After all, the girl had sacrificed so much for him even betraying her own brother so Kai Xiaofan was certainly not going to skimp on spending, actually Kai Xiaofan still had some regrets today, he would have preferred to see Chang Xing and Xia Zhuxin dining together, that way he could have dragged Chang Siyu to splurge infuriating Chang Xing and making Xia Zhuxin jealous. He couldn't understand what was wrong with Xia Zhuxin, that gold digger who had actually refused Chang Xing today. Could it be because she was taking care of her mother whom she had kicked, but the kick wasn't that hard, fearing that Wang Qing might just die on them he had only used the tiniest bit of strength like that of a sesame seed, brother Xiaofan my brother and that woman are here, just as Kai Xiaofan was lost in his wild thoughts on a sofa in a corner of the cinema Chang Siyu suddenly whispered to him, Startled Kai Xiaofan instinctively turned his head and indeed saw Chang Xing and a very office lady-like beautiful woman walking into the cinema arm in arm, it must be said, although Chang Xing was ugly he had good taste. On closer inspection the woman although slightly older had a really nice figure which looked even more appealing in a white chong sam and shiny silk stockings turning heads at an 80% rate, most shockingly she was even wearing the ultimate man-killer heels by Valentino, who could resist that? Not to mention the others, even Kai Xiaofan, who had high standards and had rejected the campus beauty Xiao Youyu couldn't he help but stare. If not for Chang Xing sweeping his gaze over, Kai Xiaofan wouldn't he have wanted to look away? See you, your brother is quite something, huh? Managing to hook up with such a top notch woman, Kai Xiaofan asked the still Chang Siyu. Typically, younger men preferred charming and caring older women, as they aged and became old men, they would again lean towards younger, vibrant girls at least that's what Kai Xiaofan believed, who knows where he found such a woman, 
it's about time let's head in too. Chan Siyu clearly didn't t want to discuss the topic and quickly stood up with Kai Xiaofan. After seeing Chang Xing and the office lady enter and headed to the ticket checkpoint, after having their tickets checked Kai Xiaofan holding onto Chang Siyu deliberately lingered outside the cinema hall a bit longer waiting until the lights dimmed and the movie's opening sequence began before they entered. Making use of the dim light, they smoothly found their seats without Chang Xing noticing anything. Perhaps because her own brother was right in front Chang Siyu seemed especially nervous after settling down. Seeing this Kai Xiaofan smiled slightly and suddenly pulled. Chang Siyu's thigh clad in over-the-knee white stockings into his embrace. What are you doing? Chang Siyu struggled forcefully a few times, but realizing she couldn't tea escape, could only glare at Kai Xiaofan indignantly, looking so pretty, aren't you dressing up for me, now that I ve had my fill of looking what s wrong with a little touch, Kai Xiaofan curled his lips into a mischievous smile, stop it, you ah. Chang Siyu was unbearably shy, and just as she tried to pull her leg back Kai Xiaofan's hand had already started to ascend and knead, his touch. Drained all strength from Chang Siyu, her legs tightened even more and a strange light moan escaped through her nostrils. Nice choice of stockings, very smooth, the legs feel nice too, very soft and bouncy. Kai Xiaofan continued to feel Chang Siyu's legs as he watched the movie, occasionally spitting lightly at the back of Chang Xing's head. This was only because Xia Zhuxin wasn't tea there. Otherwise, he would have definitely taken the opportunity to annoy the two of them. As for Chang Siyu, she had already slumped in her chair, her thoughts muddled. Kai Xiaofan's hands seemed to possess magic, draining all her strength the moment they rested on her legs. This state even lasted until the movie ended and Kai Xiaofan finally let her legs go allowing her to regain her senses, but just as she was coming to Kai Xiaofan had already grabbed her and was chasing in the direction of Chang Xing, Chang Siyu was shocked, she quickly put on her mask. She had thought that Kai Xiaofan was looking to trouble Chang Xing, but instead Kai Xiaofan merely caught up to a white-collar beauty to stealthily hand her a small note, Siyu didn't know what was written. On it, but she saw the woman who was holding hands with her brother glance back hesitate for only a moment and then accept the note even throwing a flirtatious look back at Kai Xiaofan. All this happened without her older brother Chang Xing noticing anything. Why are you giving that vixen a note? Are you trying to flirt with her like my brother? See you snapped as they left the cinema pulling her hand away from Kai Xiaofan and turning around in a huff. What are you talking about? She's my friend's sister. I just recognized her and gave her the note to ask her to teach your brother a lesson, that s all. Kai Xiaofan knew Siyu was jealous and blurted out a lie without. Thinking, really, that woman she is your friend's sister, Siyu naive and inexperienced was easily fooled by Kai Xiaofan. Of course, it's true, why would I lie to you, and I'm not so low as to flirt with a nearly 40-year-old woman right in front of a pure and beautiful girl like you, that would be totally absurd wouldn't he it. With a killer line, Kai Xiaofan managed to calm Siyu down. Not only that, but the young girl even blushed and took the initiative to slip her small hand back into Kai Xiaofan's larger one. Let's go, you've really helped me out today. I'll treat you, with a secret chuckle about how. Easy it was to deceive the girl Kai Xiaofan then took Siyu shopping at some upscale clothing and accessory stores. Although Siyu's family was quite wealthy, as a high school senior she obviously didn't have much spare cash. Kai Xiaofan spent just 7 or 8 thousand yuan to buy her a couple of beautiful outfits and some trendy accessories she had wanted which delighted her so much she literally spun around in joy, she even impulsively gave Kai Xiaofan a sweet, soft kiss that was fragrant and slightly sugary a delightful taste indeed. Could Kai Xiaofan miss out on this, he immediately pulled Siyu. Into a corner for a passionate French kiss, continuing until Siyu was breathless, pounding his chest with her little fists before he finally stopped. When they parted a thin glistening thread of saliva connected their lips, eventually, they had to leave as the mall was closing still reluctant to part carrying bags big and small from the shopping spree, since Kai Xiaofan didn't tea have Jai Xiaosheng wait outside they left by taxi, it was past 10 o'clock in Guangling a city district not very busy so in just 20 minutes the taxi stopped at CUS residential complex, keeping to their principle that if they weren't embarrassed. Then it was others who should feel embarrassed they shared another breath-stopping kiss in front of the taxi driver before finally separating with reluctance. Driver to Wawa village, once back in the taxi Kai Xiaofan seemed a different person, all the tender affection was gone from his face his tone dropping several degrees colder, glancing at the only friend request pending on green bubble a sparkle flashed quickly in his eyes, 
Despite seeming like he hadn't gotten back at Changxing today, and even though he was out 7 or 8,000 yuan, his gains were massive. Si Yu was completely under his control, ready to be devoured at his whim. If he casually let slip this information to Changxing, that guy would probably explode on the spot. Furthermore, he had very easily added that beautiful woman who was with Changxing today on Green Bubble. Judging by Chang Xing's behavior, he likely hadn't succeeded with her yet. Otherwise, why bother bringing her to the mall for dinner and a movie instead of just booking a room at a hotel? If he could cut in before Chang Xing and gain the upper hand, maybe even snap a few risku photos to send to him, the thought was thrilling. By the time Kai Xiaofan returned to his home in Wuhua village, it was already nearing midnight. From the morning he had been busy yet he hadn't forgotten the most important event of the day the sixth fishing in the heavens. At 11.55 p.m., just after arriving in his second-floor bedroom Kai Xiaofan sat cross-legged on his bed waiting for the last few minutes to pass, as the digits 11.59 on his phone screen shifted to midnight Kai Xiaofan timely whispered in his mind, system, use today's fishing qualification, the silence in the air was terrifying, for several seconds there was no response from the system in his mind or heart, this was the first time Kai Xiaofan had encountered such a situation and he couldn't help but stand up abruptly, he admitted he was panicked, without the system, despite his confidence in breaking through the foundation building phase with his current resources that was as far as he could go, such strength was far from enough to fulfill his ambitions and ideals. Ding, the system detected a significant improvement in the hostess strength and thus offers three choices, one, enter fishing with consciousness only, two, enter with both consciousness and body but forfeit the fishing qualification, three, do not enter fishing, just as Kai Xiaofan was feeling anxious the system's voice finally arrived albeit late, phew, it's good you're still here system, I thought you were gone. Hearing the familiar and anticipated voice of the system, Kai Xiaofan couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. But the relief was short-lived as he was stunned by the system's recent announcement, what, my strength has improved and now even my body can enter other planes with my consciousness, Kai Xiaofan's mind was greatly perturbed, clearly very agitated, if the host's strength is strong enough, this system can even designate a specific location on a specific plane for your arrival or fishing, the system's cold voice echoed leisurely, awesome, just a quick question, if both my consciousness and body enter another plane will there be a time limit to return to the blue star world? Kai Xiaofan praised the system's dominance first, then asked, there is no time limit the host can return immediately whenever desired regardless of the world as time ratios are synchronized, however once back re-entry is only possible after breaking through to the foundation building phase, make your decision quickly, you don't have much time left for this fishing session, the system explained coldly then urged, I choose to forfeit my fishing qualification, both my body and consciousness will enter. Kai Xiaofan decisively chose the second option, although unsure of the conditions in the plane he would be visiting being a sixth-level qi cultivator he still possessed some self-preservation abilities, if he truly encountered a malevolent and unbeatable entity he could always return, as you wish, while Kai Xiaofan's thoughts were in turmoil, the system's indifferent voice sounded once more. The moment the last word dropped, Kai Xiaofan's figure vanished from the second-floor bedroom appearing over the skies of the Yuan Dynasty's royal city Yuan Dadu late at night, specifically above the Prince of Ruyang's mansion, Kai Xiaofan stood on his sword for a short while quickly deducing his current location. If he was not mistaken this was his first time having both his body and consciousness cross over to a plane a period during the Yuan Dynasty at the location of Yuan Dadu, his. Certainty stemmed from the fact that upon arriving at this plane he had plummeted from 100 meters above the Prince of Ruyang's mansion. If not for his cultivation he would have likely died from the fall, he flew around the area for a bit and easily spotted a plaque on a building below inscribed with four gilded characters Prince of Ruyang's mansion, this place was too famous. As a loyal fan who had watched the Heaven Sword and Dragon Saber numerous times he naturally knew what the Prince of Ruyang's mansion was. Just by this sign, he could guess the general situation he was in. The only uncertainty was whether this was the world of Wuxia created by the great Jin Yong or a world of real history. He had once seen a post online stating that if it was Jin Yong's The Heaven Sword and Dragon Saber, then indeed the Prince of Ruyang would have a son and a daughter, the daughter being Min Min Timur or in Han named Zhao Min. However, if it were the real historical world, strictly speaking, there wouldn't be a character known as the Prince of Ruyang as his real historical. 
Counterpart the Yuan dynasty general Shigan Timur, though celebrated for his military achievements, never held a princely title. Given the presence of a sign for the Prince of Ruyang's mansion, it was more likely that this was the world of the Heaven Sword and Dragon Saber, meaning that this world was filled with numerous martial arts masters. Kai Shaofan squinted his eyes and muttered to himself, he really wanted to know what the equivalent martial arts realm of sixth level of qi training would be in this world. According to his understanding, most wuxia dimensions could be divided into six realms. Third rate. Experts, second rate experts, first rate experts, grandmasters, great grandmasters and earthly immortals. Most of the sect leaders should be around the first rate level. The disciples would mostly be second or third rate. As for characters like the two elders of the dark and mysterious and Zhang Wuji, they should possess the strength of grandmasters. Someone like Zhang Sanfeng would be between a great grandmaster and an earthly immortal with his exact strength indeterminate. Since he was here, he decided to first test what sort of stuff the two elders of the dark and mysterious were made of. After pondering for a while in mid-air, Kai Shaofan looked down at the brightly lit Prince of Ruyang's mansion and hesitated no longer, stepping onto his flying sword and heading straight towards the tallest and largest exquisite building at the very center of the mansion, who goes there, an assassin, just as Kai Shaofan put away his flying sword and landed on a roof beam of a palace he was spotted by a patrol of Yuan Dynasty soldiers. Instantly, the mansion filled with the deep humming of horns and the clacking of armor. From many buildings around numerous martial artists adept at scaling walls and roofs emerged in pairs or groups. So, it really is the heaven sword and dragon saber, Kai Shaofan stood with his hands behind his back and chuckled, of course, the noise was intentional, otherwise, with his abilities, a few soldiers would never have detected him, who are you, don't you know this is the prince of Ruyang's mansion, you've got some nerve, shouted one of the two tall and ugly elders who were escorting a dignified middle-aged man as they stepped forward. The one giving orders was one of the two ugly elders, kill him, in an instant a dozen martial artists in strange attire leaped into the air, displaying their lightness skills as they surrounded Kai Shaofan. Overestimating yourselves, with a light snort Kai Shaofan pushed out a palm from a distance and even without using his full power created a powerful gust of wind, the wind struck directly at the dozen people who had not yet reached the roof and in a flash a dozen streams of blood sprayed into the air. All twelve were severely injured and fell to the ground in the blink of an eye. Oh no, we ve hit a snag, quick protect the prince! exclaimed the soldiers below, what a formidable young man! After Kai Shaofan had severely injured a dozen men with one palm strike, the crowd below was thrown into turmoil. Both the two elders of the dark and mysterious and the prince of Ruyang furrowed their brows tightly. Only they knew that among the dozen, there were twelve third-rate experts and six second-rate experts. This group combined could have taken down two first-rate experts, but what was the result? They were no match for this young man in a single encounter, if I'm not mistaken you. Two must be the two elders of the dark and mysterious, Kai Shaofan said, pointing at the two men next to the dignified middle-aged man as he watched the chaotic crowd below. Since you know of us, why don't you retreat immediately? Not bad. The Xianming God Palm of Us Brothers is not to be trifled with, one strike and your child might succumb to the chilling poison and lose your life, dear staff guest and crane pan elder have roamed the martial world for many years, truly broad in knowledge and experience, having reached the initial stage of grandmaster level, together they fear no late stage grandmasters, yet tonight they panicked. The boy before them, dressed bizarrely in short garments, displayed the might of a grandmaster with a casual palm strike, a truly terrifying sight. How can such a young child be a grandmaster? Absurd, either face me with a palm strike or prepare 10,000 tails of gold for me. Kai Shaofan, without using any magical power, crushed over a dozen martial arts experts with one palm and did not even see Zhao Min, one of the main heroines of the Heavenly Sword. Feeling bored, he simply revealed his true purpose robbery. The Yuan dynasty in history was not a kind empire, on the contrary, it was especially foolish and cruel from top to bottom. Dealing with such a dynasty, Kai Shaofan naturally aimed to rob the rich to aid the poor taking their wealth for himself, outrageous, 10,000 tails of gold is not something you a mere child can demand, what are you two waiting for, kill him for your prince. Hearing someone dare to extort 10,000 tails of gold from him Prince Ru Yang roared in a furious outburst, obeying the prince's order. Although the Xianming elders were reluctant, they had no choice but to make a move. But just as they were gathering their internal energy a huge transparent palm descended from the sky, 
it not only sent the two flying but also grabbed hold of the still shouting Prince Ruyang, gold, or death, Kai Xiaofan was tired of playing around and used his magical power to capture Prince Ruyang from afar. This was truly capturing the king first to capture the thieves, mercy young master, mercy, I'll give the gold, I'll give the gold. Never in his life of smooth sailing had Prince Ruyang encountered such a situation immediately trembling and begging for mercy, when boxes of gold ingots were placed at his feet Kai Xiaofan couldn't deny his excitement, since Kai Xiaofan only wanted gold and not silver to save his life Prince Ruyang had all the gold in the mansion brought out. After a thorough count by the accountants, they informed Kai Xiaofan that there were six small boxes each containing about 500 tails of gold totaling about 3,000 tails. Of course, the wealth of Prince Ruyang's mansion was not limited to this amount, but the main currency in circulation during the Yuan dynasty was paper money and silver ingots, therefore, the most abundant assets in the mansion were these two types of currency and the gold storage was not much. The gold of the Yuan dynasty took the form of gold ingots and historically one gene was equal to 16 tails though this changed slightly before the Ming dynasty to roughly 12 to 13 tails. Per gene. The 3,000 tails of gold in these six boxes if sold at the current gold price in the Blue Star Dragon Country would be worth several tens of millions, Kai Xiaofan was not greedy, earning tens of millions in a trip to the heavenly sword and dragon slaying saber realm was satisfying enough, after all he had no interest in martial arts secrets like the Nine Yang Divine Skill or the Universe Moving Great Shift, even the most powerful martial arts from such realms were no match for his. Sixth Level of Qi Cultivation he had already experimented, without using magical power his combat strength was definitely not weaker than that of a grandmaster in the martial realm, if he used magical power he would likely reach the ceiling of the martial realm a terrestrial immortal, with the addition of flying swords and spiritual talismans even a terrestrial immortal might not withstand a single move from him. Thus in this realm he could only make some money, young master, the gold is prepared, this is indeed all. The gold in the mansion, could you possibly spare my life now? As Kai Xiaofan stared intently at the gold ingots, Prince Ru Yang could not help but cautiously remind him, hmm, you know your place, Kai Xiaofan casually withdrew his magical power pushing away the trembling Prince Ru Yang, thank you young master for your grace, having narrowly escaped disaster Prince Ru Yang dared not act rashly merely bowing respectfully, you're just lucky to have met someone like me who dislikes killing Kai Xiaofan said disregarding the shocked expressions and gazes. Of the many Yuan people and martial arts masters present, with a slap on the storage pouch hidden inside his robe he whisked away six small chests filled with gold ingots, this miraculous scene truly astonished everyone in the royal mansion, I never imagined I would have the fortune to meet an immortal today, teach me immortal please teach me, led by Prince Ruyang thousands of people knelt and loudly called out simultaneously, immortal? You're quite astute, everyone stand up how can? You talk while kneeling? Kai Xiaofan who had been cautious about revealing his abilities in the real world did not hesitate in this different realm, little did he expect that with just one display of his telekinetic abilities he would be revered as a celestial by a group of Yuan soldiers, dozens of Han people and even a prince, yes, your highness follows the immortal's command, father, father, what has happened? Why is the royal mansion under such strict guard? Just as Prince Ru Yang joyfully stood up to speak, a beautiful figure swiftly approached from afar landing with a fragrance that was rich yet not overpowering, Minmin stop this recklessness, come and greet the immortal with your father, before the newcomer could steady herself Prince Ru Yang, the sixth in line, pressed her down to kneel leaving her utterly baffled as she bowed. After she finished bowing Kai Xiaofan finally saw the legendary heroine of the Heaven Sword and Dragon Saber Zhao Min, her beauty was delicate and flawless with a noble and spirited charm and a touch of coquettish allure a truly exceptional beauty, Xiao Yu Yin Xingyao and Zhu Ziyin were all considered top beauties scoring over 90 points but Zhao Min was definitely a 95. No need for such formalities, I have long heard that Prince Ru Yang has a daughter Min Min who is a beauty of the realm, seeing you today it is indeed extraordinary, Kai Xiaofan was delighted to meet Zhao Min one of his favorite characters from his childhood fantasies, oh, so even an immortal has heard of my little girl? In that case I would like to offer her as a maid to serve you hoping you will not disdain her said Prince Ru Yang noticing Kai Xiaofan's appreciation for his daughter. And without hesitation arranging for his treasured pearl to be by Kai Xiaofan's side. Father, what are you doing? Zhao Min, who had just returned home, was completely dumbfounded, 
she couldn't understand why her father seemingly under some spell had made her bow as soon as they met and before they had barely spoken was ready to offer her in service, was she caught in an illusion perhaps influenced by some bewitching drug, Zhao Min was utterly perplexed and at one point even considered knocking her father unconscious, Min Min Yu Don T understand today an immortal. Visited our home and your father is doing this for your own good, don't speak out of turn, just follow your father's commands Prince Ru Yang said sternly. An immortal, him, he looks so young I doubt he could even defeat me Zhao Min thought skeptically, Zhao Min's lively eyes spun ceaselessly disbelief written all over her fair jade-like face, by this time, she had already encountered Zhang Wuji and was deeply drawn to his talent and strength, subconsciously, she believed that at this stage, among her peers, no one could match Zhang Wuji, although Kai Xiaofan was taller and more handsome than Zhang Wuji Zhao Min firmly disbelieved that his abilities could surpass those of Zhang Wuji. Scoundrel, I'll whip you, princess, please be cautious with your words, be cautious as immortal, please forgive us, please do not blame the princess, she is just too young and unaware of the immortal's powers, Zhao Min's words stirred up a storm, King Ruyang rolled up his sleeves to strike at Zhao Min, he bewing while pulling him back, advised Zhao Min, and Lu Zhenka even more exaggerated fearing that Kai Xiaofan would bestow another palm strike that could end their lives actually. Knelt on the ground and kept kowtowing. Made never mind I have other matters to attend to, see you next time. Kai Xiaofan actually quite liked Zhao Min, but however much he liked her for now he could only take away inanimate objects like gold and silver, he was not yet capable of taking living beings, thus seeing the chaos below he merely chuckled lightly and then soared into the sky with his Qingfeng sword. This move once again caused the crowd at the Ruyang King's residence to exclaim in amazement. Zhao Min, who had still been skeptical, suddenly felt weak in the knees, her eyes widened in shock as she collapsed to the ground, immortal, please wait, immortal, just as Kai Xiaofan had flown 50 Zhang into the air he heard King Ruyang's anxious shot from below, what else is it, considering the 3000 tales of gold, Kai Xiaofan paused slightly, he had little attachment to the Etienne realm perhaps only after he achieved foundation building and found a way to store living beings. Would he consider returning? Immortal, this prince notices you seem fond of gold, thus I boldly request the immortal to schedule another visit, this prince will mobilize the resources of the entire Yuan nation to collect gold for your offering, King Ruyang shouted earnestly from below, truth be told, Kai Xiaofan had never before seen anyone cry and beg to offer him gold, today was indeed an eye-opener, you were thoughtful, then I'll return here in three months at the same time, here is a drop of immortal elixir for you. Saying this, he flicked a drop of diluted Xinguo Ling liquid towards the ground before his figure soared up and completely disappeared into the vast night sky. After reaching a thousand Zhanghai, Kai Xiaofan silently recited the word to return in his mind. The next moment, he left the Yitian to Longji realm and returned to Planet Blue. Although he could stay in the Yitian realm continuously, that was clearly impossible. After all, back in reality, he still had his parents, grandparents, and other family to think about. If it's just a few hours or half a day, there wouldn't be any issue, but staying away too long is problematic as it would inevitably worry my family. The reason he gave the Prince of Ruyang a three-month deadline was because he had a premonition that three months was ample time for him to advance to the foundation establishment stage. Once he broke through to foundation establishment he could freely traverse once a week to any of the planes he had either fished at or physically visited before. According to the system's nature, as his realm increased in the future the requirements for traversing different worlds would likely decrease eventually allowing unrestricted travel to any designated plane at any time, Kai Xiaofan glanced at his phone screen, when he left it was 01 am on July 3, when he returned an hour had passed an hour easily spent earning hundreds of caddies of gold. This system is too powerful. After admiring the six small boxes filled with gold ingots in his storage bag for a while, Kai Xiaofan then composed himself, took out a medium-grade spirit stone, consumed a drop of ginseng fruit spirit liquid, and sat cross-legged to begin his daily cultivation. To break through to the foundation establishment stage within three months, he needed not only ample resources but also continuous rigorous cultivation day and night, around 6 a.m. while Kai Xiaofan was. Still cultivating startled exclamations from Yin Qingyao and Zhu Ziying could already be heard from the guest room downstairs. Sometimes having overly sensitive senses was a hassle, Kai Xiaofan could only helplessly end his cultivation and open his eyes, from his senses Yin Qingyao and Zhu Ziying had hastily thrown on clothes and come upstairs, clearly something was amiss with these two sisters and they needed his approval for something, my lord, are you awake? Soon after Zhu Ziying's timid voice sounded outside, 
Apparently afraid to disturb Kai Xiaofan, she didn't t even knock her voice barely above a whisper. Haven't I told you not to call me my lord? Kai Xiaofan frowned and directly opened the door to his room and walked out. I'm sorry Xiaofan, something has happened to my family. My grandfather suddenly vomited a mouthful of blood clots when he got up half an hour ago and then collapsed and fell unconscious. My dad and my mom just called to let me have to go back with the fastest speed possible to go back to a trip saying saying that maybe I can still see the old man's last face. Zhu Ziyin didn't have control of his emotions at once and whispered in a low voice and sobbed, Yen Xingyao next to her didn't cry but her eyes were also red looking at Kai Xiaofan with a pleading face, where is your home? Kai Xiaofan didn't say anything just nodded and asked, in a remote suburb of Magic City, my family has an estate near the western suburbs of Magic City, next to the manor is the hospital. Xu Ziyin hurriedly said, can you navigate it? Kai Xiaofan asked again, yes yes yes, although Xu Ziyin didn't know what Kai Xiaofan wanted to do she quickly opened her cell phone and navigated, Kai Xiaofan went over to take a look, good guy, a full 258 kilometers, it would take a full 3 hours to drive. If he had to take a plane counting the time to get to and from the airport as well as the flight time it would take even more than three hours to get to the place, looking at Zhu Zi. Yin's age, her grandfather is at least 70 years old, the older may be more than 80, so the old man hemoptysis into the hospital three hours later the yellow flowers are cold. Forget it, see you are also a filial piety send Buddha to heaven I send you a ride, Kai Xiaofan couldn't help but sigh, Xiaofan, you're not thinking no way no how. Hearing Kai Xiaofan's words, both Xu Ziyin and Yen Xingyao covered their mouths in disbelief, obviously, they guessed what Kai Xiaofan's mouth meant by giving a ride, what are you still standing there for, why don't you go find a jacket and put it on, it's cold in the sky. Kai Xiaofan admonished in a bad mood, the two. Women are not strange just spit out their tongues and then ran down to the second floor in a hurry to find clothes to go. When Kai Xiaofan slowly walked down the stairs, the two girls have already put on their coats and masks and stood straight in the courtyard waiting, if one were to observe carefully one would realize that although there was still sadness and eagerness in the eyes of the two now, there was an additional anticipation, after all, they have been on airplanes many times but they have never experienced flying in the sky without an airplane. Because there was no one in the courtyard and the gate was locked, Kai Xiaofan directly and unapologetically offered up the Qingfeng sword and enlarged it to a level large enough for three people to lie down, afraid that the two girls wouldn't be able to withstand the gusts of wind brought about by the speedy flight he also condensed a semi-transparent mana light screen in front of him. After doing all this he took the lead and jumped onto the flying sword suspended at half a meter high and shouted behind him, come up, after the two women nodded like chickens cutting rice they helped each other onto the flying sword. One person grabbed one of my arms and stood firmly, Kai Xiaofan put his hands behind his back and continued with another reminder, Yen Qingyao and Xu Ziyin immediately nervously complied, departure. As Kai Xiaofan's mana poured into the flying sword the Qingfeng sword directly rocketed up to a thousand meters in the air at a 45 degree angle, because the speed was too fast Yen Qingyao and Xu Ziyin couldn't see anything at all and only knew to keep screaming. But fortunately, Kai Xiaofan was standing in front of them and couldn't hear their high pitched shockwaves. Amidst the thick morning fog, a bit of golden sunlight shone. Overhead was the azure sky, and beneath their feet were mountains, rivers, lakes, and seas. The two kept screaming for several minutes before they tiredly stopped and also saw the beauty of the sky that was like a poetic painting. But before the two women could indulge in the scenery for too long, the flying sword slowly came to a stop. Kai Xiaofan handed his cell phone to Zhu Ziyin and said, take a good look at the manor below to see if it's your family's are we here, the two women looked at each other with some horror and then glanced at the time on the cell phone, 622, from Uwa village in Guangling city to the western suburbs of Mordor, a journey of 250 kilometers, it took 10 minutes to get there, it was really an immortal's means. At this moment Zhu Ziyin and Yin Xingyao's hearts both strengthened their thoughts of wanting to follow Kai Xiaofan to learn immortal techniques. Kai Xiaofan didn't know what the two were thinking and just continued to press on, here it is, here it is, this manor is my home, the building next to the manor is the hospital, my grandfather is in there, Zhu Ziyin barely suppressed the shock in her heart and pointed at a white building below and explained, at this moment, in the private hospital attached to Tianhai Manor a group of people are anxiously waiting outside a lighted operating room, among this group of people there were old and, but more still middle-aged men and women with extraordinary temperament, these people waiting outside are naturally Zhu Ziyin's family, 
Ever since Zhu Ziyin's grandfather's accident 40 minutes ago all of the Zhu family's heirs rushed back as fast as they could, there are many in the field but they even went so far as to use their connections to call for a helicopter. Not to mention on the lawn outside the hospital at this moment there were already three helicopters with engines that were still warm, farther away there are many important members of the Zhu family are speeding back, only from this point can also be seen a Zhu family's power in the end how huge dun ding. With a soft sound the door to the operating room was slowly pushed open by several doctors in white coats, it's worth mentioning that the first doctor actually looked very young after. Taking off his mask and looked like he was at most 30 just out of his teens, Jun Tao, how's it going, is something wrong with the old man, Xiao Tao? You are the most prestigious medical professor in Magic City, you're in charge of the health of all those honorable men who are retired in Mordor, you'll be able to save your grandpa Zhu right to brother Tao, you're my future brother-in-law, if you don't save my grandpa who else can, as soon as Liao Huntao left the operating room he was surrounded by the Zhu family, as the strength of the entire country's western medicine is enough to rank in the top 10, but the age of the youngest. Medical pride always spirited and arrogant Liao Huntao at this time only showed a trace of embarrassment expression want to speak but how to say out. Almost the entire Shanghai top circles know that he has been pursuing the Zhu family's little princess Zhu Ziyin but now the person's grandfather himself is not capable of saving say out how to have the face to chase again. Shout out, you don't want to tell our old man that he's shout out, you're the top surgeon in the country. There's nothing you can do, see Liao Huntao's face happens to be in the Magic City post so come the fastest Zhu Ziyin parents Zhu Tianren, Su Rong two people hastily one left and one right tightly grasp Liao Huntao's arm asked, Zhu Tianren, then second in command of the City of Magic, the Hall of Full Ministerial Leadership. But at the moment a country face but not a trace of majesty the rest is all panic and sadness. The old man is the Zhu family see god pin if he is now gone then the blow to the Zhu family is too great, not to mention let's just say that his position once the old man really gone want to rise again arise is as difficult as heaven. Su Rong magic city ranked in the first echelon the country can be ranked in the second echelon of the noblewoman, usually delicate and graceful temperament has been lost to wear at this time as a helpless child like a face full of tears, what her husband Zhu Tianren knew she of course also knew. Although she didn't want to admit it, but the fact is so Grandpa Zhu is the symptom of pulmonary fluid retention, the whole person's consciousness is still there, but the eyes are cloudy the mouth can't speak, the body can't move, can't eat the whole body edema, in terms of the current level of medical care, the accumulation of water to such a degree save certainly cannot be saved tomorrow at this time, Grandpa Zhu must, the Huntao said to the last word when suddenly shut his mouth, because he knows that everyone must understand what he means. Grandpa Zhu Ziyin's younger brother Zhu Yuanchen staggered a little unacceptable fell to the ground crying and howling, obviously there was only a wall separating them, but on one side was life and on the other was death, Zhu Yuanchen's cries quickly infected all the Zhu family members one by one are difficult to suppress followed by wiping up the tears. The old man was young although it is a jingo killing people but since the retreat after treating each of the Zhu family people are amiable very few times of harshness so the crowd's emotions really didn't mix get out of the way get out of the way dad mom mom i'm back i'm back where's grandpa where's grandpa just as the crowd fell into silence at their wits end an anxious voice was flying from far and near and almost as soon as the voice rang out the crowd saw zhu ziyin who was flying towards them xiaoyin didn't you say you were in guangling city how did you rush back so quickly oh zhu tianren and the crowd of Zhu family members were all looking at Zhu Ziyin who was panting heavily as she ran close to them with a puzzled look on her face, we'll talk about that later I just want to know how grandpa is doing, Zhu Ziyin's physique was not what it used to be even after running nearly a thousand meters at the speed of the highest sprint speed it only took two or three seconds for him to return to normal. Your grandfather, he alas Zhu Tianmen's pupils dimmed and he couldn't. Go on only halfway through his sentence. Shayan, this one next to you is, seeing her husband's appearance at the critical moment or Su Rong forced a smile and stood out to change the topic, they had actually acquiesced to Master Zhu's certain death and since they all knew the final outcome why would they need to tell their children about such an unhappy matter? You have to know that the one that the old master loved the most during his lifetime was not Zhu Yuanshan, the first grandson of the Zhu family, but rather Zhu Ziyin, the young princess of the Zhu family ah, and Su this is Kai Xiaofan, a good friend we met during our trip to Huangshan this time, we happened to be playing inside his house when we received the news of Grandpa Zhu's illness so we came over together, 
Yen Xingyao is Zhu Ziyin's best friend, naturally knew Su Rong the Zhu. Family's mistress, so she told the countermeasures they had discussed on the way, Kai Xiaofan, what a handsome young man, when Kai Xiaofan stood out from behind the two women with a smile, Su Rong's eyes lit up, even though the Zhu family was facing a great difficulty at this time and Su Rong was not in a good mood the moment she saw Kai Xiaofan, she was still ruthlessly stunned. The young man in front of her had a youthful face, but his appearance and temperament were as if he was an untainted immortal different from any other person in the world, and at a glance, she actually had a feeling of being ashamed of herself. Zin I'm sorry I wasn't able to save Grandpa Zhu just as Su Rong wanted to chat with Kai Xiaofan a little more Liu Huntao was the one who suddenly crossed the crowd staring at Zhu Zin with a face of shame and said, only when his words came. Out, a trace of displeasure flashed across the faces of a large portion of the Zhu family, especially Su Rong and Zhu Tianren, the two of them were the last ones to want their pearl in the palm of their hand to be sad, even if this matter could not be hidden at all it was better than letting Zhu Zi know now. In a group of Zhu family people to Liao Huntao angrily, Kai Xiaofan is thoughtfully staring at Liao Huntao's fierce look, he always felt that Liao Huntao looked familiar, but for a moment he could not think of where he had seen Liao Huntao, how is it possible that grandpa can't work, he only had a slight edema in his abdomen before I left, you're lying to me, you must be lying to me, I don't believe you, I don't believe you. Knowing the truth Zhu Zi, not Zhu Tianrun and Su Rong expected. Just like crazy play shaking Liao Juntao, and the originator Liao Huntao was not surprised but happy he looked at the crying Zhu Ziyin feminine eyes that turned open hands to hug Zhu Ziyin, as a veteran of the flower world he knew very well that Zhu Ziyin was now at her most vulnerable time. If he let her have a warm embrace at this time, when she calmed down she would definitely add a lot of favor to herself, he had been chasing Zhu Ziyin for several years but had never encountered this kind of opportunity so how could he let it go at this time? But when Liao Huntao's hands were about to embrace Zhu Ziyin, a big hand stretched out from somewhere in the darkness and even pulled Zhu Ziyin away first and hugged her in his arms. It was pressed onto his chest, the most. Surprising thing is that Zhu Ziyin herself actually did not have the slightest struggle. I know a little bit about the art of Qi and Huang. If there is a patient who confirms that there is no cure, can you let me take a look? Liao Huntao's face changed just what a curse Kai Xiaofan has embraced Zhu Zi and said to Zhu Tianren and others, little Kai you know Chinese medicine, when Zhu Tianren and Su Rong and the others heard this a hint of joy immediately appeared on their faces, but before they could say anything more Liao Huntao who had a blue face on the side had already reprimanded loudly with eyes full of resentment, it's simply a big joke. Not to mention that the current Chinese medicine is not working yet. All even if it is the glory days of Chinese medicine you are a little kid who has not yet dried up for fear that you are still learning to grasp the medicine and picking medicine, right? With Liao Huntao this sentence fell, the eyes just lit up a ray of hope Shu family people soon like a pot of cold water poured on the head instantly atrophied, yes, Chinese medicine certainly has a magical place, but Chinese medicine is also the most extensive and profound course of study. Dragon country up and down 5,000 years, the history of bright civilization eye-catching really have not heard of anyone like Kai Xiaofan so young when he became a Chinese medicine everyone, however, in the next moment the Zhu family and Liao Huntao were dumbfounded because Zhu Ziyin suddenly broke free from Kai Xiaofan's arms and snapped to kneel at Kai Xiaofan's feet, Xiaofan, please save my grandfather I know I know that only you can save him now, Zhu Ziyin was about to kowtow. When she finished speaking, Yen Xingyao, who had been standing by the side without saying anything didn't stand this time either, but similarly accompanied Zhu Ziyin as she knelt down and looked at Kai Xiaofan with a pleading face, the two of them are best girlfriends and the parents of the two families are also very familiar with each other and have a very good relationship Zhu Ziyin's grandfather is no different from her own grandfather. Xiaoyin and Xiao Yen, what are you two doing? Is it possible that Xiao Kai really knows Chinese medicine, seeing Zhu Ziyin and Yen Xingyao's operation, the Zhu family members who were already disappointed once again returned to the light and stared at Kai Xiaofan with some surprise, Hmph, this kid is at most a fledgling apprentice, Uncle Zhu auntie so you must not be fooled by him. Liao Hun Tao was still disdainfully denigrating him but this time Zhu Tianren and Su Rong didn't want to bother with him anymore. He is not capable of doing it himself, but he keeps stopping others from saving the old man, is this the time to dwell on whether to snub or not to snub, anyway you've already said that the old master will definitely die so what's the point of treating a dead horse as a living horse, what if there's a miracle, what if there really is a miracle? Why didn't I realize that Liao was so careful before, Shao Kai no Mr. Kai, please help me save my dad, 
we don't want him to be cured, just let him live for a few more months or even a few more days, don't worry about the consultation fee, it will definitely satisfy you, Zhu Tianren and Su Rong hurriedly lowered their stance and pleaded, it was impossible for them to give up any possibility now, I can't, I won't agree. Isn't it hilarious to let him a small child save Grandpa Zhu, if even a little kid who isn't even 20 years old can save a patient with pulmonary effusion then I Liao Huntao won't be in the doctor's profession for the rest of my life. Before Kai Xiaofan could say anything Liao Huntao jumped out and roared again as if his ass was on fire, I don't want to be rude no harm done tell me what do you want to do to get out of my eyes, Zhu Tianren was really fed up with Liao Huntao his brows furrowed and he was about to reprimand but was stopped by Kai Xiaofan with a wave of his hand, just now he finally remembered where he had seen Liao Huntao from, Huang Shan. This guy is one of the few people who used to travel together. With Zhu Zi and Yin Qingyu's two girls on Huang Shan Mountain, I heard that all Chinese medicine saints basically know a few ancient martial arts or health or actual combat since you said you know a little bit about the art of qi and huang, I think you must also know a few tricks, right? As long as you can beat me down, let you save Grandpa Zhu what's the harm? Liao Huntao slowly set up the starting gesture of Taekwondo, placing his two fists in front of his eyes he stared at Kai Xiaofan with a bounce, Liao you've been learning Taekwondo for almost 7 or 8 years it seems like you're already a Taekwondo black belt right, isn't it a bit too bullying, Su Rong's face was ugly, the old master was there Zhu family C pin when was it his turn to use forceful methods to decide? Auntie Su don't worry, I won't hit hard, and even if I hit. Hard I'll pay for his convalescence out of my own pocket, Liao Huntao hadn't seen the severity of the matter, if he had been calmer he would have realized that Su Rong didn't even call out Xiao Tao anymore and directly called out Xiao Liao. Cut the crap if you want to fight fight quickly, I'm busy trying to save people, Kai Xiaofan picked up Yan Qingyao and Zhu Ziyin and impatiently hooked his finger at Liao Huntao, rampant, let's see me teach you how to behave, when had Liao Huntao ever suffered this kind of aggravation, with a flash of cold light in his eyes a right hook punch went straight to Kai Xiaofan's face, he had been looking at Kai Xiaofan's handsome face for a long time. But before his fist could reach its target, Kai Xiaofan stretched out his hand and slapped Liao Huntao's face, splat, after a sudden crunch, the left side of Liao Huntao's face received a heavy blow and his entire body flew up into the air in a 360-degree spinning position in shock. What Taekwondo black belt? Fancy. Ignoring the stupefied Liao Huntao who fell to the ground, Kai Xiaofan greeted Zhu Tianren and the others and then strutted towards the open operating room. Yin Xingyao Zhu Zi and you two blocked the doorway for me don't let anyone come in, especially the kind of quacks who have no skills at all and can only brag about their power. As soon as Kai Xiaofan entered the operating room he smelled a very strong odor of blood. In addition to the smell of blood, there was also a layer of watery stench that was enough to make a person vomit out their overnight meal, plugging his mouth and nose with mana and running his gong methods to form a short internal breathing Kai Xiaofan then loosened the frown on his brow, taking a few quick steps to the operating table he then saw a frail old man wearing an oxygen mask. The old man's face was stalwart, probably in his 70s, and even when the disease was about to take over his body he didn't show much of an unusual expression, the old man suddenly opened his eyes as if he was trying to speak, but after his lips wriggled a few times he couldn't say anything, what was even more terrifying was that the cloudy yellow eyes inside his open sockets were as horrifying as a severe ghost in a horror movie, if someone who didn't know about this disease saw this. Seen, they would have thought they had encountered a mutated zombie, master I know you can hear me and see me to be honest it's really bad luck for you to run into me today I can save you but you have to promise me that you won't disclose what you've seen today to anyone including the top brass of the dragon kingdom. If you can do that then raise your right hand, Kai Xiaofan stood beside the operating table with his arms folded and spoke to himself. He knew that the old man in the hospital bed definitely understood his words, but he also knew that the old man had dedicated his life for the dragon kingdom and if he used his magical power to save him he might just backhandedly be told by the old man after he woke up to the rest of the top brass of the dragon kingdom, he was only at the sixth level of chi. Cultivation now, and he hadn't wanted to attract the attention of those people, the old man on the operating table probably really understood Kai Xiaofan's words after hesitating for a few seconds in the end the desire to live prevailed, and he lifted his right hand with great effort, very good, the deal is struck, remember today's agreement otherwise I can pull your life back from the gates of hell and likewise kick it down again. After Kai Xiaofan warned again he began to activate the mana in his body, 
after all the technique that he cultivated was the five elements technique and as Kai Shaofan's realm got higher and higher the mana gradually took on five colors, it was fine when it didn't need to be fully utilized it was almost as transparent, now once it was fully activated it was as if there was an additional multicolored haze inside his palm. Dazzling to the extreme, go, Kai Shaofan let out a soft shout. That even the crowd outside the operating room felt deafening, the next moment the entire inside of the operating room was enveloped in a multicolored glow, that light only spread to the outside a little bit making the anxiously waiting crowd outside feel incomparably blinding and unable to look directly at it. Inside the operating room, Kai Shaofan poured his mana into the old man's body, protecting his internal organs and meridians, and then removed the oxygen mask and took out the mineral water bottle containing the ginseng fruit spirit liquid and poured a drop out and popped it into the old man's mouth. Mana to protect the old man's body is full of holes has amazing efficacy of the ginseng fruit spirit liquid is the main force of treatment, and to deal with this kind of situation one had to use. Strong medicine, with a single drop the organs in the old man's body that were rapidly deteriorating were like drinking a mouthful of life-saving immortal spring and began to stop deteriorating, repairing themselves, and returning to normal at a speed visible to the naked eye. The efficacy of this drop of ginseng fruit spirit liquid which had only been diluted once really did not disappoint Kai Shaofan and with just one drop not only did it allow the lungs which were the most serious part of the old man's body to be completely repaired but it also even moisturized all the other organs as well. Without any hesitation the old man might be 70 or 80 years old now but the configuration of the organs inside was at most 50 years old, lives were saved. Diseases were cured and life characteristics were still 20 years younger. When Xu Wufei opened his eyes again from the operating table, the original cloudiness and deadness in his eyes had long since disappeared cleanly, the unreal feeling of having been saved from the aftermath of a robbery caused him to silently burst into old tears. Just before a single line of tears had finished flowing he used an incredible maneuver, a kark tuck. Alive and well he rolled over and jumped off the operating table, Zhuawo thanked you sir for saving his life, Zhuawo enemy's face was full of seriousness as he performed a 90 degree Baudakai Shao Fan, although he didn't kneel with his status and age he had never made such a big bow to anyone in his life except the party in the country, Elder Zhu needn't be polite, saving you was just a matter of convenience I just hope you don't forget the agreement between us, Kai Shao Fan. Reached out to support him in vain and said with deep meaning, Mr. Words Wow enemy will not dare to forget, Zhu Wow enemy looked at the young man in front of him who seemed to be in his infancy his heart was full of gratitude and awe. Although he had just been haunted by the disease and had one foot in the doorway of ghosts, pulmonary effusion was actually a very strange condition, even in the advanced stages when they were about to die they were just rotting inside their bodies but their consciousness was clear. So he did see Kai Shaofan's immortal tactics and knew that the young man in front of him was a rare and strange being in the world. He certainly wouldn't go against what such a being said, on the contrary, even if it went against something in his heart he would keep this secret to the death, because the more people who knew about this matter the more favorable it would be for their Zhu family, to enjoy the friendship of an immortal alone wouldn't that be great, that's great, now that you've recovered follow me out. Kai Shaofan of course didn't know what was going on in Zhu Wawa's mind and waved his hand when he saw that Zhu Wawa was fine and walked out of the operating room first, Mr. Kai, Mr. Kai, as soon as Kai Shaofan stepped out of the operating room a large group of people hollered and surrounded him, Zhu Ziyin, Yin Chang Yao, Zhu Tianren, Su Rong, Zhu Yuan Chen, and so on and so forth everyone stared at Kai Shaofan's face with anticipation. He's just a little white boy with a bit of brute. Strength, Grandpa Zhu is fluid in his lungs, can he be saved with a bit of strength, I've already called security right away this kid will be thrown out of the hospital. Kai Shaofan had not yet had time to say anything not far from the corner half of his face swollen and bun like Liao Huntao and the clown snorted with laughter and shook the cell phone in his hand and said. Coincidentally, just as he finished speaking a group of young security guards carrying batons trotted into the crowd's line of sight, the leader of the security chief saw Liao Huntao after a pair of green bean size eyes are bright and quickly led people to Liao Huntao's body in front of the upright low roar. Professor Liao, I called all the brothers over, the man you say is a liar we'll catch him right away and rack him out, little Liao. You are really going too far, what right do you have to mobilize the security of my Zhu family's private hospital, seeing that Liao Huntao was about to reach out and point his hand at Kai Shaofan, Su Rong finally couldn't stand it any longer and stood out to drink, Auntie Su, I'm doing this for your own good, 
you guys are just blinded by this man, just him, if he can save Grandpa Zhu I'll eat shit on the spot. Liao Hun Tao covered his somewhat loose teeth and pointed at Kai Xiaofan with hatred saying, Master Zhu you have heard if you do not come out I will be these security guards out, Kai Xiaofan waved his hand to stop Su Rong who was about to say something and slightly turned sideways to look in the direction of the operating room. What? Hearing these words the Zhu family subconsciously followed Kai Xiaofan's gaze and then they saw a scene that they would never forget, the Zhu families. Old man Xu Wao Di who was already 70 years old and was about to celebrate his 80th birthday actually walked out of the operating room with a red face and black silk, dad, uncle, grandpa, when Xu Wao enemy walked step by step to stand in front of the crowd all the people of the Zhu family all went crazy and knelt down to hug Xu Wao enemy's legs. Many of those who didn't get a hug could only kneel in the outer circle with a grumpy look on their faces, the old man was fortunate enough to have DR, Kai's skillful hands to bring the dead back to life today so he took advantage of the fact that all the people were here to announce three things, Zhu Wufei's tiger eyes scanned the circle and slowly stretched out three fingers, the first thing immediately dismissed Liao Hun Tao contacted the relevant departments to deprive him of the title of professor as well as the license to practice medicine so incapable of the villain is not worthy of the identity of the professor of medicine, secondly from today onwards Mr. Kai is the top VIP of our Zhu family, any member of the Zhu family including my old man must bow and address Mr. Kai as a junior. Thirdly not a word of what happened today is to be spread outside, violators will be expelled from the family, the first thing that Zhu Wuhui announced after he got well was that Liao Huntao who had offended Kai Xiaofan was sentenced to death. With Zhu Wao enemy status, this sentence wasn't too far off from an imperial decree. After this sentence, all the halos on Liao Huntao's head would be taken off. He would no longer be the rising medical star, but an ordinary person who didn't even have a license to practice medicine. Liao Huntao was paralyzed in disbelief, his face full of despair. He didn't understand how exactly Kai Xiaofan had saved Zhu Wufei. He didn't even understand that he had done his best to flatter the Xu family all these years so why did he end up in such a miserable situation in the blink of an eye, without the title of professor and the license to practice medicine there would be no more room for him amongst the higher echelons of the dragon kingdom, half an hour later in the Zhu family's luxurious manner Zhu Wufei's residence, other than Kai Xiaofan Zhu Tianren Su Rong Zhu Yuanchen Zhu Ziyin and Yan Qingyao the others had long since been blown away by Zhu Wuxi. At the moment Zhu Wao enemy and Kai Xiaofan sat at the top after taking a bath and changing into Chinese mountain clothes looking brand new and the rest of the five people were sitting in two rows at the bottom. After three rounds of tea and five flavors of conversation, Zhu Wao Di suddenly said in surprise, I didn't expect Mr. Kai to still be a student now only going to university in September, let the old man laugh, not a good school just an ordinary college in Magic City, Kai Xiaofan gently sipped a mouthful of tea and said back, although he is young, but also know to deal with these top red family, the end of the frame or to take, he couldn't let people belittle him, could he? In those novels obviously the protagonist has a system and a golden finger, but after meeting these top families he forgot his identity as the protagonist and shouted a so and so grandpa and so and so uncle, and then he was treated like a cow and did trivial things which was something he couldn't do. In fact, with Mr. Ability to waste time to go to what the university is too bad if the old man I recommend enough to let Mr. Quickly into the highest level of today's dragon in the line of sight of the few in a few years, the feudal lords to worship the prime minister easily Mr. may wish to reconsider? Mr. do not blame, not the old man must let you how hub just our Zhu family most of the contacts and relations are in the military and political inside can return the favor of your life's greatest sincerity is to help you climb to the top of the pinnacle of power. After thinking about it, Zhu Wao Se still couldn't help but ask one more question. When he finished speaking he looked at Kai Xiaofan nervously. He was not afraid of Kai Xiaofan not answering but was afraid of Kai Xiaofan getting. Angry, the matter of conferring the title of Marquis and worshipping the Prime Minister is not urgent I may go and contact those few in the center later but right now I'm still more interested in completing my university studies for the time being so that I can reassure the elders in my family. Of course, if the old man you really want to repay what is not out of the question directly realistic give some car or room, preferably Magic City so that save me in two months to go to school when you have to buy their own, Kai Xiaofan laughingly said his heart's true thoughts. For him now, it's not hard to get a car and a house, just sell some gold dollars, but if it's a car and house in Magic City, that would be a bit difficult, because he wasn't ready to touch the pinnacle of power right. Now, car and house, 
This one is simple, even if Mr. Kai doesn't say anything we the Zhu family will definitely prepare these things for you sir, Zhu Tianren who had been listening from the side without much interjection for half a day hurriedly patted his chest and assured. In this way the old man I directly make the decision from the garage to choose to give a Bentley to Mr. Wok and then from the family name of the real estate to allocate a set of villa transfer to Mr. Hao, a Zhu Wufei asked respectfully. Quite good just like this the villa thing you slowly helped me deal with on the line ID card I first pressure here, but the car transfer things try to be faster I also want to drive home at noon to eat, Kai Xiaofan slapped his ID card on the table and stood up, Mr. You want to go back so soon, you saved my father, how can you stay for a meal Zhu Tianren and Su Rong saw Kai Xiaofan standing up and quickly got up and said, yes sir, you'll have to honor us with your presence, Zhu Wei gave Zhu Ziyin and Yin Xingyao a wink as he got up trying to get the two girls to help speak. In his opinion, since the two girls had followed Kai Xiaofan back, the relationship between the three must be very good. However, Zhu Wuyu quickly disappointed because the two girls did not help him at all, even Zhu Ziyin instead helped Kai Xiaofan and said, Grandpa Dad Mom Xiaofan is usually very busy this time also because I have an urgent matter on my side to make an exception and I went home together since Grandpa is now fine then we really should also go back dinner things next. Time to say it anyway in the future Xiaofan still have to stay in the magic city for four years. Alas in that case then we can only wait for the next time, Mr. Next time, you must let us make a small contribution. Xu Wowen and Zhu Tianren both side and side, however, Zhu Ziyin's mom Su Rong's eyes lit up, she keenly sensed that something was wrong, Xiaoyin Xiaoyin you just said that the two of you are going to follow Mr. Mr. as well, Su Rong's face seemed to be filled with gossip, and when she said that Zhu Wufei and Zhu Tianren also froze violently for a moment followed by great joy, it's good to go together, we have to go together. About an hour later, a black Bentley flying spur steadily stopped in front of Kai Xiaofan, under the absolute power to open the way in just one hour's time, this luxury car worth millions of dollars has been successfully transferred in the name of Kai Xiaofan. With a car and no urgent matters so when returning to Guangling City Kai Xiaofan was driving himself, as soon as Kai Xiaofan left Zhu Wawu brought Zhu Tianren Su Rong and Zhu Yu Wanchen back to the original place, Zhu Wuyu just sat down has not said a word Zhu Yu Wanch and will mutter cannot help but muttered. Grandpa Dad Mom I admit that surnamed Kai saved Grandpa has a lot of credit but it is not so exaggerated as to let our Zhu family so many people are respecting him three points. Right, bastard, shut up, you can't talk about Mr. Kai behind his back, Zhu Tianren's cheeks trembled with anger when he saw Zhu Yu Wanch and who looked like a second generation ancestor, Su Rong even directly smacked Zhu Yu Wanch and angrily, you still know that he saved your grandfather? People saved your grandfather and you still have this attitude, this is also that you did not do this in front of Mr. Otherwise I will immediately tear your dog's mouth, and Zhu Yu Wanchen pouting unconvinced the old man Zhu Wuxi even threw down a dose of medicine said, from now on stop all the vice card of Yu Wanchen only give him $30 a day, well, this time Zhu Yu Wanchen can no longer hold back looks younger than Kai Xiaofan one or two years of face jerked even while cry I can only. Remind you of one inch Mr. Kai is not just a god of medicine so simple he has a more magical place our Zhu family but cannot be offended by him for a moment and even have to unconditionally ingratiate themselves with him flattering him. Zhu Wao enemy looked at Zhu Yuan Shen who was crying in pain and said forcefully, on the highway Kai Xiaofan opened the stereo in the Bentley car to drive himself alone, to say a few million dollars of luxury cars is not the same inside the stereo as the sound of Berlin listening to it is definitely a feast for the ears. Kai Xiaofan and Kai Xiaofan self-indulgence is not the same, the back row sitting Zhu Ziyin and Yin Qingyao two people are crackling pressing the cell phone, some words. They were too embarrassed to say directly after all Kai Xiaofan was an immortal even if they said it softly and the music was loud, there was no guarantee that Kai Xiaofan wouldn't hear it. So they were using green bubbles to communicate with each other, Zhu Ziyin, what should we do a yao yao, we owe Xiaofan more and more favors you made my grandfather three whole lives. How can we repay this, Yin Qingyao? What are you panicking about? The big deal is to promise to give him 10 or 8 children, Zhu Ziyin. That's easy for you to say, if we really want to be flattered, Xiao Fan may not even look at us you don't know that little girl called Xiao Pamelo is obviously chasing after Xiao Fan, but what about Xiao Fan? He didn't even look at her, Yin Qingyao, Xiao Pamelo, I admit that she's very pretty but she's still a little girl with a lot less flavor so maybe Xiao Fan likes mature ladies like us and isn't interested in young green girls like that. Xu Ziyin, 
whatever you say anyway I have figured out since I can't repay then I won't marry in this life it just so happens that I also hate those tiresome blind dates and marriages wasting all that time would be better to serve him wholeheartedly and do whatever he tells me to do. After Zhu Ziyin sent out these words Yin Chengya was obviously shocked. She looked at Zhu Ziyin in the first instance only to see an unquestioning look of determination on Zhu Ziyin's face, seeing. This scene Yan Qingyao completely understood that Zhu Ziyin was already completely different from her. From this moment on she was no longer living for herself and her family and from now on there was an even more important role in her life than herself and her family. I respect your decision and support your thoughts, Yan Qingyao patted the back of Zhu Ziyin's hand very seriously. That handsome teenager who was driving a Bentley with one hand did have such a charismatic personality that he deserved to be treated so well by his best girlfriend. Moreover, perhaps one day she herself would be like Zhu Ziyin willing to do anything for this teenager. So she understood and supported Zhu Ziyin. Kai Xiaofan naturally didn't know that he had made a trip to Mordor and in addition to earning a large villa worth tens of millions of dollars at the very least and a luxury car, he had also gained the sworn followership of the first daughter of a red third generation family. But even if he knew he wouldn't say anything, he hadn't thought about Zhu Ziyin and Yin Xingyao since the beginning, so no matter how the two of them changed their mindset as long as they didn't go to their deaths to yell about him everywhere he didn't care. After driving alone for nearly three hours, Kai Xiaofan finally saw Wuwa village in his sights, because it happened to be noon when they came back black smoke was rising from inside the chimneys of the homes. When the Bedley turned into the Bagua information station at the entrance of the village with its turn signal, the group of old people who had already finished their lunch and were hiding in the alleyway while taking a cool ride and chatting were suddenly wide-eyed and silent. They are old yes, but it does not mean that they have not seen the knowledge, in fact the older they are the broader their knowledge, who wasn't a hipster when they were young. So when Kai Xiaofan drove his Bentley into the village a dozen old men who were chatting recognized the car's make, an old man dressed in a fashionable style even waved a banana fan and stopped in front of the front of the car exclaiming, well 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 isn't this the Bentley flying spur, isn't this the Bentley flying spur, whose child is in the car, come down and let me have a look. The car was stopped by someone of course cannot drive Kai Xiaofan can only helplessly open the door to get out of the car, goodness gracious, aren't you little fan from the Jenlin family, it's true. They say that Kai Bin's family is rich, a promotion banquet cost hundreds of thousands of dollars eating seafood, drinking Mao Tai, at first I didn't believe it, but now I do, Fan, where did you get this car, it's worth several million dollars, Kai Xiaofan just got out of the car was surrounded by a crowd of people, no way Kai Xiaofan can only explain this as a borrowed friend's car and then pretended to take out a packet of 9-5 from his pocket and began to spread up, the crowd was. Obviously not convinced of his reason for borrowing the car but for the sake of the 9-5 or reluctantly let Kai Xiaofan re-enter the car. But Kai Xiaofan just left the village in trance about him driving a few million luxury car home things will be like the wind instantly blowing throughout the entire village of Wuhua, live in the same village of Wuhua Wang Love and Summer Zhu Xian is in the evening to know this news, at that time the mother and daughter of the two immediately changed color, a green a purple one then a wonderful. And as Kai Xiaofan hair small Zhang Jiaqing Chun Xinwei two people but also when Kai Xiaofan just arrived at home not long after riding a small donkey and the sun rushed over. Then the two plus Kai Xiaofan's dad Kai Bin will be full of excitement around the car parked outside around up, do not mind the heat, as for the Yan Xingyao's temporary car parked in front of the door the three of them didn't even glance at it, the three of them didn't even glance at it, Xiaofan Yuran just called to say that Xin Ruwei is on summer vacation and will arrive at the station around 2.30 p.m. Xin Ruwei also brought two female classmates back with her to say that they are playing for a few days and they don't have a car so they can't just ride their two electric scooters to the station to pick up the people in the hot weather right? So thought to let you help to pick up Yin Xingyao and Zhu Ziying back to the room to blow the air conditioning to go Kai Xiaofan just sat down in the living room heard the voice of the mother. Mom is not clear what the Bentley brand represents, just think their son drove back a car that looks very good, uncle's family has an only daughter called Chin Shin Ruid younger than him two years in the field boarding high school, counting the days it was indeed time for vacation, as for the aunt. Letting herself go to the station to help pick up, it was probably because she had seen the business car parked in front of her house for several days, the relationship between the two families is very good, this little favor of course to help so Kai Xiaofan nodded without thinking and agreed to this matter. I'll go upstairs and squint for a while, I'll be out at 2 o'clock sharp, 
after saying that Kai Xiaofan really went upstairs to take a nap, today in order to save Zhuao enemy in Magic City his mana consumption is also no longer plus continuously drove for 3 hours indeed some sleepy, at 1.35pm Kai Xiaofan woke up from his nap, to the dog's kennel still whistling in the blizzard devil wolf poured a few drops of ginseng fruit liquid mixed with milk into the dog's food bowl and watered the snow ginseng Kai Xiaofan yawned and leisurely downstairs, this time to pick up his cousin he did not alarm Yan Zhu two girls but a person in the Bentley and drove towards the station. He actually understood what his aunt and uncle meant the two of them were just incapable on their own so they hoped that Kai Xiaofan could help them go and hold up the field, if it was just the cousin coming back alone Kai Xiaofan might have gone in his commercial vehicle, but now that the cousin had brought two more classmates the card couldn't be lowered. Although the business car that Yen Xinyao drove was also a Mercedes-Benz brand and its value was already not low, but how high could it be as high as a Bentley? I'm a cousin can't I help my own cousin to raise her face, after all the girl to be richly nurtured, I have to say the feeling of driving a luxury car is different, in the magic city do not feel anything because there are luxury cars everywhere. But since returning to the city of Guangling wherever Bentley's logo goes the gods and devils all retreat, waiting for a traffic light the rear car actually pulled away from him a full 5 or 6 positions, not to say anything else on this kind of let people fear the feeling it is very cool, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon Kai Xiaofan came to Guangling City bus station outside, Buckle asked a mouthful of cousin learned that the three will be nearly 20 minutes to arrive, Kai. Xiaofan can only find a more conspicuous parking space and then put down the backrest squinting for a while, waiting until 2.27.8 when the cell phone slightly shook Kai Xiaofan suddenly opened his eyes and glanced at it, Shin Shin Rue, brother we're getting off, my mom said you drove to pick us up what's the license plate number of your car? Parked where? Kai Xiaofan didn't have fan, just in the parking space on the left side of the exit, license plate number Su K99555 Chen Xin Rui. Okay, we will be right there. Kai Xiaofan put down his cell phone and adjusted back to the seat and waited for another minute or so. He saw five youthful and energetic young girls jumping and jumping from the exit came out. Cousin Chen Xin Rui was among the five. Just as Kai Xiaofan was a bit puzzled about how three people had turned into five, the five little girls had split into two and turned into two small teams, the little girl in that two-person team was like two proud chicks pulling open the door of a white Audi A4. But the two pulled open but did not immediately get on the car, but instead snickered and turned to stare at Chen Xin Rui. three people seems to want to see their jokes, and at this time, Chen Xin Rui and the two young girls who followed her had an ugly look on their faces, this situation was clear at a glance and it was obvious that it was just the climbing heart between the five little girls at work, if it was the Kai Xiao fan from two months ago there was certainly nothing he could do when he saw this scene, but the current him was long since not the same as he was two months ago, dropping, Kai Xiao fan suddenly pressed the horn and then stuck his head out of the window and shouted at the three people who were still looking for the license plate number, Xin Rue, what are you looking at to get in the car, brother, is this your car? No way Xin Rue, didn't you say that your brother's family is average at most he drives an ordinary car, this is a Bentley, I'm afraid it costs a few million dollars, right? Kai Xiaofan this voice not only to Chen Exe and Rui three people to scared, the same also calmed down not far away from the other two girls, until Chen Xin Rui three people chirping on the car, the two girls did not move a bit as if rooted wow, Xin Rui. Not only does your cousin have the strength to drive a luxury car, but he's also so young and handsome, yeah 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 Xin Rui, you were so dishonest, you never told us you had such a handsome cousin at home, are you not treating us as good girlfriends? Just get on the car and simply introduce each other after some Chen Xin Rui's two little girlfriends Zhou Ran Zhang Nan Nan covered the mouth of a small left and right pinched Chen Xin Rui's waist viciously whispered question up, the sky is poor, you guys have never asked me about my family, brother where did you get this car before I have not seen you drive it is not possible that my sister-in-law bought a lottery ticket won a prize? Chen Xin Rui begged for mercy with her two little. Sisters while looking at Kai Xiaofan, the car, the car is your brother I bought myself, Kai Xiaofan said without looking back, brother are you serious, don't tease I'll go, this car is really yours. Chen Xin Rue obviously do not believe Kai Xiaofan words, but Kai Xiaofan did not say anything directly to the driving license and the big green book out and thrown to the back, directly let Chen Xin Rue dumbfounded. She didn't understand that after only a few months of not seeing him, how did his cousin's car become a Bentley from a small electric donkey? This is also too outrageous. 
Cousin Xiao Fan, you're the number one school bully in your school, aren't you? Has anyone ever told you how? Handsome, you are good brother Xiao Fan. Can you drive us around Guangling City tomorrow? Chen Xin Ruwei is skeptical of life. Her two little girlfriends have already begun to grill the back of the chair and Kai Xiao Fan chatting on the intimate. To say that things are gathered in groups is absolutely true. Although Chen Xin Ruwei is young, but because of the girl's precocious reason, the development of the front and back, the face is also already clearly visible beauty embryo, and her girlfriends, the same as absolutely small beauty, especially Jiang Nan Nan, not only the face value is nearly 90 points, the development is not at all like a 16 or 17 year old girl. Her height is at least 1 meter 7, her upper body bosom is magnificent, white shirt is almost broken, lower body. Only wore a pink pleated skirt, did not wear stockings also show tight slender white legs, even if Kai Xiaofan saw it is also in the heart secretly called a superb. Kai Xiaofan finally handed over the white flag after being softly coaxed by the two girls for a while and promised to take them to have a good time in Guangling City tomorrow. Noisy all the way, Kai Xiaofan quickly sent the three to the door of Chen Xinrui's house, until the three reluctantly got out of the car, Kai Xiaofan only then heaved a sigh of relief and ran away with a hot step on the gas. Cousin Chen Xinrui is okay, but Zhou Ran and Jiang Nan Nan two people along the way can be tossed. Him enough, even the tiger's and wolf's words of wanting the two to be his girlfriend together were bluntly stated, if not for Kai Xiaofan driving the two would have to drill into his arms to be pampered. After sending the three cousins home safely, Kai Xiaofan did not go home first time, but drove the car to pick up his youngest brother Chen Xinwei and Zhang Jiaqing two people, even another iron brother Su Anming who still works in the city was dragged into the car together. The three people's movements and demeanor can be described as neat and tidy not yet on the car when staring at the car left to touch the right to see, but when on the car after they have become the eyes do not squint. Cheeks red small waist straight three good students, Kai Xiaofan couldn't help but laugh and scold the three really bumpkins, the body of the strongest and highest with a black bear like Su Anming he 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 smile touched the big brain some eager to look at Kai Xiaofan asked, Xiaofan you said on the phone to bring us three brothers and sisters together to get rich is what it means? I'm skipping work out if you let a few menopause to the leadership of the above found at least to find 200 rounds, ya yeah, Xiaofan what's your plan to make a fortune by calling all three of us in such a hurry, I'm just halfway through my fucking game and I'm running away. The girl who just fell in love with me online is now going to break up with me, the body of the thinnest, but the height is also 1 meter 8 Zhang Jiaqing also followed by waving his cell phone and agreed, no. Interest, there is a righteous father I take you guys, but also what class to talk about what online love listen to me and Ming you later call the fire your boss a squid, Jiaqing you delete that online girlfriend right away, I am afraid that she will miss your assets in a few days. Kai Xiaofan sprayed at the duo with some hatred, really can it really work? My job is at least four five hundred a month immediately, immediately, fight now, fire them, Su Anming faced still some hesitation but directly by Kai Xiaofan to domineering blocked back, in the end, in the end can save each other's lives of true brothers even after the social rendering, Su Anming also only slightly hesitated for a moment to take out the phone and began to fire up the boss's squid although about how to take them to get rich Kai Xiaofan has not said anything. After seeing Su Anming do as he was told, Kai Xiaofan quickly turned his attention back to Zhang Jiaqing only to see that Zhang Jiaqing had already deleted his online girlfriend nimbly and even the couple's relationship that had just been established in the game not too long ago had been dissolved, Kai Xiaofan nodded in satisfaction and the next moment he lifted out a small suitcase from under the seat. That's right it was the same suitcase that Yen Qingyao and Zhu Ziyin had packed a million dollars and earlier, is it hard to believe that what's contained in the suitcase is the secret treasure of fortune-making, righteous father, I'm not looking for more, as long as I can earn enough tens of thousands of dollars so that I can have money to talk to someone when I go to college, that's all, Chen Xinwei rubbed his hands and howled with impatience, although his and Zhang Jiaqing's grades were not as good as Kai Xiaofan's, they were both in the top 15 of their class so, they both got into college. However, the school they were both admitted to was in Jinling, tens of thousands of dollars, I let you three come over to help me with a small amount of money like tens of thousands of dollars, next time this kind of discouraging words do not say spread out to lose my face, Kai Xiaofan is only a little more liberal when he is with his brothers, weekdays are still mainly introverted and stable, soon under the watchful eyes of the three Kai Xiaofan sitting in the driver's seat slowly. Opened the suitcase, in a flash Su Anming Chen Xinwei and Zhang Jiaqing's sight was obscured by a layer of glittering golden light, 
the car was first silent for three seconds and then the cries of the three of them resounded, so many gold bricks? You didn't rob a bank, did you? Dad, I'm calling you my own father, don't scare my son, brother can I get off the boat now, will I be wanted as an accomplice? For every word the three said, Kai Xiaofan's face would darken, it wasn't until Kai Xiaofan couldn't help but knock one on the head that the trio whimpered strangely and stopped acting weird, robbing the Harry Bank, you know those two beautiful rich women living in my house, right? That luxurious promotion banquet in this. Bet leave this gold brick all because I did them a big favor people send, called you to come as to let you help me together to sell these gold bricks for cash, Kai Xiaofan threw a few large gold bricks into all three people's arms, don't ask why the gold dollars turned into gold bricks? The question is that cultivators are awesome, the shape of the gold dollar was just too eye-catching like an antique with historical value so in order not to draw attention to it, Kai Xiaofan could only pinch it into the style of a gold brick before he could take it to sell. In fact, this matter is the best way is to trust Yen Xinyao and Zhu Ziyin to help two people behind the power of the rich and powerful one-time disposal of these gold is absolutely not difficult rather than like Kai. Xiaofan is now so just take a tenth of the first out of the separate sales, but Kai Xiaofan considering the current home and he is not very short of money plus he has a few poor stingy life brothers are still living in the bitter days which gave up the idea of letting the two women to help. He last time a total of about 3,000 tails of gold in the Yutan realm according to 1 or 250 grams, 3,000 tails of gold is 150,000 grams, one-tenth of the portion would be 15,000 grams or 30 pounds, don't look at 30 pounds sounds like a lot, in fact the density of gold is very high so it does not show more. Kai Xiaofan pinched out the gold bricks each one was about 2 pounds and there were a total of 15 small square bricks inside the suitcase, he gave 3. People three gold bricks each let them take a car to Guangling City next door to the city of some gold stores or recycling gold and silver places to sell, he himself took six gold bricks and drove the car directly to kill a gold store in the center of Guangling. Perhaps see Kai Xiaofan all brand name dignified but also driving a few million Bentley luxury car, the gold store recycling staff did not make it difficult for Kai Xiaofan on the six gold bricks or in accordance with the price of 450 grams received. However, the final money in hand is not as much as expected. The staff said he brought the gold brick is not full gold, only about 80% of the gold content so the final cash also followed with a discount of 20%, 6 gold bricks to a total of about 216 million, around 8 o'clock in the evening Suanning three people also came back from the city one after another each person sold the price of 1 million at the beginning, in the end the four of them sold a total of 5,320,000. When four people drove to the town, see the ATM machine display screen on the series of numbers four people stood inside for three minutes did not move a bit, 53950000 remove the last two represents the corner minutes of zero the rest of the number represents the meaning of the whole $539,555,000. The $75,000 was the savings left over from the ingot of gold that Kai Xiaofan had sold before and the $5,320,000 was the proceeds from the sale of the gold bricks this time, in fact, according to reason, Kai Xiaofan's name also has a villa and a Bentley in Magic City, he is not so excited to see a mere $5 million, but the reality is, a luxury car is a luxury car, a villa is a villa, it's all real estate. Even if it was worth more without realizing it, where was the excitement of the liquidity lying in the bank card, the bank card inside the string of numbers counted and counted to determine that there is no error the four people only then full of reluctance to push open the bank's glass door re-sitting into the car. Half an hour later, the Bentley in front of Kai Xiaofan's home stopped steadily, gave the three people a greeting let them wait in the car after Kai Xiaofan got off the car. Alone to go home, in a few minutes Kai Xiaofan once again walked out with a small suitcase. On the car, taking advantage of the night as thick, Kai Xiaofan directly opened the suitcase from the inside grabbed a bundle of $100 bills and dumped it to the three people. Today are hard a person to take 100,000, do not rob and do not make trouble take back after their own stay a few thousand the rest will give your mom and dad save up. Kai Xiaofan dumped 30 bundles of $100 bills before closing the suitcase again, he is very lucky to have a million. Cash at home at the moment if you use the internet banking transfer is not impossible, just compared to a string of ice-cold figures he still prefers the real cash incentives. Who wouldn't love the feeling of holding 10 red tickets in his arms, grass is the horse, what also do not say, from now on you are my Chen Xinwei's rightful father, 
please accept my knee, Godfather, please accept my knee. The three living treasures each held ten red tickets and opened the car door to count out a Kai Shao fan. $100,000 may not mean much to a wealthy family, but for the three of them it's definitely a huge sum of money that is comparable to the family's entire savings. Moreover Kai Xiaofan also knew that Su Anming's family owed hundreds of thousands of dollars in external debt because he had bought a house in the county town. This hundred thousand dollars for Su Anming that is also equivalent to not eat and drink two years to save a fortune, well well don't be weird all her life brothers since said to bring you rich then I naturally have to do what I said. Kai Xiaofan laughed and scolded and helped the three people up, seeing the three holding ten bundles of banknotes some two eye-catching he was also very careful from the trunk of the car to find three convenient bags, seeing the three people carrying a bag. Laughing and ready to leave Kai Xiaofan suddenly thought of another thing to say, you go back and don't run around and talk about it. This period of time to listen to my notice in the future this kind of thing may also often do to the aunt and uncle they directly say is that I have a channel to get rich so take you a hand if they do not believe let them come to me to ask understand righteous father's words children word by word all in mind please righteous father rest assured Zhang Jiaqing learned the ancient model of a bow to the end of the road don't worry this matter in addition to the four of us who don't want to know that as my family's mother mother is also the same the brother a few mouth is not strict you do not know, Chen Xinwei also patted his chest to ensure that said, anyway we are always waiting for your notice, go 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 I can't wait to go home and count the money, old me is going to use the coins to make a bed to sleep in this day. Su Anming covered the bag into his arms his eyebrows fluttering as he already made a sprinting pose, fuck me, you kid is really a genius, why didn't I think of this idea, coins make the bed how fragrant this bed must be no no no, I can't stand it farewell. Looking at the three people fighting and joking away figure as if to complete a matter of the heart Kai Xiaofan then locked the car door back home, his life may only be so a few hair little brother can help them a hand he is also very happy, moreover he also had his own mind that is to gradually cultivate the three people in the future when he became a transcendent immortal above the dragon kingdom there must be a few trustworthy capable generals below him right? Late at night, in a large flat in a high-end district in the center of Guangling, Chaoyuzu Fish is kicking a pair of white jade-like calves lying on the pink Simmons bed staring at the cell phone in a dark daze, if she looked closer she could see that her cell phone screen had stopped at the same interface for a long time, that interface was none other than Kai Xiaofan's chat box, in the box there was even a sentence already typed, oops I'm bored to death. Let's just die, I have to. Confess to him today, if I miss this summer vacation and go to college I won't have a chance, I don't know what came to mind, but Xia Yufu finally clicked the send button after biting her silver teeth and stomping her feet. At the same time Kai Xiaofan was practicing next to his thighs the screen of his cell phone also lit up and a message appeared on it Xia Yufan, Kai Xiaofan I love you, I really really love you, I miss you so much that I can't even eat, I can't sleep well can you give me a chance, just one chance. Kai Xiaofan just distracted glanced at it and ignored it while the other side of the phone Xiao Yufu fish is wide-eyed enough to look forward to a small half an hour did not wait for Kai. Xiaofan's reply ignore me, how can you ignore me to Kai Xiaofan you bastard, waiting for half an hour to pass has not waited for the news of Xiao Yufu fish cannot help but crazy even with the white jade general small feet directly kicked away usually her favorite and expensive doll. She knew that Kai Xiaofan might have a grudge against himself blaming her for rejecting his confession in her first year of high school, but how could she not expect that Kai Xiaofan would actually reject her confession twice in a row, I don't believe your heart is made of iron, don't you have a grudge, good, then I'll confess to you in front of all the senior high school students, I don't believe that won't make you feel better. Perhaps it was too much to ask for, or perhaps it was. Because she was afraid that a great immortal like Kai Xiaofan would be taken by another beautiful girl Xiao Yufu unexpectedly made a very bold decision. Gritting her teeth, determination flashing in her eyes, Xiao Yufei quickly reopened a large group that had the entire senior class of their term even all the teachers as well as a vice principal, the 2018 senior class general group, another paragraph was edited that was specifically used for confession and only Kai Xiaofan was the only one who was aid and then sent it. In a blink of an eye the hundreds of people in the large group that originally only had teachers occasionally posting. Some important information immediately boiled over, it was fierce, in the middle of the night we actually saw the school beauty confessing her love to someone else, let me sleep a little longer, damn I thought I was the only one who got worked up but I'm not the only one, upstairs are you guys focusing on the wrong thing? 
This isn't your private class group, it's the whole fucking year group, I just realized, my god Ashayusu was confessing to someone else in the senior class group, who's so generous as to let the recognized school beauty of our number one senior high school confess her love in front of hundreds of people, it's just too late the teachers and the vice principal have gone to bed otherwise who would dare to show their heads and blow their brains out. Choi Shu Fan, I know this guy, he's the class president of class 1, he's very handsome, he's been my crush for 3 years, sister from class 5 inch you've said it out loud, how can you call that a crush, shut up, where's Choi Shu Fan, how dare you steal Gadisha from me, let's have a date tomorrow morning at the Comet Billiards Room in front of the school. Whoever doesn't show up is a dog, what class are you from, don't you want to live, how dare you challenge my brother Fan, who is it, who's provoking my father, come out and suffer death, with Xiao Yufu's sentence of confession the entire 2018 senior class general group immediately blew out a hundred or ten night owls, and the number of night owls was still increasing dramatically. Soon the group was in an uproar between those who helped Kai Xiao Fan and those who were hostile to Kai. Xiao Fan, the people who were hostile to Kai Xiao Fan because they liked Xiao Yufu were not only the ones who helped Kai Xiao Fan there were also many who helped Kai Xiao Fan, the part of people who helped Kai Xiao Fan are mainly girls who have a crush on Kai Xiao Fan as well as the senior class students who have just received Kai Xiao Fan's favor and made a lot of money. Among them to Chun Qinwei Zhang Jiaqing is the most exaggerated the two almost incarnated keyboard warrior only two people can easily suppress the enemy dozen people, and with the chatting more and more soon Kai Xiaofan held a promotion banquet spent hundreds of thousands of dollars driving a few million luxury car things somehow was disclosed. After all we are all classmates there are several as Kai Xiaofan village or even next door to a few villages know some of the recent spread of. The most ferocious things is not unusual, only once these two things were revealed the voices against Kai Xiaofan inside the group immediately reduced by half. Although the students were young and impulsive, they weren't stupid, hearing that Kai Xiaofan was actually a fierce man who drove a Bentley who would dare to be ironic, if the beeping goes on maybe people with money can smash themselves to death, no one knew that Xia Zhuxin and Xiao Yufu who had been peering at the screen without saying anything had both covered their mouths in shock at the moment, but although the two people's posture was similar, their mentality was far worse, Xia. Jushin directly exploded, originally, she had heard the rumor that Kai Xiaofan had come back in a luxury car today so she had been hesitating to say goodbye to Chiang Xing this evening, she was a smart woman who knew how to whet a man's appetite, after having an affair with Chiang Xing, she didn't actually let Chiang Xing really get a body. After all Li Chiang Xing's height and face value was so much worse than Kai Xiaofan's that she had to be disgusted for half a day just to pull a hand and kiss Chiang Xing, if she got into bed, that would probably leave a lifelong psychological shadow, she was just trying to get money. Now see the group chat, not only the school flower shall pomelo fish public confession Kai Xiaofan but also once again exposed Kai Xiaofan not only a promotion banquet spent hundreds of thousands of dollars and even actually drove a few million dollars of luxury cars her heart instantly made a decision she wants to dump Chang Xing, retrieve Kai Xiaofan, just when she righteously broke up with Chang Xing after the showdown and then went to click on Kai Xiaofan's avatar to send a sentence in, I miss you. The harvest is a series of red exclamation marks and you are no longer each other's friend please add friends before chatting Xia Zhuxin's state of mind completely collapsed, her clear as pity small face began to distort at a speed visible to the naked eye and her palms pinched and clicked, almost failing to open the door to send in the fruit of the wang love scared to death. Compared to the regretful Xia Zhuxin, Xia Yufu's mood at the moment is not bad, at the very least, her purpose has been achieved, she was a pure schoolgirl who announced her love for Kai Xiaofan in a large group of so many people giving Kai Xiaofan enough face and at the same time putting Kai Xiaofan on a pedestal, as soon as Xia Yufu thought of the days when she successfully rose to the top and became Kai Xiaofan's girlfriend she couldn't help but clench her jade legs with a face of shy joy. It was really hard for her to imagine how wonderful those days would be Yu Kai Xiaofan who had finished running a large circumference had just wanted to stop cultivating and rest for a while when his gaze inadvertently glanced at the lit up cell phone screen once again, but fuck just how many times had Ape been able to keep his screen lit knowing that it would take more than half an hour at least for his gung fu to run a great circumference. Crazy, what are you chatting about in the middle? Of the night? Curiosity made Kai Xiaofan couldn't help but click on his cell phone and the moment he entered his eyes he saw the list was densely packed with red unread messages.
These unread messages from a variety of sources, there are male and female classmates other classes by chance to add a few friends hair small Zhang Jiaqing Chun Qinwei school flower shell pomelo fish and even add friends of the line appeared dozens of names, the top one applying for a friend's avatar is clearly Xia Zhuxin who has long been deleted by him as a friend. Kai Xiaofan directly ignored the other messages and took the lead in clicking on the chat box of the school's flower girl. Xiao Yufei, he wasn't being facetious, it was just that according to the time ranking, Xiao Yuzu Fish was the first to send him a message so he was the first to click on it. As a result, just as he clicked on it, he saw Xiao Yuzu's fleshy message confessing her love for him, Kai Xiaofan's face twitched and he quickly opened the chat box of the two hairdressers again, finally he clicked on all the unread messages one by one, ten minutes later he finally figured out what was going on, until then he just clicked on the chat group page of the senior class group after opening nothing directly dumped 10 200 dollars of big red packets after the red packet sent out he just put down a sentence to thank the brothers and sisters who speak for me a few small red packets to talk about the intention we point to go buy a bottle of iced water to moisturize the throat as for those who denigrate me do not grab otherwise the consequences of their own responsibility he this 10 red packets and message one had been quiet a lot of the group immediately boiled again, many students who have been on Kai Xiaofan's side immediately shouted, brother fan is great, Kai Xiaofan atmosphere, fuck me I grabbed 60, thank you Mr. Righteous Father, is brother Xu fan free tomorrow, can I treat you to ice cream, sister, you wanna treat my righteous father to ice cream, you want to eat him, don't you? Brother Xiaofan the black silk I just bought was. Scratched by the cat at home, it seems to have a small hole, but it's located at the back of my inner thigh, I can't see it, why don't you come over and take a look at it for me now, again, I don't even want to expose you. If you want brother fan to come to your house to see your cat backflip just say so and hide the black silken holes, how can my brother fan like this kind of vulgarity, I don't know what's wrong with you, I just went to the bathroom and jerked off and 10 big red packets are gone, you animals. I kinda like stockings and also have a pretty deep study of black silk at a friend to send positioning it I drove over to show you how it really is, Kai Xiaofan cheerfully ate a female. Classmate in the fourth class of the senior high school, this student he is quite impressive said to be the class flower of the fourth class called what high union face value and figure than Xia Zhuxin more than one the key is that people will also thief dress black silk white silk leather boots JK short skirt can often see her wear. Of course, compared to Xiao Yuzu fish that is still a bit of a gap, just think of Xiao Yuzu fish, Xiao Yuzu fish ding 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 continuously sent three messages over, but Kai Xiaofan did not look at all he was busy adding Gao Yunyun's button, just added Gao Yunyun directly sent a very seductive selfie, the photo looked like she was sitting on the sofa wearing a white shirt and a burgundy tie her long light blonde hair was spread out on her chest looking very high class, the lower half of. Her body may have been blocked by her arms so she didn't see the skirt and pants, but the pair of shiny black silk legs were simply breathtaking. It had to be said that this Gao Yunyun segment was really high just a simple selfie it presented all of her strengths, even Kai Xiaofan like this, and seeing this selfie cannot guarantee that the heart has no ripples, Kai Xiaofan didn't have fan, sure enough you have a small hole in this stocking I've already seen it, Gao Yunyun, you've already found it, you have good eyes, Kai Xiaofan. I heard that you've been accepted to the Magic City Drama Academy, let's go together when school starts this is Gao Yun Yun, yeah, how did you know, are you paying attention to me, Kai Xiaofan, of the hundreds of people in our grade only three were accepted into the Magic City Drama Academy you me and Xiao Pamelo don't you know that? Gao Yun Yun, I, uh, I'm just kidding, that it will be trouble for you, Kai Xiaofan, what, didn't you ask me to go, since you're not welcome, goodbye Jit Gao Yun Yun, no no no, don't misunderstand me, it's just inconvenient for me to have someone at home but I can meet you downstairs, Kai Shano fan, just this once it won't happen again, next time you call me over make sure of the surroundings yourself first okay? Kai Shano fan, got it will be there within 20 minutes, just. Chatting with Gao Yun Yun Kai Xiaofan had already entered an adult store in town and bought a pair of oiled silk before rushing towards downtown Guangling once again. Early on, after he found out that Xia Zhuxin had greenlighted himself, he was no longer the pure love schoolboy he was at the beginning, he would no longer trust any woman easily. Xiao Pamelo Fish Yin, Xing Yao Zhu Zi Yin, and Chang Si Yu, all four of them were like this. In fact, with his face value and ability, the four could easily be taken. However, Xiao Pamelo had once heard him, Yan Zhu's family lineage was huge and complicated, and Chang Si Yu was the sister of an enemy, so he hadn't laid his hands on any of the four. 
The only thing that seems to be closest to Chang Siyu that is just a play to fool the little girl using Chang Siyu as a springboard to get revenge on Chang Xing, but the class flower of class 4 Gao Yunyun was different. He had indeed paid attention to this girl whose face value and figure vaguely exceeded Xia Zhuxin's by a hair. Don't look at the fact that her family seemed to live in the city, but in fact that place was already the very edge of the city, and it was rumored that the house was still bought with a loan from Gao Yunyun's parents who had to pay back five or six thousand a month. But even though her family situation wasn't very good Gao Yunyun still earned enough pocket money for her three years of high school by working part-time during her two vacations every year, using this money she dressed herself up beautifully and although she was flamboyant during these three years of high school she never rumored any scandals, in short this was a high-class chick who had face value and body was very short of money but didn't mess around but chose to stand on her own two feet. In fact, in Kai Xiaofan's opinion Gao Yunyun's operation was more like trying to package herself and then waiting for a price, but this is also normal, a beautiful girl from a poor family, the final destination is basically 90% of the rich man, Kai Xiaofan is just the time of the blood Gao Yunyun happens to be more like him to the type and now have the strength is not bad money, such a special thing why not go to take? After stopping at a red light, Kai Xiaofan suddenly Remembered that Xiao Pamelo Fish seemed to have sent himself several messages at that moment, at that moment he was so focused on flirting with Gao Yunyun that he didn't pay any attention to her, let's see what you sent again, Kai Xiaofan took the steering wheel with one hand and opened his cell phone with the other. As soon as the screen lit up, he saw more than a dozen unread messages from Xiao Pamelo, Xiao Pamelo Fish, Kai Xiaofan, you like stockings, Xiao Pamelo Fish, don't go to Gao Yunyun's house, okay? I have stockings too, I have so many white calf socks, knee socks, I'll wear them for you, okay, Pomfret, Kai Xiaofan, Kai Xiaofan you're not really going to Gao Yunyun's green tea are you, Xiao Pamelo, I'm not convinced. Her face isn't as pretty as mine, her body is not as good as mine. Why do you accept her and not me, Xiao Pamelo, Kai Xiaofan let me tell you, this girl is not the only one for you, if you don't reply to my messages I'll get angry, Pomfret, I was wrong, okay? As long as you're my boyfriend, I'll wear stockings every day to show you. I'll buy all the white, black, bright and garter ones, I'll buy them all and only wear them for you to see, Xiao Pamelo Fish, Kai Xiaofan, are you really that desperate? Kai Xiaofan looked at the series of messages and unanswered phone calls a bit confused, he actually really didn't understand why Xiao Yuzu Fish suddenly ran over to pursue him like crazy, was it because she had graduated, was liberated and her family allowed her to fall in love? Or was it that after a few years had passed? She finally realized how handsome she was so she had to get herself, but no matter what this feeling of being chased backwards by a schoolgirl was indeed comfortable. Kai Xiaofan slightly pondered for a few seconds backhandedly clicked on the button transfer and directly transferred $10,000 over, take it to buy a pair of Valentino and then buy a few pairs of Paris House, late at night a Bentley entered the Qinfeng neighborhood of Guangling City unhindered from the south gate. In the end, it is a neighborhood on the edge of the city, not to mention the security guards on duty, even the isolation pole cannot be seen, so Kai Xiaofan easily drove to a building that looks a little old before the unit building, Kai Xiaofan did not fan, I'm downstairs at your house, come down, after sending a message to Gao Yunyun, Kai Xiaofan started to reverse into the garage, most of the inside of this neighborhood are bicycles and electric cars, cars are extremely rare and if you can occasionally see one they are all about 100,000 cars. Kai Xiaofan's Bentley is relatively large, directly occupies two parking spaces, looks quite brutal, as a result the car was just turned off and in the darkness of the night a slender figure opened the car door and quickly sat in, Gao Yunyun, Kai Xiaofan subconsciously looked towards the passenger side, it's me, hush, keep your voice down, my parents are on the third floor. Gao Yunyun put her finger up in front of her lips and pointed to the top of her head, whispering nervously, no. Why did you come out dressed like this, don't you mind the heat, Kai Xiaofan frowned as he pointed at Gao Yunyun's jeans underneath, although these pants were tight on Gao Yunyun's body and showed off her figure they also blocked all the good-looking places. Moreover, it was a July night in Suzhou province, the air was still nearly 30 degrees of dry fire wearing so much is not hot, how about you take a look again, in the face of Kai Xiaofan's questioning Gao Yunyun only covered her mouth with a smile and then slowly lifted up the leg of her jeans in an extremely provocative manner, Kai Xiaofan glanced curiously, and it was this glance that actually made Kai Xiaofan couldn't help but swallow his saliva, inside the jeans it was clearly the previous set of oiled silk, 
that round and full ankles with shiny black stockings supplemented by jeans and the faint fragrance emanating from the girl's body, simply invincible, okay, I forgive you, Kai Xiaofan struggled to control his urge to reach out and touch it, retracting his line of sight tremblingly. He had to admit that Gai Yunyun was indeed a high-level player, this chick was just too good at holding a man's heart. How about it, do you like the little surprise I prepared for you? Seeing Kai Xiaofan's evasive eyes, the smile on Gao Yunyun's face suddenly became even more intense. It's quite good, but I still like you better when you're not wearing jeans. Kai Xiaofan skimmed his lips and reached out to hand over the newly purchased stockings. Thanks. Gao Yunyun took the stockings in one hand and incidentally kissed Kai Xiaofan extremely actively. Through the rearview mirror, Kai Xiaofan could clearly notice an extremely small lipstick mark on his right cheek, and after this kiss the atmosphere inside the car also obviously became ambiguous. Kai Xiaofan first contemplated for a while and a moment later took the initiative to place his hand on Gao Yunyun's thigh that had long been leaning over, and Gao Yunyun saw this scene not only did not resist and even took the initiative to take off the jeans revealing the black oil silk inside which did not have a little hole at all touch a few times perhaps the reason why the feel is very good Kai Xiaofan satisfied nodded haughtily said, in the future you will follow me there is a mouthful of my food will absolutely not starve you, how will listen to your meaning you want to adopt me, Yi Gao Yun Yun worthy of being a smart person immediately realized the true meaning. How much pocket money does your family give you a month now, how much money do you earn in a month from your vacation part-time job? Kai Xiaofan didn't reply directly but raised an eyebrow to change the topic. My parents basically don't give me much pocket money if I have to count the most I can give 100 or 200 a month, right? As for the vacation part-time job, my best month earned 5,000 but normally it's about 2 or 3,000 a month, Gao Yunyun suddenly. Clamped Kai Xiaofan's palm with her thigh rubbing it while saying, Kai Xiaofan felt the softness and bouncy tenderness of the back of his palm and looked at Gao Yunyun with a gaze that was all blazing fire. You are playing with fire, do you know that Jun? Kai Xiaofan forced his mind to stabilize with great determination and glared at Gao Yunyun. I just love playing with fire, don't you like it? If you don't like it, then it's fine for me to play with someone else. Gao Yunyun spat out her little tongue and said in a savage manner, How dare you? Forget it really can't stand you little goblin. Kai Xiaofan admonished before taking out his cell phone and transferring 10,000 to Gao Yunyun, R. You really going to adopt me? What do you take me Gao Yunyun for? I don't want it. Who knew that Gao Yunyun was quite a character and returned the money with her backhand? She Gao Yunyun is short of money, also like money, but really has not been reduced to the situation of being adopted. If she really wanted to rely on her body to make money her junior high school could have easily hooked up with an unknown number of rich old men. A large part of the reason why she was so proactive today was still because she herself was very attracted to Kai Xiaofan. It was only because Kai Xiaofan had always had a girlfriend for three years in high school that she didn't show. It, at that moment when the group was making noise she knew that Kai Xiaofan had broken up with Xia Zhuxin and that was the biggest reason why she took the initiative to ask Kai Xiaofan out as for Kai Xiaofan driving a luxury car or something, it's really just a plus for her. I know that you are a strong girl, otherwise it would not be three years of high school every year summer and winter vacation to go part-time to earn money, but as far as I know your family's burden is quite heavy your parents not only have 20 years of mortgage the countryside there are four old people need to be supported so you can give you very little pocket money very little, I give you money is there to support your meaning is right, but more wanna help you as you grow older. Your future expenses will be more and more, I do not want you will be for the sake of money to go to serve some greasy middle-aged and old man, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm a classmate with my face value and wealth, not to mention supporting someone else, even if I'm being supported by someone else, it's still more than enough so you can just enjoy yourself. Besides this 10,000 is only the most basic monthly pocket money after you follow me, Kai Xiaofan looked at Gao Yunyun who seemed to be angry and wanted to open the door to leave and said four sentences in a row without any pause at all. It was also these four sentences that managed to make Gao Yunyun, who had one foot out of the car door, sit back down again. Gao Yunyun had to admit that each of the four sentences Kai Xiaofan had said had poked her point with extreme precision, after the four sentences were added up, they even left her completely speechless, in fact, I had a crush on you when I was a freshman in high school, but at that time your eyes were all about Xia Yuzu Fish and after failing to confess to Xia Yuzu Fish and then being cut off by Xia Zhuxin, after lowering her head and thinking for a long while Gao Yunyun resumed her previous state before raising her head and saying, her attitude had also indirectly shown that she had accepted the fact that she was willing to follow Kai Xiaofan, 
Do you think now is the time to talk about this? Kai Xiaofan gazed closely at Gao Yunyun, the flames in his eyes on the verge of erupting. Gao Yunyun's face value might not be top notch, but her posture and movements were definitely at the level of a top notch Yukai. She could make people daydream just by sitting there, not to mention the fact that she had been tempting Kai. Xiaofan in a hidden way, what do you want? Xia Gao Yunyun's bushy eyelashes fluttered slightly, staring at Kai Xiaofan in some panic. Not good mainly depends on what you want. Kai Xiaofan pulled back the seat and leaned back slowly closing his eyes. Only just promised you'd just bully me, Kai Xiaofan only just closed his eyes not long before he heard the murmuring sound coming from the side, then there was a fragrant breeze that hit his face and then after that Kai Xiaofan's lips were blocked by a layer of softness, it could be felt that Gao Yunyun's experience in kissing was almost nil as she would just rub her lips against Kai Xiaofan's mouth and occasionally sticking out her small pink tongue would only lightly lick Kai Xiaofan's lips. For a few moments before shyly shrinking back again, in the end or Kai Xiaofan was made unbearable or will be sitting on his lap to hold out his tongue to take the initiative to attack up to be regarded as tasting the warm and soft sweet taste, this kiss, directly kissed to Gao Yunyun began to lack of oxygen rolled white eyes before the end. You bad dead, gasping for air Gao Yunyun kneeling in Kai Xiaofan's lap, tickling like a small fist with rain falling, how can a woman love a man if he is not bad? Kai Xiaofan's one hand was wrapped around Gao Yunyun's soft and boneless waist while the other hand had never left Gao Yunyun's thigh since the beginning. To be honest, Kai Xiaofan was slightly leg-controlled and Gao Yunyun's legs were just too satisfying for him. It could even be said that every stroke was a great satisfaction. As the time was postponed, even if the two didn't kiss anymore, the temperature inside the car was rising extremely fast and soon surpassed the outside. Kai Xiaofan was an immortal cultivator so it didn't matter he just felt a little uncomfortable, however Gao Yunyun's breathing was getting more and more ragged and her body was dripping with more than fragrant sweat. Noticing this, Kai Xiaofan wasn't afraid of being discovered and immediately started the car to maximize the air conditioning. However this move also put his arms around Kai Xiaofan's neck gasping for breath Gao Yunyun startled she was a little panicked staring at the Direction of the third floor fearing that her parents heard the commotion to come over and see the scene, Kai Xiaofan's car was parked very precisely and the balcony on the third floor of Gao Yunyun's house could very clearly see what was happening inside the car through the window. However, she also did not know that Kai Xiaofan's car is a luxury car, the film affixed to the car or self-contained anti-peep film. Of course, Kai Xiaofan himself didn't say on the contrary, he also had a teasing face and came to Gao Yunyun's ear in blue. What are you afraid of, isn't this more exciting, no way, this is too scary, if my parents see me cuddling with a guy downstairs this late, they will kill me, Yu Gao Yunyun is on the verge of tears, come on look up at me, Kai Xiaofan slowly held Gao Yunyun's watering face in his hands, what's wrong? Gao Yunyun tilted her head like a kitten and asked, if I transfer another sum of money to you will you still refuse this time, Kai Xiaofan shook his cell phone, I don't think so, Gao Yunyun was a little unsure of how to answer and stammered. Then take it, this money you can take to the old man at home to buy some nutrients to buy some fruit to make up for the body but also can take a little to your parents to help them pay a few months of mortgage so that they also easy easy, Kai Xiaofan smiled mysteriously put down the cell phone and continued to start the addiction, Gao Yunyun's long black silk legs he is not too much even if he plays for a year. How do you transfer so much to me Kai Xiaofan hadn't gotten high for a few. Seconds yet, and Gao Yunyun's suppressed exclamation of surprise was already ringing inside the car. Through the screen of the cell phone has not been turned off, you can clearly see Gao Yunyun's fingertips are placed on a 50,000 virtual numbers do not dare to move, let you follow me can still treat you badly, receive it, after receiving it call your husband to listen to it. Kai Xiaofan smiled unimpressed, to him now $50,000 was really nothing, but $50,000 could definitely allow Gao Yunyun to do a lot of things, this is too much, I can't take it, a struggle flashed in Gao Yunyun's eyes, but she still shook her head against the desire in her heart, even up until now, she still held on to the idea of treating Kai Xiaofan as an equal and being Kai Xiaofan's proper girlfriend, even though this possibility was too small, too small little. Stubborn ass, but this time Kai Xiaofan didn't give Gao Yunyun a chance snatching Gao Yunyun's cell phone with a split hand and tapping on the cash register, you are really bad, Gao Yunyun pouted and whacked Kai Xiaofan. This is what I said, I give you money transfer but also want to be beaten, what kind of reasoning is this, if you don't call your husband I'm going to get angry, Kai Xiaofan pretended to be angry and grunted, angry Ji Gao Yunyun softly murmured and then her charming eyes turned and suddenly reached out and grabbed Kai Xiaofan's vitals, you what are you doing, 
Kai Shafan's body trembled and a certain anticipation suddenly came over his heart. You don't care eyes close quickly, Yi Gao. Yun Yun shyly said in a delicate voice, close it, close it, Kai Shafan's mouth said close, but in fact his fingertips still left a slit. Through this finger slit, he saw that Gao Yun Yun first coiled her scattered golden hair, then only then did she slowly lower her head and a moment later Kai Shaofan couldn't help but let out an uncontrollable chant. He looked at Gao Yun Yun who was bending her head down underneath herself as her business became more and more skillful, but her small mouth was stuffed to the point of bulging and he clenched his fists in excitement, he felt that he should have picked up a treasure. About half an hour later Gao Yun Yun suddenly covered her mouth as she pushed open the Bentley's door and then the whole person kept bending over and dry heaving non-stop, when she managed to clean up and carefully return to. Her home on the third floor she actually realized through the mirror that both of her cheeks were already vaguely red and swollen, not fun, the movies were a lie, it's really too big, it hurts so much. In fact Gao Yunyun didn't know that after Kai Xiaofan's failed attempt to confess to Xiao Yufu three years ago Kai Xiaofan's next target was Gao Yunyun, because Gao Yunyun's looks and body are the kind that Kai Xiaofan likes very much, only in the end, taking into account the Xia Zhuxin clothes is a class talk about more convenient only to choose Xia Zhuxin. Now after completely taking down Gao Yun Yun his high school career is also considered to have chipped away a regret, Kai Xiaofan was. Served by Gao Yun Yun after the comfort just ready to drive away the cell phone screen suddenly lit up again, he thought it would be Gao Yun Yun but who would have thought that it would be Xiao Yufu the schoolgirl. Xiao Pamelo, Kai Xiaofan guess what I bought, there are three pairs of Valentino in various colors, there are also more than a dozen pairs of various kinds of Parisian house, Kai Xiaofan was also by Xia Yufei's persistence and perseverance to the shock, this loser bitch not only a breath of money he transferred all spent I guess he also backed up a few thousand, at least as a hall school flower there is a need to lick a heterosexual so? Kai Xiaofan broke the reflector to look at his handsome cheeks and soon fell into deep thought, could it be that it was really himself who was handsome, for the schoolgirl Xia Yuzu fish, Kai Xiaofan was still currently teasing a bit more. The reason why he transferred 10,000 to her was just to hang on to her and let her continue to lick himself, having a pure schoolgirl as a licking dog, how rare and precious an experience was this, the most crucial thing is that this school flower licking dog is still the one that he once loved but couldn't have, so Kai Xiaofan took the time to say back, not bad, wear it for me sometime. After saying that he didn't care about Xiao Yu Fu Yu who was replying to the message like crazy and started to concentrate on driving, the current him is sage time can take the time to reply to Xiao Yufu fish one sentence is already not easy and then a second sentence, don't even think about it, sprinting along Kai Xiaofan soon returned home, after routinely cultivating for a few weeks he hugged the summer cool quilt and slept beautifully. At 6.30 the next morning Kai Xiaofan was sleeping deeply when his cell phone vibrated sharply, dazed and confused he touched the phone and pressed the answer button and he heard his cousin Chen Xinrui's voice, cousin wake up, quickly take us to go shopping, it's only half past six, your mall opens at 6.30 King Kai Xiaofan was woken up by this voice hesitantly glanced at the cell phone screen and then yelled at the phone, oops. If you can't go shopping you can go to the city first. And have some breakfast or something, when all the work is done those attractions and shopping malls will naturally open soon, besides you can starve your sister but do you want to starve Nan Nan and Ran Ran, cousin Chen Xinrui's bitchy voice rang out from the cell phone almost driving Kai Xiaofan crazy. That's the classmate and best friend Yu Chen Xinrui brought home what does it have to do with him, if I had known I wouldn't have promised my aunt and uncle and now I'm stuck with three more dragons, Kai Xiaofan muttered and slapped his head dropping a sentence to wait honestly, he started to get up and wash up, when he got busy and drove to his aunt's house the three of them had already been standing at the door for a while, it was worth mentioning that the three of them had their own. Styles of dressing today, Chen Xinrui wore a maid outfit while Zhou Ran was Lolita. Jiang Nan Nan, who had the highest and best figure actually wore a pair of rimless glasses her upper body was a small perfume suit with a white shirt and her lower body was a black ultra-short skirt and high-heeled shoes which at first glance looked a little bit like an imperial type of teacher with a kind of forbidden beauty. Her look is also the most appreciated by Kai Xiaofan and even his eyes stayed for a few more seconds and all the grievances from the morning also dissipated with. The wind at this moment, Get in the car, while it's not too hot, I'll take you to eat a standard Huayang morning tea, Kai Xiaofan dragged three a person with three little girls directly to the city of a family average three or four hundred black pearl level of morning tea store. Just such a morning tea four people directly ate more than two thousand, 
it was said that just four bonds were worth more than 300, the result of the ultimate money service is that the three little beauties are all full, but the good thing is that because of the morning tea store's fire when the four of them finished eating the morning tea it was almost nine o'clock so the four of them simply got into the car and went straight to the shopping mall, according to Chin Xin Ruiz. Words in this kind of hot day no matter if it's a woman or a girl what they like most is to go to the mall to buy two cups of iced milk tea and then eat while browsing through the clothes and accessories stores. So there was no way around it Kai Xiaofan could only lead the three of them all the way with sparks and lightning directly becoming the first wave of consumer pioneers after the mall opened its doors, after entering the door first there was a cup of milk tea for one person then there was an ice cream for one person. After that, Kai Xiaofan became a third party accompanying the three little beauties from the first floor of the mall to start shopping, but it's strange to say that the three of them all shopped a lot and bought even apart from a few exquisite trinkets they almost didn't buy anything, many of the clothing store clerks tended to not be very enthusiastic in their attitudes when they saw the four of them come in, it wasn't until they wandered to the third floor that Kai Xiaofan realized with hindsight, Fuck, how much money could three teenage girls who were only around 16 years old have on them? Estimating that if he took a random piece of clothing in this mall and put it in front of the three of them, they wouldn't be able to afford to buy it with all the money they had on them. After realizing this, Kai Xiaofan directly dragged the three of them to a store that sold high-end women's clothing. This store's clerk's service attitude is particularly good and is also a store where the three people have stayed for the longest time. Just entering the door, Kai Xiaofan directly to the Store inside the three female sales clapped his hands loudly, to my three sisters with two sets of the best-looking clothes, when the salesman pulled away Chin Xin Rui and the others full of joy the three women's faces were still in a daze. It didn't take long for three people totaling six sets of clothes to be matched and Kai Xiaofan walked to the front to scan the code to pay in one fell swoop, after paying the bill Zhang Nan Nan took a look at the bill and in the next moment her eyes widened and she covered her mouth, six sets of clothes for $12,000, it's a five-figure sum. You know at summer, the clothes basically have little fabric just this set still sells about 2,000, seeing Jiang Nanan's. Appearance Chin Xin Rui and Zhou Ran subconsciously also came over, however not more than three seconds later, the two also and Jiang Nan Nan the same, brother why don't we return it, this is too expensive. Chen Xinrui gritted her silver teeth and reluctantly handed the paper bag containing the clothes to Kai Xiaofan, Although the heart is very like, but buy a few clothes to buy more than 10,000 this has undoubtedly broken her bottom line, yes, brother Xiaofan you'd better take it back, how much can you return this $12,000 if you buy online you can buy dozens of clothes, here you go brother Xiaofan. Zhang Nan Nan and Zhou Ran also handed over the bag together, it can be seen that the two hearts are also extremely reluctant to give up the new clothes that just arrived but after all they are still students they are now receiving the education of the three views are still very correct but kai xiaofan will return it that is not a disgrace he didn't even return his head didn't say a word whistled with his hands behind his back and left the three had no choice but to look at each other before rushing to follow it is said that the recipient has a guilty conscience without merit and the three of them were obviously in this situation However young people's emotions come and go quickly and after a few minutes the fear and anxiety in their hearts were all transformed into gratitude towards Kai Xiaofan and the happiness of obtaining a valuable gift. After wandering around in a shopping mall until noon the four of them even stopped by for a meal after which they were ready to go home, there's no way just two or three hours of battle let Chen Xin Rui three people each have big bags hanging all over their bodies want to shop again can't shop and when the four of them walked in the shopping mall and underground parking lot, the turnaround rate was 100%. Nothing else, just because Kai Xiaofan walked in front with his hands in his pockets, his body was clean and spotless. And behind him, the three little beauties whose face values were all above par were covered in all kinds of bags, humming and puffing as they strained to walk, this picture, it was just very clear, it was definitely considered unique inside the entire mall, I don't know how many men stared at Kai Xiaofan with envy and jealousy, no we are all men, why can you drag three or three very beautiful little sisters? The key you drag on drag it actually do not know how to pity Jade a shopping. Bag did not help to take, this position is so high that all the men who saw the scene are all indignant. Two months later, in September of autumn, Kai Xiaofan had just completed his 14th fishing trip to the heavens last night, during these two months of vacation Kai Xiaofan was definitely busy, Every day from the moment he opened his eyes in the morning he only had time to wash and feed the demon wolf. 
Then after that, he would be forced by his cousins Chen Xinrui, Jiang Nan Nan and Zhou Ran, the three little beauties plus Yin Qingyou and Zhu Zi and the two big beauties to go out for. Breakfast and shopping, I don't know how these five people hooked up, just a few days to play into the top good girlfriends, Kai Xiaofan alone where can withstand the torture of five big and small beauties, so the Hall of Immortality cultivator surprisingly every morning is sickly after eating at the mall at noon usually come back to take a nap to replenish the spirit. And in the afternoon after waking up from his nap, Kai Xiaofan would usually spend it contacting Xia Yufu and the Changsam oiled silk young woman who had friend him before because of the stuffed note. Xiao Yufei had nothing to say and this school goddess didn't know what kind of medicine she had taken but she had a heart on for him, other than that, the frequency of her running to Kai Xiaofan's house in these two months alone was horrifying. Normal is three days to run and often come to. The time in Chen Xin Rui and the three of them fork, picking the afternoon to come, a come to stay for a long time, bring gifts, and so on, but also piled up a whole utility room. If not Kai Xiaofan several times to explain around the neighbors 80% to think that Kai Xiaofan and Xiao Pamelo fish engaged, as for the Changsam oil silk young woman, she has a very unique name, Yang Reaching, Kai Xiaofan had recently had a very hot chat with this pretty sister who was old enough to be his aunt, he certainly wasn't trying to be a Chao thief, but rather he wanted to take revenge on Chang Xing through Yang Yiching, because according to Chang Siyu's inside information, Chang Xing seemed to have recently broken up with Xia Zhuxin, so his attention was fully utilized on Yang Yiching. Yang Yiching is a family man, her husband seems to be a security chief in a factory. It's also because Yang Yicheng is a married woman that Chang Xing's pursuit is extraordinarily strong. According to Chang Siyu's inside information, Chang Xing had already stolen quite a bit of money from his family and smashed it into Yang Yiching's body, but he had been slow to win the beauty. All of this was naturally manipulated by Kai Xiaofan behind the scenes. He gave Yang Yiching double the money and also sold a little bit of color to let Yang Yiching mooching a lot of oil to take. Advantage of a lot of cheap, which persuaded Yang Yiching with him to hang together with Changxing. He plans to let Changxing deepen some more, then pull Yang Yiching's hand in front of Changxing's face to do some similar to the intimate action of kissing directly from the depths of the heart to crush Changxing, make it spit out some good old blood. You spend countless efforts and money cannot get the woman, but in the end a hundred obedience to submit to my genes, just ask you are not angry, you know, it doesn't matter, he still has the trump card of Chang Siyu, with a two-pronged approach he must tell Chang Xing to completely collapse, and every time at night he would flip the cards, two cards in total, one with Gao Yunyun on it and one with Chang Siyu on it, whichever one he picked he would drive and take that one out to get high. The reason for this was have to maintain and deepen the relationship and have to satisfy his own increasingly empty and lonely heart. That's right, it's empty and lonely. Although both Gao Yunyun and Chang Siyu were just one step away from him being able to take them all, and everything else he should have done had been done, the loneliness in his heart was still getting worse and worse. During these two months, he had conducted a total of eight sessions of fishing in the heavens, and the treasures and possessions he had harvested were not to be mentioned for the moment, but his realm had already broken through at a rapid pace to the ninth level of qi. Cultivation the great circle with the support of countless spirit stones and pills, only one step short of foundation establishment, perhaps it was because as his realm got higher and higher, that's why he fantasized a feeling that everyone was drunk and I was alone, Usually this condition requires entering the world, which in layman's terms means going to a crowded place in order to alleviate or eradicate it, perhaps college life will be a great experience for me? In the bedroom on the second floor, Kai Xiaofan sat cross-legged against the rising sun looking like he was simply in a state of meditation, but there was a kind of ethereal and dusty meaning surrounding him, if someone happened to be next to him he would definitely realize that Kai Xiaofan's silhouette even appeared and disappeared, which was odd to the extreme. But the good thing is that with the last wisp of purple gas in the sky dissipated, Kai Xiaofan also slowly withdrew from the state of meditation and just now the ethereal and dusty temperament also dissipated most of the time in a few moments. There were only a few days before he had to go to school in Magic City, so it was time to pack up. The first instant he opened his eyes Kai Xiaofan touched a thumb-sized white jade tablet tied around his neck. This was a piece of space debris that he had fished out with the fishing line and hook provided by the system during the 11th fishing trip to the heavens, it was also the most precious treasure that he had harvested during his 8 fishing trips in 2 months, although this piece of space debris was small, it had its own heaven and earth inside, and was also divided into yin and yang. Even the earth fire water and wind had a fragmented existence, there was even an aura that was 10 times richer than that of the blue star. 
and because of this living things can be stored inside on rare occasions, the only drawback might be that the space is a little smaller only the size of a soccer field, now that the thousand-year snow ginseng had been transplanted in by Kai Shaofan even the blizzard demon wolf's kennel had been moved in. On top of that, all those things inside the previous storage bag had also been stored inside the space debris, this also included the items obtained from the remaining few times of angling the heavens, in addition to the space debris, these items also included a recluse jade slip, the Tong Yun technique, three spirit apricots, one dendrobium of eastern pearls, a book of punching skill, a jar of unopened yellow wine. A pink belly band Kai Shaofan briefly verified that he realized that the transportation jade slip and the three spiritual apricots should be products of the immortal cultivation plane, the dendrobium dongju, the unopened yellow wine and the last pink bib that appeared should be from an ordinary ancient realm, during the two months, Kai Shaofan brought Chun Qinwei and sold 30 pounds of gold and a few excellent quality dongju sporadically. A total of more than $6 million even if it is divided some to the three Chun Qinwei, Kai Shaofan's wealth has successfully broken 10 million. As for the skill book, this thing is from a certain gamified realm with Kai Shaofan's strength there is no need for this what the charge skill book, so the skill book was thrown into the corner to eat dust. As of right now, only that transportation jade slip and the three apricots with thick auras were still helpful to him and some of the other things weren't as good as they could have been, in particular that pink-colored belly band was really hot to the eyes. Even though it smelled very fragrant, Kai Xiaofan still forced himself to throw it away with a strange feeling in his heart Xiaofan, my grandpa's phone call, just as Kai Xiaofan was sitting on the bed taking inventory of the things he had on him one by one Zhu Ziyin's voice suddenly sounded downstairs. Grandpa Zhu was looking for me, Kai Shaofan froze slightly and stood up from his bed with some confusion. As early as a month or so ago, Zhu Wuxi had come over the phone saying that the villa had been successfully transferred and the ID card had been dispatched to send it over. The garage was already in place so it was reasonable that Zhu Wuyu should not have anything to look for him in the near future but now that he personally called, it was obvious that there was an unexpected situation. Thinking like this Kai Xiaofan had also gone downstairs and received the video call from Zhu Ziyin's hands. On the other end of the video was a serious-faced Zhu Wufei, old master, do you have something for me? They were all his own people so Kai Xiaofan didn't pretend, casually striking out a thick mana he wrapped the cell phone and suspended it in mid-air, completely freeing his hands to start the video. On the side of Yin Qingyao and Zhu Ziyin saw the scene has indeed seen strange after all the two of them were Kai Xiaofan led together imperial sword flight. The old man wanted to take the liberty of asking how is Mr. Kai's force value, Zhu Wufei asked very seriously, force value, Kai Xiaofan was slightly stunned not knowing what to say for a moment, he couldn't say that his current strength didn't have a single enemy in the dragon kingdom or even the whole world could he? But fortunately Zhu Ziyin next to him added a timely sentence, Xiaofan is very strong, although this sentence was a bit generalized it was also considered to be a million dollar like answer and from this point of view, even if it was in front of her own grandfather who loved her the most Zhu Ziyin did vaguely have the intention of being more toward Kai Xiaofan, compared to a special forces soldier? The kind of special forces that serve inside the ace army, Wu Zhu Wuxi's face seems to vaguely reveal a few happy colors he did not care about Zhu Ziyin tone inside the change, after all Zhu Ziyin and Kai Xiaofan the more close, the happier he is, I haven't tried, but I shouldn't be on the same level as them. Kai Xiaofan said lightly his tone was light but revealed an unrivaled dominance. Great, Mr. Zhu Wufei listened with a burst of excitement then nervously rubbed his hands together like an old child, if you have something to say just say it but I'll just say one thing the price for letting me help won't be low you have to be mentally prepared. Kai Xiaofan looked at Zhu Wuwu who kept pacing in his heart laughing in his heart but still opened his mouth to resolve the embarrassment for him, this is of course, of course. What kind of status and character is Mr. Chu? As long as Mr. Zhu is willing to help, but wherever my Zhu family can do things absolutely not say two words, Zhu Wao Xia beat his chest loudly, since you're clear, it's good what is it? Kai Xiaofan nodded and said, his external persona is like this, no matter what power you have, how capable you are, to talk to him and ask him to help you have to put down your stature. In a word no matter what people he came into contact with and what things he encountered he had to be the one to take control of the initiative and accept respect. In fact, the old man is really no way to find Mr. Yu just a few days before the Blue Star 100 Countries United General Assembly has just issued a document the document expresses a month later will be held dozens of countries special forces ranking exercise. 
This matter is related to a country's face you also know although the strength of our dragon country is very strong but it most can barely squeeze into the top five so the above on the task to the old man my three boys so that he this time to be sure to enhance the rankings of one or two and he is currently in control of the military's strongest eight special forces if this thing is done well. The above means that you can give my family three boys on the shoulders of the shoulder too. Carry a star again, if this matter is not done well, it is estimated that within 10 years, there is certainly no chance of progress, Zhu Xie said with some urgency staring nervously at Kai Xiaofan after he finished speaking, so do you mean you want me to help Zhu Tiani train those special forces and give them some enhancements so that they can shine in this world competition? Kai Xiaofan deliberated for a moment before looking at his cell phone and asking, Zhu Wufei's third son Zhu Tiani was also in the hospital last time, so Kai Xiaofan knew about him. Right right right. The old man had thought about it for days, and only you sir have the strength to help the youngest third son, Zhu Wufei hurriedly compensated with a smile and said, Old man Zhu you are really playing a good game if I agree to this matter won't I not only help your son but also help the Dragon Kingdom, although they are both from the Dragon Kingdom but one size does not fit all you are two things or even two and a half, it can't be mixed up, Kai Xiaofan said the loophole with a smirk. Just like he said, this matter looked like it was one thing that was connected together, but if you really want to count it, then it was definitely two distinct things. Because once he has made a move, the first beneficiary of this matter is the Dragon Kingdom, the second beneficiary for Zhu Tiani, and then there are those eight special forces are also beneficiaries. Sir do not misunderstand in fact the old man also thought about this point so long ago through the little three children too. Get another payment, did you invincible panic to explain while explaining also reached up from the side of a small book-like documents to open. Sir, this is a special document of the Dragon State, this document is not a few copies of the Dragon State the role of three, the first is the position of civilian colonel, the second the gun license, the third the national merit honor card. This document is a small three son spent a small price plus the old man's face before the difficult to do down with it you later in the dragon state territory as long as not intentionally or maliciously kill people generally will not have anything. Shu Wuxi showed the three steel stamps on the document in the corresponding roles, not bad you have a heart, Kai Xiaofan's eyes had lit up when he saw the document, now that he had yet to break through to foundation establishment having such a document would indeed be much more convenient when traveling. And the gold content of this document is not really low although it is a civilian, but a step to jump to the colonel of this regiment level position is still extremely rare, the most crucial thing is, with this document he can take the time to do a thing he has always wanted to do, Chang Xing Xia Zhu Xin these two dogs that had cuckolded themselves it was time to do away with them, why hadn't they done it before? Just been teasing and scheming, it is because of the lack of such a document ah, now it's good even if he gets the duo killed openly and honestly, the subsequent things must be just a little bit more troublesome, okay okay okay, sir then we have a deal, you'll be the temporary chief instructor of the eight special forces for the time being? Shu Wufei saw Kai Xiaofan smile in satisfaction and he followed suit with a happy grin, he didn't know why but when he made the video call to Kai Xiaofan this time he always felt that the temperament of Kai Xiaofan's body was becoming more and more ethereal and it seemed to have a kind of unreal feeling that it would float away at any time, when will the eight special forces arrive? I have limited time after today there are three or four days to start school, Kai Xiaofan suddenly thought. That today is September 3rd and on the 7th he will have to report for duty, if possible how about starting this afternoon? On the special forces side I'll have little Sanzi send a special plane straight there, Zhu Wufei asked tentatively, afternoon, forget it afternoon is afternoon, let them park directly at your Zhu family's manor, I'll teach them there. Thinking that school was going to start in a few days anyway, plus he had his things packed up, Kai Xiaofan was prepared to go to Magic City a few days early to get things done as well, alright then, then the old man will arrange for a helicopter to pick up sir. Please wait a moment sir, Zhu Xia finished and bent respectfully then hung up the video and hurriedly left. Kai Xiaofan actually didn't want to take an airplane because ever since he had broken through to the great perfection of. She practicing, the speed of his imperial sword flight had long since far exceeded that of an ordinary airplane, if he used that recluse technique of Tang Yin 80% of the majority of fighter jets weren't as fast as him. Under the state of full power, the distance of more than 200 kilometers from Wawa village to Magic City, it was estimated that it would take at most a minute to arrive and the speed could be delineated to several thousand or even tens of thousands of kilometers per hour. 
Of course, it was also said that it was a full force explosion in normal times, Kai Shaofan wouldn't fly that fast, after all the faster the speed the faster and more his mana is consumed, however he couldn't help that Zhuoxi was already arranging for it with all the wind and fire so he could only helplessly greet his family and bring in Xinyao and Zhu Ziyin to wait in front of the house, that's right after Zhu Ziyin and Yin Xinyao knew that he was going to leave his home and go. To Mordor, they followed along, after all the reason they stayed in Wuwa village was because of Kai Xiaofan and when he left the two naturally had to follow along. Around 9.30 in the morning the entire Wuwa village was abuzz because of the sudden appearance of a camouflage-colored helicopter gunship, in fact, Kai Xiaofan had seen the helicopter as early as when it was still a small black, he then had Yin Qingyao and Zhu Ziyin go and light up a pile of straw igniting a light smoke. As soon as the light smoke started the helicopter's speed became significantly faster and in less than a minute it arrived in the sky above Wuwa village and the sound of the propellers turning drew out all the villagers at home in Wuwa village and then there was an endless stream of gasps of amazement, most of the people in the village had only seen helicopters on TV but had never seen a real one in reality? Especially when the helicopter finally landed firmly on the asphalt road in front of Kai Xiaofan's house, the entire Wuwa village instantly clamored, Chief, please get on the airplane. After the helicopter stopped on the road, two young lieutenants in camouflage uniforms immediately jumped down from inside, looking at the ranks, one was an ensign and the other a captain. The action of the two men saluting Kai Xiaofan in a neat manner was so frightening that all the onlookers in Wuwa village didn't even realize that their jaws had dropped. The old man Kai Jen Lin and his father Kai Bin, who had once served in the army, were even more excited and red in the face as if their physical memories had been awakened as if they had saluted the two lieutenants with a very standard salute, quickly go. Kai Xiaofan slapped his forehead and took the documents handed over by the captain and could not say anything more before pulling the two women to drill the helicopter's cabin. In fact, it wasn't until the helicopter landed that he reacted to the fact that today's commotion was too big. I'm afraid that in less than an hour their Kai family will be once again in the circle 10 miles hard to make a name for themselves. But fortunately, most of the village are mostly middle-aged and old people. Unlike the city and the county town is full of young people think it should not happen too much noise, the storm is amazing just scrape a few dozen miles, chief please put on your headphones. After Kai Xiaofan and the two girls got into the cabin, that second lieutenant went to maneuver the plane while the captain took three thick headphones and handed them to Kai Xiaofan's trio, you give it to the two of them to where I don't need it, Kai Xiaofan smiled and politely declined, of course he knew that the headphones were used to isolate the noise of the airplane when it was flying but did he need them, yes. Wang Lei looked deeply at Kai Xiaofan before handing the two headphones to Yin Qingyao and Zhu Ziyin, as a 30-year-old who was only promoted to captain he actually looked down on Kai Xiaofan in his heart, in his opinion for Kai Xiaofan to be awarded the rank of colonel at less than 20 even if it was a civilian one that was just too ridiculous, wasn't it obvious that he was a second-generation ancestor of a certain family who had come down for gold plating? So after seeing that Kai Xiaofan actually dared to arrogantly reject the headset Wang Lei didn't do much persuasion but instead put away the headset and prepared to watch a joke, to know the helicopter flight noise is actually very big, listen to a moment does not matter has been listening to the body is very easy to have problems. So when the airplane took off Wang Lei had been paying attention to Kai Xiaofan intentionally or unintentionally, but soon he was disappointed because the plane. From takeoff, then slowly lift off and finally to a recent route to the magic city flew a full 20 minutes or so Kai Xiaofan's face since the beginning did not show a trace of pain look. This unusual scene really scared Wang Lei but also made him quickly put away the small plans in his heart his demeanor became more and more respectful, Kai Xiaofan glanced at Wang Lei's direction with some suspicion he always felt that this captain had been peeking at him but he had no proof because every time he turned his head Wang Lei would follow and turn his head, unable to catch Wang Lei's little tail, Kai Xiaofan simply closed his eyes and started to take a nap, while taking a nap. His mind also flashed through one method after another that could boost the strength of those eight special forces, by the time he had just finalized one of the methods the helicopter had also arrived over the Zhu family's manor in the western suburbs of Magic City and began to land at a constant speed from a height of several hundred meters. When the airplane landed vertically, Kai Xiaofan had also seen the eight neatly arranged squads below through the transparent bulkhead. Beside the eight squads, there was also a group of soldiers who were supposed to be in charge of security and logistics, on top of that Zhu Wawa who seemed like an old man in his fifties was also waving his hand down below seemingly greeting Kai Xiaofan, opening the hatch. 
Seeing this scene Kai Xiaofan straightened his clothes then got up and said to Wang. Lei, chief, are you kidding me, it's a few hundred meters in the air now, Wang Lei was dumbfounded, you can just open it you don't have to worry about anything else, Kai Xiaofan frowned now that the plane had come to a low altitude of about a hundred meters and if he didn't open the hatch a small part of his appearance plan would be ruined. Yes chief, Wang Lei couldn't argue with Kai Xiaofan and could only slowly open the hatch, at this time, the helicopter was only about 50 to 60 meters away from the ground, Kai Xiaofan's eyesight was so good that he could already see the fuzz on the faces of the eight special forces soldiers below, you guys take your time to land, I'll go first, Kai Xiaofan smiled faintly in Wang Lei's horrified gaze and then violently leapt forward, chief. Chief don't, I Wang Lei stepped by the hatch looking at the free-falling Kai Xiaofan people directly stupid, this is dozens of meters in the air off, said jump on the jump. The shocked Wang Lei did not notice that Yin Qingyao and Zhu Ziyin, who had been sitting in the inner compartment of the airplane were looking at him with contemptuous eyes, isn't it just jumping from an airplane, why are you so scared, he had never seen the world before, let's leave aside the life on the airplane and just say that at this time inside the Xu family manor, eight special forces each full 12 people, a team of soldiers responsible for logistics and security 13. People, Together with Zhu Wufei Zhu's old man a total of 110 people, these 110 people were all staring at the figure jumping down from the airplane with wide-eyed astonishment at this moment, jumping down from such a high place live would definitely not be possible. The soldiers of the eight special forces had actually seen Kai Xiaofan's picture and knew that the figure that was falling from the sky and was about to turn into a puddle of mush was the temporary chief instructor that had been hired for them, they had originally thought of giving this so-called temporary chief instructor a hard time, while well, now there is no need to make any threat directly prepare a coffin and send it to the cremation. But their thoughts had just risen when things deviated. From their expected course, only to see Kai Xiaofan jumping down from a height of 50 to 60 meters even adjusted his posture in midair as he wished and then slammed into the ground in a bent knee crouching position. The huge impact was even like a small cannonball falling directly shaking the entire Zhu family manor for three times, when the smoke and dust cleared, Kai Xiaofan slowly walked out from a half meter deep, two meter square even with countless spiderweb like cracks in the surrounding area, he is not only nothing and even the body is not stained. Dozens of special forces soldiers and a dozen logistics soldiers were all trembling and unable to recount the doubts and shock in their hearts. Only Zhu Wufei who looked as if he had expected it went forward with a warm face to shake Kai Xiaofan's hand and greeted him humbly, Mr. Kai, you've shown us a big hand, leaping down from a height of 50 to 60 meters without a scratch, this is too powerful. Xu Wuyu held Kai Xiaofan's hand tightly probably because he was too excited so he didn't let go for a long time, these are the special forces that I'm going to teach next, Kai Xiaofan didn't move as he drew out his palm and pointed in the direction where the eight special forces were, Seeing Kai Xiaofan's line of sight sweeping over all the special forces of the eight special forces subconsciously began to raise their heads and chests like a group of soldiers waiting for a general's. Review, Kai Xiaofan secretly nodded in his heart it seemed that his jump did have an effect, special forces, especially the ace special forces, these people are often proud soldiers not to show his hand how to be able to deter this group of people in a short period of time so that they will be obedient for the next two or three days? Kai Xiaofan does not have time to waste with this group of brown old men here he prefers the Magic City Drama Academy which is said to be full of beautiful women, that's them sir, just drill them any way you want as long as you can get good grades in this world special forces exercise whatever you want, Zhuo Xie said respectfully, alright I know you go and get busy, Kai Xiaofan waved his hand and Zhuo Xie understood and led Yan Zhu's two daughters who had just come down from the airplane away, in this way there were only a dozen or so people from the eight special forces as well as the logistics team left in the central expanse of the manor, listen, I'm not interested in knowing what your names are, nor am I interested in knowing your glorious pasts. Since I've come to be your chief instructor, there's only one order, absolute obedience, even if I tell you to eat shit, you almost still obey absolutely, after everyone had left, Kai Xiaofan immediately roared along with the eight special forces, Che is not just playing a blindfold jump down from high altitude, still really think of yourself as the chief instructor? I say also is, this is not properly as a hair has not grown complete white boy, except for his face he doesn't even 
have two tails of meat on his body and he's still pretending to teach us a lesson, really a tiger falls in Pingyangyo did not expect that he would one day be a small hairy child lesson Kai Xiaofan Lord 8 Special Forces troops immediately appear to burst of whispers. At this time, the many special forces have already come back from the shock of the long just now, the pride of the ace special forces let them subconsciously ignore it from 50 meters high jump down is a horrible thing, or perhaps ignore was a somewhat inappropriate use of the word more appropriately it should be disbelief, jumping straight down from a height of 50 to 60 meters, and smashed out a deep pit, this is not a joke. These dozens of them were already the small group of People with the strongest single combat power amongst the Dragon Kingdom, but they could only jump down from a height of 10 meters without much harm, 50 to 60 meters, isn't that Superman? This world was a world where science was paramount and it was absolutely impossible for Superman or anything else to exist. Since it didn't exist, it would be a blindfold or some kind of magic with a more exaggerated and explosive effect. This teenager in front of me must be relying on this to fool some of the higher-ups, that's why he got the rank of colonel and also came over to be their temporary chief instructor, right, that must be it. The voices of the dozens of special forces soldiers were getting louder and louder in their arguments and the expressions on their faces were getting angrier and angrier as. They all thought they had found the truth. Kai Xiaofan who saw this scene didn't get angry he had been mentally prepared for this so he just ordered four of the pricks who had just been talking the loudest to come forward in a row, what did the instructor ask us to come out for, can't it be that the instructor wants to examine our unarmed fighting abilities? Instructor you're too skinny if we really fight I'm afraid that if I touch you you'll have to lie down, good day instructor, personally I think we're already very strong so we don't need to learn anymore. The four people named by Kai Xiaofan were from four different special forces, Kai Xiaofan didn't recognize them and was too lazy to do so, seeing the four people being so arrogant he just hooked his finger expressionlessly and said, I know that all of you are not convinced of me as. The chief instructor and the most unconvinced are the four of you, in that case this instructor will give you a chance, now the four of you together, as long as you can bump into this instructor for a bit, I'll turn my head and walk away without saying a word, how about it? Kai Xiaofan hooked the corner of his mouth his eyes full of teasing. For, do you need them, you probably won't be able to withstand two moves from one of our instructors, the first of the four jumped out of a dark-colored youth and after saying that he directly launched his palm to tackle Kai Xiaofan, the name of the dark youth was Qin Fifan and the reason he dared to speak so loudly naturally had his backbone, it's no exaggeration to say that he's definitely one of the top three combatants in the eight special forces, if you use the words of ordinary. People, that is the special forces of the special forces, king of soldiers level of existence, he was confident that just this grab would be enough to capture the young chief instructor in front of him who was more beautiful than a woman in terms of skin and flesh, the education he had received since he was a child told him that there was absolutely no such thing as demons and ghosts in this world. In the world of science, are you pretending to be Superman, shit, how come I let this kid beat me to it again? This guy Qin Fifan is worthy of being a rare and protected animal that has been single for 30 years, this fucking old man hasn't even reacted yet and he's rushing out, Cheetah's special forces love to pretend to be the king of the pussy Qin Fifan really live up to his name. Alas I do not know what the upper think back to us to find this kind of look useless instructor. With our eight teams of strength directly leveled a small country is not a problem where there is still a need to upgrade, Qin Fifan just a shot the back of the seven special forces immediately booed. Even the group of Cheetah special forces were slightly upset in their hearts, although Qin Fei Fan liked to grab and pretend to be the king of soldiers and the title of king of soldiers had been magically changed to king of pushers but his strength was definitely recognized as strong, so they didn't hold any surprises about the final result that little white chief instructor was bound to be taken down by Qin Fei Fan within three seconds. However, with a muffled bang a wretched figure. Flying high in the air left dozens of special forces soldiers suddenly dumbfounded, the figure that flew in mid-air and skidded for more than 10 meters before falling and splattering dust on the ground who else could it be if not Qin Fei Fan who was as proud as a bull just now? Contrary to the miserable Qin Fifan, Kai Xiaofan was still the same as before with a calm and relaxed face as if he hadn't even moved a bit, what happened, am I hallucinating, can a person fly that long and that far, are you sure this isn't a drama that only happens when you get hit by a big truck, I just saw it, I saw it, that chief instructor just waved his hand and Qin Fifan flew out, did you see it clearly? Don't be such an alarmist, just when a group of special forces are full. 
Of head full of shock and doubt, Chin Fifan also finally slowed down enough breath, some difficult to wipe the mouth stained with dust from the ground climbed up. After climbing up, he no longer had the arrogance and pride like a hedgehog that had all its thorns pulled out and all of a sudden turned into a simple man with a lowered head and an insincere attitude. What is your name? Kai Shaofan asked as he looked at Chin Fifan with his hands behind his back, reporting to Chief Instructor. My name is Chin Fifan. Chin Feifan violently stood upright with his head held high and roared loudly. Keep your voice down, this instructor's ears are not deaf. Kai Shaofan couldn't help but roll his eyes. Yes, Chief Instructor, Chin Fifan knew the mistake and immediately said in a thin voice. But after all, it is the king of soldiers even if deliberately lowered his voice, the voice is also louder than the normal speaking voice of ordinary people and the back of a group of special forces as well as a dozen or so soldiers of the logistics team on duty around them to see the scene, the heart of the heart inevitably rose a little sense of absurdity. Just now also looks like the sky boss the earth oldest two own oldest three king of soldiers so quickly on the goat, Chin Fifan, right? Okay this instructor will remember you go stand behind me, yes sir, chief instructor. Kai Xiaofan just flicked his head and Qin Fifan jogged to stand behind him without saying a word, what are you three waiting for? Together Kai Xiaofan waved his hand and finished packing up one of the pricks then immediately looked at the remaining three pricks who were still standing still, how to say a few brothers, I do not believe in this evil today, I'm going to do it, together, all of them were unruly super special forces when did the three ever wimp out? Just after a brief glance at each other, the three people will be determined to look in three directions and swarmed up. One of them swung a fist, one kicked a leg and one even rose directly into the air to a flying knee. Three moves, three directions, three roaring winds. Even the periphery of the ordinary soldiers on duty are looking at the corner of the eye for a while trembling if they are hard to catch the set no matter who they are bound to die. Just kidding, even the air was vaguely hit out of the strange sound if let a person get hit that still have life? is the same as the special forces. Dozens of people see this set of moves of the three people are also secretly shocked, they also do not have the certainty in the three people under the siege of the whole body in retreat, even thermal weapons could not play any role in such a close distance, unless the temporary chief instructor surnamed Kai is really superhuman otherwise today will lie undoubtedly. But is there really a superman in the world, if Kai Xiaofan were to answer he would definitely say no. However, there can be cultivators who are more powerful than Superman, looking at the three people rushing towards him, Kai Xiaofan unhurriedly stretched out a palm again and flicked the back of his hand towards the three people. It is also this brush has been close to Kai Xiaofan's body less than a meter in front of the three people were suddenly struck by lightning, all three of them. Looked up at Kai Xiaofan with unbelievable gazes but only just raised their heads the three of them like Qin Fifan before them flew up into the air at a faster speed than they had come with their hunched backs. It wasn't until they shot out nearly 20 meters in the crowd's shocked gazes that they fell to the ground with a snap. This is that Kai Xiaofan only used less than a point of force but also used a clever force otherwise the three people will not fly out more than 10 meters plus fall so simple, convinced. When the three people fearfully climbed up and walked to Kai Xiaofan again, Kai Xiaofan asked with a smile on his face. We are convinced chief instructor, the trio said with disheveled and incomparably lowered heads, the voices were too low, are you guys pussies? Kai Xiaofan violently raised his voice, reporting to chief instructor, we are convinced, the three immediately woke up and loudly rejoined again, if you're convinced, stand behind me, Kai Xiaofan pointed behind him and the three scratched their heads and also followed Qin Fifan's example and trotted to stand. I believe that by now you should have a certain understanding of this instructor but I don't think it's intuitive enough so next this instructor will show his hand again so that you bunch of frogs at the bottom of the well can see what it means that there's a sky beyond the sky, bring me a pistol and a rifle, the kind with real bullets. Kai Xiaofan first swept a glance at the dozens of special forces soldiers who had become much more honest than said to the four Qin Fifan behind him, as the top active special forces soldiers of the Dragon Kingdom, Qin Fifan and the others of course had real guns and bullets on them, although they didn't understand what Kai Xiaofan was up to the leaders above them had all said that from the moment they met Chief Instructor Kai they would have to follow orders unconditionally. So the four of them barely gave it much thought and fetched a pistol and a rifle at fire speed, Kai Xiaofan does not understand the military, also cannot see what brand of firearms in the hands of a few people after seeing the pistol and rifle are in place first ordered Qin Fifan not far away from the wigwam test fired a few wait to see a few flashes of fire after a few small holes in the wigwam this is satisfied nodded. 
Sheen thief and you take the two guns standing 20 meters away from the shooting at me first pistol to fire three shots and then change the rifle, Sheen Fifan who was carrying the guns was instantly confused, not only Sheen Fei Fan the rest of the special forces and the logistics soldiers not far away were also in a state of question marks, no, is this really something that could come out of a 38 degree mouth? Isn't it a bit too outrageous, are you deaf, I order you to shoot at me, looking at Sheen Fifan who didn't dare to move Kai Xiaofan chided with slight anger, as early as in the early stage of qi cultivation without using pills and talismans and just relying on his own strength he had the certainty of dodging the attack of a hot weapon, when he was in the middle stage of qi cultivation he was even more certain that he could attach his mana to his body surface and block some weaker thermal weapons, and now that he was at the great perfection of qi practicing under full force the speed of bullets would not necessarily be as fast as his, his mana was even more majestic and he was on the verge of refining his qi and transforming it into liquid, promote foundation building. So in addition to large caliber sniper rifles rocket shells like pistols rifles grenades and other normal thermal weapons will not be afraid of anymore. But all of this is also just Kai Xiaofan's prediction and conjecture he hasn't practiced it yet, today is a good opportunity to practice what he has in mind and secondly, with his strength getting stronger and stronger he will also gradually show his strength people before the saint transcendence in the dragon country and bring the dragon country to the top of the blue star is considered one of his near future planning, it was not in his nature to hide in the shadows and scheme while. Having all the power in the world, if that's the case it would be better to pick a deep forest and hide away, in the way of Kai Shafan's order, Chin Fifan could only bitterly grasp the two guns and walk to 20 meters away, more than once along the way he looked at his own special operations team's captain and teammates with pleading eyes. But none of his Cheetah Special Operations team dared to meet his gaze, even the soldiers of the other seven special operations units were all bowing their heads and raising their heads all pretending not to see his gaze, joking aside anyone could see that this was definitely a miserable job, they admitted that the chief instructor was strong but even if the chief instructor was strong enough to easily defeat four special forces soldiers by himself he was still a human being, how could? Manpower possibly withstand bullets, if Jean Fifan fired, the chief instructor's body would definitely have to have one more hole in it and he would definitely be out of luck at that time, if this is on the battlefield then all the people can be the exchange of life comrades but now he is also not the battlefield if they disobeyed the chief instructor get beaten up how to do? Might as well just be unlucky alone. Chin Fifan of course also understand this point so see teammates do not care about their own high up appearance but also did not get angry just self admittedly unlucky like 20 meters away from the station took out the pistol aimed at Kai Xiaofan's right arm, he is confident that this gun down 80% probability will only rub the chief instructor a little skin, how can he not be punished too much if he only scratches a little skin, I don't. Know where this chief instructor's confidence came from, is it possible that he really wants to block bullets with his body? Chin Fei Fan muttered and squinted his eyes and through his alignment and intuition he pulled the trigger rather nervously. Snap, the crisp sound of the gunshot rang out in the sky above the Zhu family manor not only scaring many of the Zhu family people but also a group of special forces and logistics soldiers, but what surprised the crowd even more was the next moment. The temporary chief instructor whom they had initially defied and were now very convinced of actually stretched out his right hand as fast as lightning and with one hand he clasped a yellowish pistol bullet that had exploded out, truly. Right under their noses, Kai Xiaofan had grabbed the pistol bullet with one hand, even after the seconds when the crowd was dumbfounded not a single drop of blood was left on Kai Xiaofan's hand. In other words, not only did Kai Xiaofan grab the bullet out of thin air he also blocked the impact of the bullet, fuck me. Is the chief instructor still human? Captain, why don't you whip my ass? I think I'm hallucinating. Catching a bullet with your bare hands? Chief instructor, don't scare me. I feel like I'm losing my sense of humor. My senses? I'm cracking up. It's so scary. Tell me it's magic. It's not real. The chief instructor taught me. I want to catch a bullet with my bare hands. Seeing Kai Xiaofan slowly spread out his palm with a pistol bullet lying quietly on top of it, dozens of special forces soldiers all went crazy after. All even if the bullet can be faked with blanks but Kai Xiaofan in front of so many people's face to catch the bullet cannot be fake, only one sentence of shock has been completely unable to describe their current mood they received decades of education in front of them cultivate the three views are in today's devastating blow. And the one who started it all was Kai Xiaofan, 
Want to learn from this instructor can naturally, but today's matter will only be allowed to heaven knows, I know you know, whether it is your superiors or parents and children if you do not go through the instructor's permission to arbitrarily leak secrets, the end will be so mountain. Kai Xiaofan threw away the bullets in the palm of his hand waved his hand and shot a palm at the two man high wigwong 20 meters away which instantly shattered in response to the sound, seeing this scene all the special forces and logistics soldiers were silenced not daring to move a muscle, only the eyes of the crowd flashed with unprecedented excitement and fighting spirit. At the thought of learning such a skill, these people were terrified on the surface, but in their hearts they had long been happy, this was a great opportunity. How many soldiers don't want to be special forces? How many special forces soldiers don't want to be the king of soldiers? I thought the king of soldiers is the peak of the military road. I did not expect to actually encounter such an opportunity today. Special forces soldiers are still so those who have been blessed with the fortune of the logistics soldiers are even more happy to see the teeth of the eyes. If you want to describe their mood at this moment, there are only three words earn hemp. Okay, from today onwards you 109 people as this instructor under the banner of 109 registered disciples I will teach you inside the Shu family manner for 3 days, these 3 days can learn how much skill all depends on yourselves I only guarantee that your combat power is the most basic is also the minimum it will be enhanced by more than double. And I teach you skills enhance your strength is not gratuitous I ask you in the absence of discharge you. Need to send me a message every other month to report the recent situation if the discharge, then directly to me here to report, those who can do it stay and those who can't can leave now as well. Kai Xiaofan spoke his final thoughts in one breath, that's right, he was prepared to absorb this group of special forces and logistics soldiers for his own use, after these people had been coached by him if they were in service their official positions could definitely rise higher and higher. The military had how a group of disciples in it that might also be able to do him some favors in the future, but these people can't all stay on the job those who later reach the age or because of some. Things want to be discharged from the army Kai Xiaofan also have to collect to the side to do less these disciples with far more than ordinary people strengthen the society to cause trouble, from the afternoon of September 3rd until the afternoon of September 6th, three days three whole days Kai Xiaofan soaked in the Zhu family manor. Every day in the morning during the day he would have these named disciples in their respective squads, totaling nine squads of 109 people constantly besieging him, although these 100 or so people hadn't even touched the corners of his clothes since the beginning, after his instruction, their free fighting ability had still gone up quite a bit. In the afternoon he would order the 109 people to frantically consume their physical energy until they were completely deflated when he would take out a large bowl of twice diluted ginseng fruit spiritual liquid for all of them to drink a small spoonful of it each. This twice diluted or even more diluted than twice diluted ginseng fruit spirit liquid in fact is a drop of only once diluted ginseng fruit spirit liquid he pocketed a mineral water bottle of ginseng fruit spirit liquid is enough to dilute a few thousand bowls of the second dilution of the spirit liquid plus snow ginseng's body has not yet used a ginseng whisker so Kai Xiaofan does not even heartache. And after drinking the 199 people are like drinking a complete. Tonic soup not only tired to the limit of the body like a long drought in the general instant blood resurrection and even dinner do not want to eat again one by one full of red face wailed and climbed up to continue to go running wildly to consume the physical energy to go. Until 8 or 9 o'clock in the evening Kai Xiaofan will order the crowd to stop physical consumption and turn to training marksmanship, after an hour of marksmanship training the day's special training came to an end. Don't look at the program as simple one day was just three kinds of fighting physical exertion and firearms training, but because of the daily spoonful of ginseng fruit liquid as an aid, three days later each of the 199 people had already been transformed, using the most intuitive data to express words probably the weakest of the dozen ordinary logistics soldiers are now strong enough to punch out a sonic boom. After the test the most trashy one punchdown exceeded the current Kunis world record of 238, 5 kilograms, reaching about 300 kilograms, the most powerful one even exceeded 400 kilograms, if it had been 100 kilograms more it would have been 1000 kilograms, it wouldn't be a problem to crack a black bear's skull with one punch, and that's just power. Such a speed each of the current 109 people easily surpassed the world's number one black dude, the fastest. Sheen Fifan could even run 22 meters in a second, this all gave Kai Xiaofan the idea of building a soccer team. 
but the 2018 edition of the World Cup had already passed during the summer vacation so it was too late to talk about it now, maybe the 2022 World Cup when he was about to graduate could get a foot in the door. Soccer is known as the world's number one sport that's not blowing it off if his own group of people simply learn some footwork with the superb advantage of speed and physical fitness which team to play is not crushed, as for marksmanship, a dozen logistics soldiers aside just say that those who have a very good bottom and a group of special forces now one by one shooting with her mother opened the lot people hanging like a hundred shots a hundred steps through young that are base fuck, it's no exaggeration to say that after three days if they were to face them three days ago they would definitely be taken down within three rounds. The enhancement is not a little bit of half a point is absolutely doubled, in fact to the degree of the special forces want to improve a little bit of strength or very difficult daily hard training is just hope that the peak period to maintain a little longer, the level of improvement in these three days was absolutely unimaginable to everyone, one wouldn't even dare to dream about it. At 5 p.m. on September 6, Kai Shaofan gave the 109 named disciples their fourth and final spoonful of ginseng fruit spiritual liquid. After everyone had finished drinking, he took out his cell phone and dialed Zhu Wuyu's number. It didn't take long before Zhu Wao's enemy and his third son Zhu Tianyi hurried over. Mr. Kai, but has the special training been completed? Zhu Tianyi's urgent voice had already sounded before the people even got close. As a general of a border department, Xu Tianyi has always been a master who does not change his face when the sky is falling in front of him, but today he changed, not only did his face change under the tension even his voice line changed. This is a matter of whether he can get another star on his shoulder. There is a saying that hearing is not believing. Seeing is believing say I will not say, please see for yourself, Kai Shaofan smiled and snapped his fingers. The sound of the finger had just fallen, the nine squads that had already been prepared had taken a step forward, and the Cheetah Special Warfare team that was in the first column had even transformed into 12 residual shadows in an instant. In a maximum of 6 or 7 seconds all 12 people had completed the 100-meter sprint. Before Zhu Wuhui and Zhu Tiani had time to be surprised, the Tigers in the second column sprinted to the side of a rockery and disliked it with a punch, only a series of thumping explosions were heard, immediately more than a dozen small craters appeared on the rockery, next was the third column of the Blood Wolf Special Forces, twelve of them directly opened the safeties of their firearms and unanimously aimed their guns at the sky. Before Zhu Wuhui and Zhu Tiani could even inquire, Kai! Xiaofan smiled and flung out twelve fist-sized rocks, surprisingly with this throw the stones flew out three to four hundred meters and were still flying. When the stones flew to nearly 500 meters, the captain of the Blood Wolf Special Operations Team suddenly let out a loud shout followed by 12 rounds of bullets, 12 sparks appeared in the sky in an instant, more than 500 meters, moving target, a single hit is already the god of guns, if 12 people control 12 guns and hit at the same time, that's a fantasy, it's impossible, but today something impossible has happened, a speed far exceeding that of the World's number one, strength comparable to Xiang Yu of old, a divine marksmanship, good, the Zhu Wao Xie took the lead and applauded with a big smile. On the other hand Zhu Tianyi on the other side had long been drooling with excitement, Mr. Truly a wondrous man, with these three super god special warfare teams, this time I can definitely ride on the faces of those dozens of countries and beat them violently, please, sir, accept my obeisance, Zhu Tianyi wiped his saliva and bowed deeply to Kai Xiaofan, who told you that there are only three special operations teams? Kai Xiaofan took this bow from Zhu Tianyi without dodging, but immediately retorted, Mr. Means could it be that Zhu Tianyi said and turned his head stiffly, he then saw the most unbelievable scene in his life. Aside from the three special battle squads that had already been displayed Cheetah Tigers and Blood Wolves the remaining five special battle squads and even the dozen or so soldiers in their logistics uniforms all smiled maliciously and slammed their fists on the ground at this moment, as dozens of booms came out, the earth unexpectedly trembled violently for several times. Just after the earthquake stopped rows and rows of dozens of fist pits appeared in front of Zhu Wufei and Zhu Tiani's eyes, after instructing the 109 named disciples with a few words, Kai Xiaofan bid farewell to Zhu Wuyu and Zhu Tianyi, who was still stiffly saluting him even though he was wincing all over. Under Zhu Ziyin's arrangement, Kai Xiaofan comfortably spent the night in the mansion of the Zhu family manor. Early the next morning, Kai Xiaofan quickly got up under Zhu Ziyin's weight. The first thing he saw when he opened the door of the single mansion was the six Rolls Royces with little gold men standing in front of them, 
Next to each of the six cars was a driver wearing white gloves and a soldier guard with a loaded gun. The moment they saw Kai Xiaofan and Zhu Ziyin come out the driver and the guard immediately gave a very standard military salute, isn't it just to report for duty? Isn't this battle a bit too big? You know, I'm a person who always likes to keep a low. Profile, Kai Xiaofan twisted his head and glanced at Zhu Ziyin, Yan Xingyao, who had come back to Magic City with them, had gone home for the past two days so there was only Zhu Ziyin by Kai Xiaofan's side. It's okay, it's not high profile, you have not seen those rich second generation Magic City they reported to that is called an exaggeration, then how are you going to go to school, was Zhu Ziyin thought nothing, but said said saw Kai Xiaofan seemed to smile non-smile eyes, so immediately will will change mouth, let them all withdraw it, I go alone on the line, and so I went to the school to complete the formalities, you then casually send me a car over on the way, Kai Xiaofan waved his hand at the Convoy in the next moment the six drivers and six guards got into the car and left the scene at a rapid pace. Because three days ago was in a hurry to take the helicopter to come, so before that Bentley stayed at home to let dad drive, now that things are done and of course we need to get another car, alright everything is according to your intention to do, Zhu Ziyin can still say what, she could only let Kai Xiaofan do it, well, Kai Xiaofan nodded with satisfaction and then in front of Zhu Ziyin's face he jumped to the top of the 30 to 40 meter high mansion, after that there was a colorful cloud holding Kai Xiaofan's body as it instantly rose into the sky, if it wasn't for the reason that her character and her own qualities didn't allow it she would have to say, God's low profile, your family's low key is driving clouds to school? Kai Xiaofan who had already flown high into the sky naturally didn't know what Zhu Ziyin was thinking and as early as when he had not long cast the Tanyun technique he had secretly pinched a magic spell inviting a lot of clouds to envelop his body. He hadn't fished for concealment spells yet, but just using this trick was enough to deceive the satellites in the sky as well as the surveillance underground. Kai Xiaofan's first stop was the Golden Bay Villa area located not far from the Magic City Drama Academy campus. The mansion that the Xu family had given him last time was located here and it was said to be a single three-story luxury villa. Although he was unfamiliar with the area he drove the five-colored cloud in a big circle within a 15-kilometer radius of the Drama Academy and still quickly found his home in Magic City. Even from the sky Kai Xiaofan could see that this was definitely a top-notch luxury villa area, because as far as he could see the entire Golden Bay extends one foot out into the lake and the sea a total of only 30 or so villas, but all the villas are almost all built along the coast, all sea view houses. Kai Xiaofan didn't believe that a set of villas wouldn't be worth a few hundred million dollars. Kai Xiaofan flew directly over the security pavilion wrapped in a layer of clouds and missed and landed in front of a three-story villa with seven buildings written on it, he had just seen in the sky that this villa came with a courtyard of several hundred square feet a basement dug underneath and a small garden in the air at the top of the third floor. After using face recognition in front of the somewhat ostentatious-looking golden courtyard gate he smoothly entered inside the courtyard of the villa, inside the courtyard there is nothing to say except for some flowers and grasses or some rockeries and pavilions, only the layout the courtyard is quite in line with Kai Xiaofan's mind, but when he entered the first floor of the real interior and saw the huge luxury space of almost a thousand square meters, Kai Xiaofan's originally stretched eyebrows immediately frowned, it was really empty, the emptiness made him almost uneasy, this was still just one floor, this villa had three floors, plus a basement, a courtyard of hundreds of square feet and a roof terrace. Although the furniture, electrical appliances, furnishings, and even the style inside are filled with a strong flavor of money and can be called luxurious, but Kai Xiaofan was just one person, how could he live in such a big villa, even if he had ten girlfriends a hem ten should be about right. However, what Kai Xiaofan preferred right now was a lively environment so that he could sharpen his Tao heart and gradually step into the realm of the flawless, if there was a day when he found that feeling, then he would definitely already be fearless of everything, therefore, Kai Xiaofan did not choose to stay in this luxurious villa but closed the door of the villa to invite the clouds to continue to step on the clouds and fly to the Magic City Theater Academy. Perhaps it was because the technique he cultivated was the five elements skill, the Tangyun technique he performed had both the colors of the five elements i.e., the five colored cloud haze, if it wasn't for the fact that the vision was blocked by a thick cloud someone would definitely be able to notice that there was a multicolored cloud haze speeding through the sky a thousand meters above, is this the Magic City Drama Academy? I've come to the right place, how fast was Kai Xiaofan? 
Driving the cloud, in just a blink of an eye he had arrived at the airspace of the Drama Academy from the Golden Bay Villa area, even from a god's perspective the following were all clean-cut handsome men and women. It was said that the students of the Magic City Drama Academy had a high face value Kai Xiaofan believed it at first, but now he believed it even more Xia Kai Xiaofan looked at the bottom of a piece of short skirt stockings long legs can no longer hold back, dispersed Tang Yun art to change into a flying sword a jolt into the Magic Theater Academy next to a public toilet. When Kai Xiaofan came out from the toilet the original empty hand also more than a file bag and a blue suitcase, even on. His face he wore a mask as his cultivation became more and more advanced he was sometimes shocked by how handsome he looked in the mirror, coupled with his unassuming clothing and the world's unique immortal temperament the turnaround rate when walking on the road was 200%. Some of the more daring women but also often come over to Mooch to take advantage of, now the mask has become Kai Xiaofan's standard, but even with a mask Kai Xiaofan's tall and handsome side and back are all in a class of their own so he just pushed his suitcase and walked to the entrance of the college a dozen or so groups responsible for welcoming and guiding the new students of the schoolmates suddenly felt a bright spot in front of their eyes, wow. This student is so elegant, not. Only does he have a temperament I bet his face underneath the mask is also absolutely first class handsome, nice eyes white skin tall and graceful, the best little puppy, mine, no one can take it from me, schoolboy, I'm here to take you to enroll, which department are you from? It doesn't matter which department you enroll in, I know all of them, come with me, suddenly, I think those idols are too low, I'm going to fall in love with someone else, you must be tired of pushing such a big suitcase all by yourself right, come on I'm stronger, I'll help you, get lost, I've got my eye on him first, what do you mean, can't you see he's the closest to us, let's tear him up, scared of you. Kai Xiaofan stood frozen in the doorway raising a foot to put it down but didn't know how to put it down, looking at the front of the group of beautiful schoolgirls who were about to start tearing each other apart in a full-on war Kai Xiaofan was speechless. He hadn't even entered yet and he was wearing a mask how could he still be like this, in order to avoid getting caught in the whirlpool Kai Xiaofan pushed his suitcase and secretly poked and prodded ready to flash. Joking aside, it wasn't like he himself didn't know the way as early as when he was flying in the sky he had already figured out the general route of the theater academy. Only he had just retreated two steps, dozens of gazes hit his body like a spotlight making his movements. Immediately freeze, have to say that the Magic City Theater Academy girl's face value is really powerful, this is one in a million selected up and is in the prime of life, plus one of the thief will also make up and wear clothes, so a glance at the past is almost all about 75 points or even a higher score of beauty. Even if some of the face value is a little close, but the proud peaks and snow white straight long legs are enough to make up for a large part of it, if such a group of beautiful ladies were to stare at a person at the same time, that person's pressure would explode, Although Kai Xiaofan had mana on his side he was still a human in the end, not an immortal so he likewise stopped in his tracks with some hesitation. School brothers sisters I still have things to do why don't we add a green? Bubble first something to talk about later slowly, seeing a few young ladies open their mouths as if they wanted to continue saying something Kai Xiaofan directly stopped them. I think it's okay, I think it's okay, adding a green bubble and then we'll see what we can do it's not bad at all. The group of women who had just been tearing each other apart for Kai Xiaofan heard Kai Xiaofan's suggestion and most of them agreed, the remaining small portion even if they were unwilling didn't dare to commit mass anger and in the end they reluctantly admitted it, after these dozens of school sisters were added to Kai Xiaofan's green bubble each one of them instantly revealed a satisfied smile. Taking advantage of this group of sisters staring at the interface of the green bubble happy time, Kai Xiaofan and this group of sisters among the face value can be ranked 88 points, the body can be ranked 93 points comprehensive is more than 90 points of the beautiful sister hand in hand to escape. Kai school brother here is the place to register after you register I will take you to the assigned dormitory, Zhao degree unspecified currency, degree unspecified currency, S blushing face pointed to a building and said to Kai Xiaofan, just now Kai Xiaofan had yanked her out of the crowd her heart was more than excited. As the sophomore dance academy's flower she usually had no shortage of handsome and rich guys to pursue but today for some reason after seeing Kai Xiaofan for the first time even though Kai Xiaofan was still wearing a mask her heart was jumping around like a deer in headlights, it's like, it's like she's met the one who suits her best in the underworld, thank you sister, degree unspecified currency, Kai Xiaofan smiled and left a sentence and went in to go through the enrollment procedures. Kai Xiaofan's eyesight was very sharp, 
At a glance he saw the most unique existence amongst the group of beautiful schoolmates, Zhao Degree Unspecified Currency? Oh, oh, Zhao Degree Unspecified Currency 1E who practiced dancing all year round definitely had the best body among the group of sisters and her appearance was also among the top three. While chatting on the road Kai Xiaofan also learned that Zhao Degree Unspecified Currency? Unspecified Currency Degree Unspecified Currency, S best skill was classical dance, perhaps it was because of the type of dance that he had learned so Zhao Degree Unspecified Currency? Oh, S body could clearly detect the temperament of an ancient lady, to be honest this was quite attractive to Kai Xiaofan, so after Kai Xiaofan had finished his work and came out the two of them continued to walk together. It wasn't long before the two arrived at the boys' dormitory amidst a burst of talk and laughter, when approaching the boys' dormitory building Kai Xiaofan and Zhao Degree Unspecified Currency? Oh, oh were still forced to separate because Zhao Degree Unspecified Currency? Oh, oh was too embarrassed to enter the boys' building so Kai Xiaofan simply let Zhao Degree Unspecified Currency? Oh, oh go and busy himself with his own things for the time being don't worry about him if there is something green bubbles to chat about it, however, before leaving Zhao Degree Unspecified Currency? Unspecified currency? Suddenly raised her head and stared dead at Kai Xiaofan's cheeks and said, Schoolmate your mask she was too embarrassed to say directly that she would like to see Kai Xiaofan's face because that seems to appear to be superficial and a face dog. This is also school sister you if others eye high and low will not give them a look Kai Xiaofan quickly uncovered the mask uncovered his real face for a moment and then put the mask back on. But only a split second was enough because Zhao Degree Unspecified Currency O Degree Unspecified Currency O Degree Unspecified Currency O had already seen it clearly, it was also because she had seen it clearly that Zhao Degree Unspecified Currency was staring with somewhat incredulous eyes, it wasn't that she was pretending to exaggerate but she really didn't think that a person's face could be handsome to this extent, originally Kai Xiaofan's temperament height clothing and even his naked star-like eyes were all attractive enough. But after really taking off the mask, Zhao Degree Unspecified Currency O Degree Unspecified Currency O, who had never had much interest in the opposite sex, had a moment where she even felt like she was in love, listening to the pounding heartbeat in her chest. Zhao Degree Unspecified Currency? Oh, knew that she had already fallen in love with the schoolmate in front of her. Degree you when you choose a club, can you come to my club, Fong Hua Dance Club? Our club is short of people, if you come, I can treat you to a big meal. As the vice president of the prestigious Fong Hua Dance Club in the Magic City Theater Academy and one of the departmental flowers of the Dance Academy she had never actually invited anyone to join the club, that kind of trivia was all done by the ministers or officers under her. Not to mention inviting a boy, but today she definitely made an exception, with regards to Zhao Degree Anything's invitation Kai Xiaofan of course didn't immediately agree, Joke, if he agreed to Zhao Degree anything so easily, wouldn't that make him seem like a very casual and easy to pin down person? Sister, you allow me to think about it. If I really want to add a club, then I must be the first to consider your dance club, mainly because I have not learned to dance Kai Xiaofan re wearing the mask said, I haven't learned I can okay, then you reconsider, then green bubbles, and then contact, I'll go first. But halfway through, the girl's reserve made her suddenly close her mouth and change her words. After seeing Zhao Degree Unspecified Currency? Unspecified Currency, S tall figure leave, Kai Xiaofan pushed his suitcase into the boys' dormitory, when passing by the hostel ant he registered and in passing he also threw a set of quite expensive skin care products to the hostel ant who still looked charming. Kai Xiaofan's face value under the mask was already charmed by the auntie's eyes or almost narrowed into a slit in a bunch of freshmen and old students surprised in the eyes actually personally send Kai Xiaofan to the out. When he left he even gave his cell phone number to Kai Xiaofan, let him have something to call, as long as it is not the boys' dormitory building to blow up, she can be easily dealt with, a Kai Xiaofan and a group of boys astonished in the eyes of the sky continue to stride towards the dormitory building, this dormitory building had six floors and the dormitory assigned to him was on the second floor, dormitory 857, the floor of the room number looked good, but when Kai Xiaofan entered the dormitory building and then walked all the way to the door of the 857 dormitory on the second floor he realized that the dormitory environment of the Magic City Drama Academy was really too bad, the first and second floor hallways are filled with garbage and sewage, not to mention that many dormitories don't even have doors. 
Kai Xiaofan also probed to see a few dormitories inside the moldy bowl of instant noodles has been fermented stinky socks smoked half of the cigarettes thrown away four cornered underpants a variety of paper balls there are all sorts of things, these things converge into a strange smell almost did not smoked Kai Xiaofan vomit out of the breakfast. To be able to disgust a dignified cultivator of the ninth level of qi cultivation to such an extent one could only imagine how pungent the smell was, but it wasn't until he stood at the door of room 857 that the expression on his face was considered better, looking through the tattered door of the room his other five roommates seemed to have all arrived all thumping and cleaning up inside. Seeing this scene Kai Xiaofan threw down his decorative suitcase without saying a word and took out a broom and dustpan from inside the space debris and rushed in to help clean up, the six kings of our 857 dormitory had finally arrived. Kai Xiaofan had just entered, and a strong man who looked to be about 1 meter 9 tall with tan skin and gnarled muscles that looked like a bodybuilder immediately raised his head and laughed loudly, the last one has arrived, then it's about time to clean up let's find a place to sit down and get acquainted, good good good, all rest and relax. As soon as the dark and burly man opened his mouth, the remaining four housemates who had already started to do the sweeping work also stopped the fellows in their hands and started to find a place to sit down. The big black guy who was the first to find himself before even pulled out a crumpled pack of lacoon and scattered it. Kai Xiaofan put down the broom and dustpan and took the cigarettes and looked around at his five housemates for the next four years, a total of six people in a dormitory. In addition to himself, the other five can be said to have their own characteristics, five people one is a big black man with a bright smile, one is wearing a casual suit wearing gold glasses a little white collar look elegant young man, one is skinny and short, but the face is white and red, but the show is beautiful to wear a women's clothing is a women's clothing big brother of the guy. There are two long exactly the same, slightly handsome, seems to be a pair of twins. At this time, the black big man has finished dispersing the smoke, in addition to the big man in women's clothing the other people have picked up and quickly lighted. At once, there was a gulp of smoke in the room. Kai Xiaofan keenly observed that the big woman's eyes flashed a trace of displeasure, but quickly put it away and pretended to walk to the window as if nothing had happened, phew I just love to. Smoke lacoon smoking other coughs, how about everyone introduces themselves and incidentally decides the oldest two oldest three based on their age? The youth of one of the twins comfortably puffed out a mouthful of thick smoke leaned on the bed frame and scanned the circle and said, all of them, including Kai Xiaofan, shook their heads to indicate that there was no problem. Then the elegant youth wearing gold glasses was the first to stand up and introduced himself, my name is Zhugagwa, I'm from the mountain province, my false age is 19, my birthday is December 8th. Zhugagwa just finished the black big man sucked a mouthful of smoke and said with a laugh, I'm called Huangri, also from the mountain province, the virtual age of 19 birthday is today September 7th. Hearing the introduction of Huang Ri and Zhugagui, in addition to Kai Xiaofan, the remaining three people's faces were obviously black for a time. By the time the three started their introduction it was true. Those two twins are only 18 years old, one is called Yang Chao, one is called Yang Yu, they are from Minan, although their birthdays are older, they definitely have no chance with the position of the oldest two. As for that soft and weak short and thin female big man that is even worse, he said his name is Chi Orange Orange, the capital of Jiangsu province Jinling people with 18 years of age, the birthday in small temporarily in the bottom first, said temporarily, in fact he has. Lock the position of the youngest dormitory at the moment is pouting with a face of aggrieved phase, up to this point 857 dormitory 6 people, there have been 5 made a self-introduction. The five people who had finished their introduction subconsciously turned their heads together and threw their gazes at Kai Xiaofan who was leaning on the doorway. Because until now, Kai Xiaofan hadn't taken off his mask it was simply mysterious. Kai Xiaofan from Suzhou province, false age 19 birthday is in October, Kai Xiaofan said while taking off the mask on his face. As soon as he took off the mask, a series of inhalation sounds immediately rang out in the 857 dormitory followed by the violent coughing sound of being choked by the smoke, fuck, are you this handsome, second brother, elder brother, you're a school grass, why don't you give me this face? You don't have to go to school, just this face, this temperament, go. Straight to the road, as Kai Xiaofan revealed his true face, for a moment the dormitory was howling with wolves. Wang Ri several people not only have already shouted the second brother Lao Air, but also wailed a lot. 
Shi Orange Orange on the other hand was staring at Kai Xiaofan's face and drooling, according to age, the seniority of the 857 dormitory from high to low was the eldest brother Huang Ri, the second brother Kai Xiaofan, the third brother Zhu Guo, the fourth brother Yang Chao, the fifth brother Yang Yu, and the sixth brother Shi Orange Orange. The one with the highest face value was Kai Xiaofan, the second was Qi Orange and the third was Zhu Guo, after familiarizing themselves with the Dormitory, the six of them got to know each other quite well, overall the atmosphere was very cordial, just by looking at the faces and the way they spoke, there were no such shady villains among the six, it was an atmosphere that Kai Xiaofan liked. After chatting for a few more minutes everyone agreed to go out for a meal together in the evening, both as a celebration of the first gathering of the 857 dormitory and as a birthday banquet for the dormitory's leader Huang Ri, and then each of them chose a bed and began to pack up. This side of Kai Xiaofan just chose an inside upper bunk position, not yet had time to push the outside of the suitcase steeply heard below the knock-knock sound, 857 dormitory inside the six people have a tacit. Understanding of the drop the matter at hand turned to look only to see the doorway is certainly standing in a black silk boots pleated skirt long-legged beauty, fuck me, am I blind or what? Isn't this the boy's dormitory, how can there be a girl, what a nice girl, long legs, they're as long as my life, Hello classmate, who are you looking for? As soon as Gao Yunyun arrived at the school, he put down his luggage and rushed to Kai Xiaofan's place, because Kai Xiaofan had something to do a few days ago and went to Mordor first, she actually took the bus to Mordor by herself. During the summer vacation of her senior year of high school, her and Kai Xiaofan's relationship had rocketed and heated up extremely fast, this was not only because Kai Xiaofan's realm was higher his temperament was more immortal and his face value was higher but also because Kai Xiaofan was really generous to her. Because of Kai Xiaofan's financial support, she had already helped her family pay off their mortgage several months in advance and had also bought a bunch of nutritional products and clothes for the elderly, the conditions inside the house were looking better, so she was loving and massively grateful to Kai Xiaofan, 10 minutes ago, after asking where Kai Xiaofan's dormitory was, she flew over. Just after arriving at the door and knocking she saw Kai Xiaofan who was squatting on the bed to clean up, so she directly ignored the inquiries of Zhu Guo and Yang Chao's people and walked under Kai Xiaofan's bed, you quickly come down, this job of making the bed is not something you boys should do, after saying this she didn't care if Kai Xiaofan answered back or not she directly went outside and pushed the suitcase in and started to work, I'm sorry, second brother. Is this your sister-in-law? The oldest four Yang Chao looked at the boots off, stepped on a pair of black silk long legs climbed to the bed to Kai Xiaofan bed set quilt Gao Yunyun directly like a monkey jumped up, brother, my good brother, do you have any girlfriends? Why don't you introduce us to one? The oldest three Zhu Gui cannot be stabilized directly tear off the disguise of elegance a sliding knee rushed to the feet of Kai Xiaofan holding Kai Xiaofan's thighs roared. Oldest Huang Ri and the oldest Yang Yu although not as exaggerated as Yang Chao and Zhu Guo, but also coincidentally towards Kai Xiaofan gave a thumbs up, don't mess up, Kai Xiaofan kicked Zhu Guo away and somewhat depressedly lit the lacoon hanging on his ear, he did just send a message back to Gao Yunyun, but he didn't think that Gao Yunyun would actually run over so quickly. Moreover he remembered that when he was evaluating the oldest two at that moment he also sent a message back to Xiao Yuzu Fish as well, it couldn't be helped who made Xiao Yuzu ask the exact same question as Gao Yunyun, for fuck's sake she wouldn't run over here as well would she Gia Kai Xiaofan was a bit speechless as he took a puff of lacoon, he wasn't much of a smoker but it wasn't like he was choking, Kai Xiaofan, how can you smoke? Think of Chao Chao think of Chao Chao Kai Xiaofan's. Fingers that were holding the cigarette trembled he didn't even need to turn around to know who the visitor was, but then he thought, no Xiao Yuzu is just one of my dogs, what am I afraid of her for? So Kai Xiaofan stabilized his wrist and continued to start gulping clouds out the window, Kai Xiaofan you hurriedly rushed to the Xiao Pomelo fish as soon as he entered the door saw Kai Xiaofan in the bad her mistemper looked to be on the upswing, but saw even the head did not return to the Kai Xiaofan, she instantly sobered up again. She is not Kai Xiaofan's girlfriend now second second brother who is this person looking at the Xiao Yufu fish that froze in the doorway Yang Chao and the others have been numb, this just appeared no matter the face value or body or temperament that is a proper school flower level ah, why is she here to look for her penis again? Xiao Yufu fish this time to report to work wearing the same blue skirt feet or that white silk calf socks, but this time she did not wear sneakers and small leather shoes but changed into a pair of white leather boots with a little high heel. 
compared to Gao Yunyun who was wearing black silk boots that showed off her womanly figure and charm, Xia Yufu was like a haughty thousand-dollar lady. She heard the words of Yang Chao and the others and followed the gazes of Yang Chao and the others and soon saw Gao Yunyun who was lying on the bed and was looking this way, Gao Yunyun, why are you here? The moment she saw Gao Yunyun, Xia Yufu immediately exploded, she glared at Gao Yunyun with a sulky face, what's it to you where I am? Gao Yunyun glanced at her before continuing to turn her head and go about her business, she naturally knew that Xiao Pomfret was in hot pursuit of Kai Xiaofan but in contrast to Xiao Pomfret's begging Gao Yunyun who had already gained Kai Xiaofan's favor couldn't even look at Xiao Pomfret, you you Xiaofan, she doesn't know how to make a bed, I'll do it for you. Xiao Yuzu fish was Gao Yunyun choked speechless, perhaps unwilling to show weakness, put down a sentence also took off there. Small white boots stepped on white silk climbed on Kai Xiaofan's bed, looking at the two top beauties on the bed scrambling for a pillowcase Huang Ri and Zhu Gug with several people have long looked silly, the black silk boots girl Gao Yunyun who came first, her face value and figure added up it was more than enough to rate a department flower. Later, the blue skirt and white silk beauty a pure first love face anyone who will see the joy choose a school flower problem is not big, this has just reported to the dormitory there is already a department flower and school flower pinch up, if this is the official start of the school year, the dormitory will not be crowded, is Lao Air really that handsome? Huang Ri several people have glanced at Kai Xiaofan upright nose inside as if there are stars flashing eyes thick eyebrows fair. Skin slightly thin lips even inhaled a mouthful of lacoon spit out the smoke circle or full of style, while well, they had to admit that the oldest two's face value was just too heaven defying, not to mention the women even the men staring at it for a long time almost got mesmerized. At noon Kai Xiaofan drove away the non-stop tearing Gao Yunyun and Xia Yufu fished two people in the dormitory inside the five people together out of the school to find a medium-grade small restaurant and picked a box to sit down. While walking on the road, in addition to Xiao Luqi Orange Orange, the other four people are pestering Kai Xiaofan to let him help introduce his girlfriend. For this reason, they even went so far as to pay for Kai Xiaofan's share of the AA's dinner fee. What could Kai Xiaofan do? He could only say that he would pay attention and color a few people through Gao Yunyun when he had the chance. When he said this, the four people's hearts were suddenly clear. Although he didn't say outright who was his girlfriend today, Kai Xiaofan's heart was clearly more in favor of Gao Yunyun a little more. Although Gao Yunyun's face value was slightly less refined than Xia Yufu's, she was still definitely a big beauty at the departmental flower level, coupled with that pair of long black silk legs, if she met a leg control or foot control, she would indeed like Gao Yunyun a little more. But the four didn't care that much anyway as long as the old man agreed to come down nothing else mattered. The moment they thought of Gao Yunyun's winking face and those long legs that they couldn't get. Enough of playing with in their lifetime, the four's bodies trembled. How could the face and body of a great beauty's best friend not be too bad? Kai Xiaofan did not pay attention to the four animals in the spring thinking that anyway someone treats do not slaughter for nothing, just sat down in the restaurant's box inside a breath even ordered three dishes and four small dishes plus a pot of fish head tofu soup and then threw the menu to the side of the chi orange orange. Think he is now also considered to be worth billions of characters the bank card is a million assets, but this food and drink really do not have much time to enjoy, these four years of college life he must experience experience. Kai Xiaofan thought in his heart went over their chi orange orange also point good, Kai Xiaofan took a glance at the menu found that chi orange orange did not point what dishes just make up a bowl of longevity noodles a bottle of orange juice as well as a box of beer, in fact with this order Kai Xiaofan can cover it all by himself, but considering that after all it was a couple of housemates treat, Kai Xiaofan didn't order more smiled and handed the menu to the waiter who was guarding the side. Second brother, you can never save us, big brother three brother six brother home what situation I do not know, but I and my brother is a person a month 2000 living expenses not to say every day down the restaurant, but a month down two or three times the problem is still not big today you despite the point of let go and eat, old four Yang Chao took out a stack of red tickets from his pocket and very proudly slapped the table and said, fuck old four your family quite rich my old man only gave me a thousand and five living expenses a month, boss Huang Ri scratched his head in a somewhat depressed manner. In fact, the average college student's living expenses of 15,000 a month is usually not a small amount, but this thing is afraid of comparison, Yang Chao, and Yang you can have $500 more per month that's just not the same. Not to mention if they had a girlfriend these $500 would be able to support them to go out for two meals a month plus a room, 
you are all big brother, my mom only give me 800 a month said I have gone to college to spend money to earn their own after Yang Chao and Huang Ri, the oldest three Zhugaguo weak voice suddenly sounded. Looking at Zhugaguo who took out a thin stack of red tickets, the faces of the crowd coincidentally flashed a trace of pity, in college. $800 a month is enough to do what, just enough to stay alive, nothing else can be done, after giving Zhugaguo three seconds of silence in their hearts, they quickly turned their attention to little 6 Chi Orange Orange. As for why not look at Kai Xiaofan, fuck just with Lao Air's scourge face he would never want to be short of money in this life, I guess as long as he hooks his hand there will be many girls rushing to adopt him, why are you all looking at me, my pocket money is only $500 a month, she orange wrinkled her pretty eyebrows and patted the small satchel on the side of her waist, I'll go, only $500. Are you serious Xiao Lu Zi, your family is so stingy, steeply heard. She orange orange answer not to mention the yellow day Zhuge Guo and others even Kai Xiaofan or a little incredulous opened his mouth. Originally thought Zhugagua $800 a month is already outrageous enough, but did not expect the strong and the strong, forget it, a few brothers are not easy, call the waiter over to see if you can return a few dishes, boss Huangri also did not expect their own a few roommates will actually be drought death of flooding death, after muttering a sentence, want to leave the box to find the waiter, just before he could leave his seat, he was pulled by Kai Xiaofan's arm, no need to. Go, I'll treat you today only to see Kai Xiaofan take out a thick stack of banknotes from his pants pocket before picking out ten from it and gently placing them on the table, the identity of the immortal cultivator he might be thinking of hiding but being a member of the rich generation was something he was too lazy to even hide. After all in the future we have to live together for four years really if you hide every day to think about it is tired, however so directly out of money he was afraid of damaging the pride of the old three and six so quickly scanned the atmosphere of a somewhat silent box and said. Of course, not for nothing I may be in college before graduation or after graduation to start a company by then you ate my drink my have to be doubled back, Kai Xiaofan said this the atmosphere inside the box immediately visible to the naked eye became a lot more active, good, it turns out that you're the one who's hiding the most second brother, second brother, second brother. I'm afraid that pile of red tickets of yours must be at least 10 or 20 thousand dollars right, I just want to know where did Lao Air get all this money? Lao Air, is it possible that you've been adopted by a rich woman? I don't think so. Second brother's temperament is here. Even if it's a case of adoption, it has to be second brother adopting those women. Hi, who cares? I declare that from now on the biggest leg of our 857 dormitory is Erhu. We'll all be Erhu's subordinates, itted. Be great if second brother really started a company we'd all be senior members and executives. Kai Xiaofan's topic of conversation was very successful and revitalized the atmosphere inside the box in just a moment. Okay don't be poor let the waiter move the beer up to build a circle first, Kai Xiaofan smiled and waved his hand, not long the box inside the cups and lively, after a few bottles of beer, the entire 857 dormitory came alive with the naked eye, although he didn't have time to buy a cake, the longevity noodles ordered by Chi Orange Orange was also considered to be a different birthday for his boss Huang Ri. By the time they were full and settled the bill other than Kai Xiaofan Huang Ri and Xi Orange, the remaining three had already collapsed and were talking nonsense, unable to do anything, the three of them could only look at each other with a bitter smile and then one of them picked up one and rushed towards the dormitory. At four o'clock in the afternoon, Kai Xiaofan was lying on his bed chatting with Chang Siyu when Yang Chao, who had sobered up at the beginning of the three o'clock hour, suddenly slapped the table hard and roared from below, the brothers quickly come over. Come on over, I just found something good on our school's official microblog, Yang Chao's voice is no different from the dormitory press to lighter instantly attracted the attention of all the eyes, what good stuff, what good stuff. I'll come and take a look too, Yang Yu and Huang Ri who also slept on the bottom bunk immediately leaned over, but the first one to see it was still Kai Xiaofan as he happened to sleep on Yang Chao's upper bunk, the latest statistical ranking of the freshman school flowers of the Magic City Drama Academy. Kai Xiaofan softly read out the content on Yang Chao's cell phone. As soon as these words came out the dormitory immediately seemed to set off an eight-step gale, Huang Ri and Yang Yu who were already extremely curious directly rushed over in an arrow step, Zhugaguo who didn't even want to move in the upper berth also jumped out of bed like a male dog in heat. Only Chi Orange as if she was not interested in women at all was tinkering with the sleeping curtains that had just been taken out from the delivery station not long ago because the seventh 
Tonight is the registration time, the military training will start on the 15th and the orientation meeting will be held on the 8th of next month, most of the new students who have just reported to the school have nothing to do at the moment so they often create this kind of post, of course we can't rule out the possibility that it's some older siblings and this possibility is also very high. This group of animals were really fast, this is just after the report, they have all the beautiful women in the freshman class in one net, let me see let me see, fuck me. The Magic City Drama Academy deserves to be called the Magic City Drama Academy, for school beauties and six department beauties in just one freshman year. Xiao Yuzu, Gao Yunyun, why do their pictures look so familiar asshole? Didn't they just come to our dorm this morning, after staring at Yang Chao's cell phone? For a while they suddenly sucked in a breath of cold air. Only to see that underneath Gao Yunyun's captured photo there was a comment, it was suspected that she had just enrolled as a freshman this year and because she was seen going to the dance academy at noon she was temporarily listed as one of the prospective departmental flowers of the dance academy. And Chao Pamelo Fish's evaluation below is even more exaggerated even directly evaluated as the newest school flower of the acting department, what a few people thought in the morning who could have known that this had only just become a fact in the afternoon, a few livestock looked up at Kai Xiaofan sitting cross-legged on the bed with a joyless face only to feel a sharp pain in their hearts, this world is really a drought of drought and flood. Kai Xiaofan of course saw the envious gazes of a few of his roommates but his mind was not here at this time, just now he had an occasional feeling that he would have a breakthrough within a month, he was already at the ninth level of qi cultivation and if he made another breakthrough he would be at the foundation establishment stage. If he really reached the foundation establishment stage he would be considered to have the initial capital to cross the blue star, it seems to have time to find a hidden place closed breakthrough after all is to break through a big realm I do not know this breakthrough foundation stage will not have any big noise, Kai Xiaofan murmured in his heart, the promotion to the foundation stage was too important for him, it wasn't just about the increase in his strength, but it also allowed him to let go of his hands and feet to do something. Right now he hadn't angled for any spells but as long as he waited to advance to foundation establishment some basic small spells could be performed without spells wouldn't it be possible to show his saintliness in front of people again, hey junior, what are you thinking about, what are you thinking, why don't you say anything even when I ask you, just as Kai Xiaofan was pondering Kuang Ri suddenly shook the bedpan waking Kai Xiaofan up, what did you just ask, Kai Xiaofan looked at. Kuang Ri with a confused expression, it's over the penis is over he's not even interested in the school flower department flower, designated as wasted, Huang Ri was devastated, what's wrong with you second brother, we just asked you if you have a favorite among these school flowers. Yang Chao pointed to the cell phone screen on top of which was a row of high color beauties that were as pretty as flowers, a total of 10 people excluding this department flower of Gao Yunyun and this school flower of Xiao Yuzu fish there are still a full 8 people on the list, oh, these few people are quite pretty. Kai Xiaofan glanced at them and casually made a perfunctory remark without knowing if he had seen them clearly, the corners of Yang Chao's eyes couldn't help but twitch at. This scene, however several people also knew that Kai Xiaofan did have this capital after all among the four golden flowers and six silver flowers that had just been evaluated in the freshman year there were already two hearts belonging to Kai Xiaofan. Still, Yang Chao and the others weren't willing they just wanted to see Kai Xiaofan surprised once more so they quickly dropped a bombshell of news, second brother, do you know, someone broke the news that the four rising school beauties that were evaluated for our freshman class actually live in the same dormitory, it's right next door to our unit building, everyone calls that dormitory the goddess palace. The Xiao Pomelo fish that chased you before is one of them the other three are. Called Jiang Tingding Zhu Kier Lu Qingqing, Yang Chao said with a smile, for schoolgirls living in one dormitory, misty grass I don't even dare to think how fragrant that dormitory will be. Yang Yu closed his eyes and lightly sniffed the four directions and seemed to have already fantasized about himself entering the goddess palace and wandering around to his heart's content, wake up old five, don't dream can appraise the kernel flower 90% or studying how to marry into a rich family to be a rich wife, there is what we brothers, we've got to get out of here. The third Jugagwa patted Yang Yu turned around and got back into bed. The oldest two heard the. Oldest three this kid is pointing out you, our dormitory is the most likely to be a rich family, it is you. Huang Ri suddenly tilted his head and grinned at Kai Xiaofan who was sitting on the bed, gripped the grass away from the eyes, I didn't realize that you're actually just looking naive the boss. Second brother you mustn't misunderstand huh, I definitely didn't order you you're the thigh of our dormitory, 
Seeing Huang Ri there smiling and stirring up trouble Zhu Guo instantly anxious and hastily explained, All right we are a dormitory brother a little joke casually opened not to say that I am not a rich second generation even if it is really rich second generation you are my brother. Kai Xiaofan waved his hand and signaled, That's good that's good this side of Zhu Guo just. Breathed a sigh of relief Kai Xiaofan bunk of Yang Chao immediately and curiously asked, not a two brother you casually pull out or ten thousand dollars you say you are not a second generation of rich, Yang Chao's question attracted the eyes of the entire dormitory, this time even in that pounding the sleeping curtains of the little six chi orange orange cannot help but look over. Think about it, at the moment of lunch Kai Xiaofan pulled out a thick stack of red tickets from his pocket without even blinking, and everyone could see that Kai Xiaofan's expression was relaxed, not caring about this pile of money at all. At the end of the checkout the price of Magic City is even more ruthless slap in the face of the crowd. Originally thought that 8 dishes plus a bottle of drink a box of beer at most 5 or 600 dollars, but really to the checkout time the bill. A light good guy a full 986, on this price even in the general prefecture level city the city center eat a dozen dishes is also easy, the countryside that is not to mention high and low 20 or 30 dishes, but what about Kai Xiaofan? Without even frowning he ordered 10 red tickets and handed them over, that's almost two months of living expenses for little 6 chi orange, for one meal, I earned this money during my summer vacation so I'm the rich generation not the second generation, looking at the disbelieving eyes of the crowd Kai Xiaofan helplessly spread his hands, he could only explain to this extent as for whether the crowd believed it or not that was their own business, second brother I took the liberty of. Asking how much did you earn during the summer vacation little six Chi Orange Orange who hadn't been very talkative suddenly asked. Chi Orange Orange's voice is very soft and sticky slightly biased towards a girl's voice tone but he also has an obvious throat knot so everyone did not suspect that he is a female but just think that Chi Orange Orange may be a sufferer. In fact Chi Orange's question was also the thoughts of the crowd after all everyone had just met on the first day they were definitely too embarrassed to ask Kai Xiaofan what exactly he had done to earn so much money, but directly asking how much was. Earned was still a good question to ask, Kai Xiaofan obviously didn't expect anyone to ask him this question so after he pondered for a while he slowly stretched out a finger under the incredibly expectant gazes of the five people in the dormitory. 10,000. Huang Ri blurted out without even thinking, the other four people also nodded their heads when they heard it, summer vacation at most two months can earn how much money, earning $10,000 is not a small amount of money and it is also very much in line with the amount of red tickets that Kai Xiaofan took out earlier, but Kai Xiaofan did not nod his head as the crowd thought instead he shook his head without hesitation, is it hard to believe that it's 100? Thousand, the third oldest Juga Gua slightly raised his volume a little, two months of raking in a hundred thousand dollars, no wonder second brother said he wanted to start a company so he was an entrepreneurial genius, all five of them felt that they must have guessed the truth this time. But right after they focused their eyes on Kai Xiaofan what they saw was still the same Kai Xiaofan who was slowly shaking his head, ah uh, this it can't be second brother don't scare us seeing Kai Xiaofan with this look the five people's hearts were suddenly shocked, not 10,000 nor 100,000, what else can it be, a million dollars, a million dollars in a summer vacation, is this serious? Sitting cross-legged on the bed, Kai Xiaofan smilingly looked at the five roommates. Scratching their heads, and there was not much fluctuation in his heart, of course he understands the reasoning of not revealing one's wealth, but that was a rule that only the weak needed to follow and with his means he didn't need to do that at all. Joke, even if he put a box of money on the ground, who in the world could take it? Aside from possessing absolute confidence in his own strength, Kai Xiaofan had another consideration. His side had already reported to school, and it was estimated that the mobility scooter from the Xu family side would soon be delivered. According to the nature of the Xu family, not to send a luxury car is simply impossible, so his side in advance to take precautions rather than later by the roommate to find. Out and then explain out of thin air an additional layer of disconnection to the good. Thinking of this he then gently shook his head at the five people again. Hiss, as Kai Xiaofan shook his head for the third time, the inside of dormitory 857 couldn't hold back any longer and for a while, the sound of inhalation rang out one after another. In fact, it's not as exaggerated as you guys think I just accidentally saved a tycoon during my summer vacation when I went out for a trip and that tycoon not only gave me 10 million dollars in cash in order to repay me for saving his life but also sent me a villa and a luxury car, Kai Xiaofan thought about. It half true half false fooled, I fuck, 
My milk in my small time has been read that a scruffy Taoist accidentally passed by my house to me and my brother counted a fortune said we will be outside when studying to meet the nobleman, my brother, and I never believed it we thought it was a futile superstition but now I believe it the master is really accurate. Kai Xiaofan's words just felt young Chao jumped in place and wrapped his arms around Kai Xiaofan's thigh on the upper bunk, Lao Er known second brother, in the future your company's head of security must be given to me, I will definitely give you the company's door to the water, not a single fly will be able to fly in, Huang Ri the eldest is also shaking his fist and raising his arm, showing off the hard muscles on his arm, what second brother, call me righteous father, from now on you will be the righteous father of all the brothers in dormitory 857, the third Zhugagwa directly threw off his gold glasses, gave up his civilized and corrupt disguise, and embraced Kai Xiaofan's other thigh with a lewd face. You guys are leaving me a leg a young you also want to hug the thigh, but unfortunately his bed is far away simply cannot grab young Chao and Zhugagwa so can only be on the sidelines in a hurry to dry stomping feet, but to say that the furthest away also has to belong to the small six Chi orange orange, only even Chi Orange Orange did not know when also climbed out of bed is a face tangled towards Kai Xiaofan this side of the tentative approach, you guys enough ah, since we have fade in a dormitory, the future is naturally a brother, nothing less than the whole set of nothing, Kai Xiaofan sitting on the upper bunk will be below everything in the eyes although he knows that everyone is joking but he is still not tired of admonishing some. Don't worry about it second brother I see that the brothers are not ordinary people, they all have a clear idea in their hearts, Yang Chao opened a package of Yushi one by one scattered a road, while you have a number in mind on the line Kai Xiaofan took the cigarette the mouth just muttered a couple of sentences the cell phone ringing, look down it seems to be an unfamiliar number, his number is very few people know but also rarely buy things online so there are almost no several. Fraudulent calls from year to year, after thinking about it Kai Xiaofan still pressed the answer button. Hello Mr. Kai hello, I am Master Zhu's driver Su Jiet promised to give you a car has now been parked under your dormitory you see when you conveniently come over to pick up the keys and then look at the model is not satisfied? And Kai Xiaofan guessed exactly the same, he just arrived at the school not long ago, the Xu family prepared the car was delivered, this speed and efficiency let Kai Xiaofan heart straight sigh in the end is a powerful family, Kai Xiaofan hung up the phone, got out of bed and put on his clothes and shoes and came to the dormitory downstairs. Just downstairs he saw a large group of people around the parking lot not far away, he was just about to go over and take a look when a middle-aged man in a suit and white gloves came out of the crowd, Mr. Kai, the middle-aged man locked onto Kai Xiaofan at a glance and after wiping a handful of sweat from his forehead he jogged to a stop in front of him and then respectfully took out two keys and handed them over, hard work. Kai Xiaofan patted the driver Su Jie's shoulder and took the car keys with a smile, not hard not hard to Mr. Kai work is my honor the old rules the car has been transferred to your name parked over there, Kai Xiaofan these few times Su Jie shot flattered hastily pointed to the middle of the crowd in the distance and said, okay I know you go back, Kai Xiaofan glanced at the crowd and gently waved his hand Su Jie immediately turned around and walked away, until Su Jie's back could not be. Seen clearly Kai Xiaofan then put his hands in his pockets and leisurely walked towards the crowd, in fact he had just seen what kind of car Su Jie drove over, Rolls Royce, a very tawdry silver Rolls Royce. I don't know how many assets the Xu family has, the Rolls Royce in this family can form a fleet, moreover that Su Jie was also a naive person, such a tawdry car actually drove directly into the school, college students, especially those from the drama school were not ignorant of anything and even if a Rolls Royce branded luxury car was not plated with any silver film, they could easily recognize it. That's why more and more people are coming out from under the dormitory and all of them are freshmen who come here to watch, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get a good deal on this, but I'm sure I'm going to be able to get a good deal on this, the car is parked in the parking space and will not lose two or two meat why do you need to block here? Kai Xiaofan muttered to take the keys and turned to go he did not have time to accompany a group of people here dry consumption, he was not prepared to go out of school in the last few days so he didn't need a car at all, the time flashed by was three days. In these three days Kai Xiaofan really didn't go out of the school once, after all the school cafeteria fruit store and supermarket had everything, did not go out of school naturally also cannot use the car, he parked in the downstairs. Parking lot inside the silver Rolls Royce also became a decoration, at the beginning of those two days there will be special students to go over the car to take pictures and send a circle of friends and then the heat passed to car to take pictures of people naturally less and less, occasionally when students saw it they would only praise it in their heart, 
this car is really beautiful, I don't know is that dog than the rich second generation? Then they went their own way. Today is the first day after the deadline for new students to report, according to the information released by the schools Doeen and Neck and other official public numbers, the new students have to go to their respective classes today. After familiarizing themselves with their teachers and classmates as well as some of the general curriculum only then would there be military training and only after that would there be the orientation meeting at 7 o'clock. In the morning on September 10, Kai Xiaofan opened his eyes in bed on time and on point. After waking up, he quickly clapped his hands and woke up the five people who were still huffing and puffing. The sleepy-eyed five people were a little reluctant to get up basically muttering a few sentences and wanting to go back to sleep. Kai Xiaofan couldn't help but smile and shake his head. Speaking of which, of the six people in dormitory 857, five of them had enrolled in the acting department and only the youngest six, Chi Orange Orange, who clearly had a good skin, had enrolled in the dance academy. This meant that there was still a possibility that the five Kai Xiaofan people could be assigned to a class, but Chi Orange Orange was definitely not going to be assigned to a class with them, as a matter of fact, besides Chi. Orange Orange, Kai Xiaofan and the other five were indeed coincidentally assigned to the same class, so after Kai Xiaofan woke up in the morning he immediately woke up the other five as well. 8 o'clock will go to the class you now get up and dress wash up and go to the toilet and then eat a meal on the way you can barely make it if you are a little slower you will not be able to make it, if you are late on the first day of class it's exciting to think about it, Kai Xiaofan put down two words and went to wash up and as soon as he left inside the dormitory there was immediately a burst of reluctant ghosts and wails. Three minutes later when Kai Xiaofan came back after. Washing up, five people had already dressed up neatly make it quick, go early to take the seat early, Kai Xiaofan while wearing a mask while glaring at Zhuge Gui a few people, a few people after a handful of mess soon rushed out of the dormitory together. On the way casually ate in the cafeteria, a few people went their separate ways, Chi Orange went to the dance academy alone while the five of them rushed to the performance department, after rushing to the classroom, the time had already come to 7.58. This is also Kai Xiaofan realized on the way that it was really a bit too late and used a little means to give Huang Ri's four people a little speed boost otherwise not to mention 7.58 they wouldn't be able to arrive. At 8 o'clock, after entering the classroom labeled with the acting department class of 2018 sign, there were only scattered seats left in the front row and the center and back rows had long been snatched up. There was no choice but for the five to spread out and settle down, I have to say that the acting department is in the end the acting department Kai Xiaofan swept a glance before he sat down and found that the class was half boys and half girls the men were all handsome and distinctive while the women were all smooth and pretty, to cite a chestnut Kai Xiaofan casually choose a position next to the girl's face value or more than 85 points, if it wasn't for the two peaks in front of her. Chest being flat her figure could definitely break the 90 point mark. However, she also has her advantages that is the bare natural milky white skin absolutely can be called a frost than snow, it's just that the expression is too cold a little bit rejecting people. And like the same table girl such value and body Kai Xiaofan casually sweep a glance the class at least 5 or 6 in the same level, these were all standards that had a chance of being recognized as department flowers, somewhat interesting Kai Xiaofan muttered before withdrawing his gaze from the surroundings, he had just sat upright when the crisp clatter of high heels rang out from the doorway of the classroom, within a few seconds two stunningly beautiful figures that were almost identical stepped into the classroom back and forth, both figures had the same shawl-length red waist dress with a pair of small black high heels under their feet. Their temperament was like an orchid and their appearance was pretty, from the lesson plans on their hands and the megaphone on their waists, these two beauties were obviously either class teachers or counselors, but, is there a classroom teacher and a counselor who look exactly alike? I know you guys are surprised, but please don't be too surprised just yet, I'm Ju Yuehong you can call me MS. Ju, I'll be your homeroom teacher for the next four years, and she's my daughter Luo Qingqing Hu. We'll also be your counselor in the future, Ju Yuehong stepped onto the podium looking down at the dozens of faces full of surprise her heart had long been numb, since Luo Qingqing had entered the school as a counselor she had been able to see a lot of this kind of gaze every day. But what could she do, after her daughter graduated from graduate school she had to come to teach at the school where she worked and how to drive cannot be driven away even if those leaders also do not know how to think actually also arranged her to their side. They mother and daughter originally looked very much alike plus her own maintenance is also very good so no matter close up or from a distance the two are like twins not mother and daughter, it was only when her gaze turned. 
To the side of the podium that she saw the only exception in the class, it was a boy sitting in the front row wearing a mask and instead of staring at them with those very meaningful eyes, he was extraordinarily clear. This student, very good at, Zhu Yuehong looked at Kai Xiaofan who was clean and neatly dressed and felt good about him, usually with their mother and daughter's appearance not inferior to that of a star not to mention standing together even if they appeared individually they would be able to attract the greedy eyes of countless heterosexuals, eyes as unadulterated as Kai Xiaofan's were almost never seen. It was said that mothers and children were connected and as Zhu Yuehong discovered. The only exception in the class Luo Qingqing next to her naturally saw the otherworldly Kai Xiaofan as well, even more so, she had jumped ahead of Zhu Yuehong to discover Kai Xiaofan, but the end result was exactly the same for both her and Zhu Yuehong having a very good impression of Kai Xiaofan's clear gaze and clean and sunny dress. Kai Xiaofan didn't know that he had been remembered by the homeroom teacher and counselor just by sitting there without doing anything. Seeing the whole class of 40 to 50 people were Bao Yuehong and Luo Qingqing two beautiful and extremely similar appearance to the shock of a long time without words he can only use the cough to force to wake up the crowd. In the future remember to get used to it, don't confuse the two of us okay one by one come up to do a self-introduction, a special. Reminder self-introduction has a few class cadre election oh, Zhu Yuehong looked at the dozens of students who had regained their senses amidst the coughing and with a wave of her hand she brought Luo Qingqing back a few steps to make room for the students who would be coming up to the stage in a while. There were generally many cadre positions within the class such as class president, vice president, study committee, discipline committee, arts and culture committee, sports committee, publicity committee, life committee and section representative. However, none of these had anything to do with Kai Xiaofan if there was really a shortage of cadres he would at most claim a position as a sports committee member. But what happened next more or less out of Kai Xiaofan's expectations, only to see the first rush to the podium, it is 857 dormitory boss, height of 1 meter 9 muscle bronze color, extremely developed Huang Ri. Originally, there were a few other people who also wanted to be the first to go on stage, but after taking a look at Huang Ri's strong body they ended up silently re-sitting down. My name is Huang Ri, I'm from the Mountain Province, I want to run for sports committee member, at the same time I also want to fight for my good brother Kai Xiaofan for the position of class president, trust me, you definitely won't regret making him class president. Huang Ri blah 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 for a while finally pointing out that he was suitable for the position of sports committee member and also reached out and pointed to Kai Xiaofan's position pushing Kai Xiaofan out, not knowing if it was a negotiation or not, while everyone was staring in Kai Xiaofan's direction the oldest Zhugagui ran up to the podium second, after introducing himself he said that he wanted to run for vice class president and in the end he even pushed Kai Xiaofan towards the class president's position just like Huang Ri. After Zhu Gagui is Yang Chao, after Yang Chao is Yang Yu four people each person to point to Kai Xiaofan in the end, it is said that there are one there are two and there are no more three let alone four times in a row, after Yang Chao and Yang Yu went down a large portion of the class's eyes had gathered on Kai Xiaofan's body, even Kai Xiaofan's deskmate the girl with extra white skin and extra cold temperament was looking Kai Xiaofan up and down with surprised eyes as if she wanted to see what was different about him, at this moment, Kai Xiaofan lowered his head in embarrassment as the three rooms were almost keyed out, obviously when he came he said that he didn't want to run for any position at that time the four Huang Ri people even nodded their heads in succession to show that they knew who would have thought that he would be sold out by those four animals so quickly? You guys want to be class president yourselves run for it yourselves, what's the point of dragging me into the water, since so many students have recommended Kai Xiaofan I think Kai Xiaofan must have something different why don't we let Kai stand up first and introduce himself, after the four people from dormitory 857 introduced themselves the class fell into a short silence, seeing that no one was coming up to the stage counselor Luo Qingqing's eyes rolled and she suddenly stepped forward and said, as a counselor of course no one dared to say no to her words so the gazes focused on Kai Xiaofan instantly increased, the gazes of the girls looking at Kai Xiaofan were mostly curious and puzzled. The boys on the other hand were much more complicated there was curiosity and doubt and there was also disdain and contempt, a large portion of them were secretly spitting in their hearts that Kai Xiaofan was just too pretentious, in this hot day and not a big star wearing a hair mask. Forced by the pressure, Kai Xiaofan could only wrinkle his brows and slowly stand up from his seat. After standing up, he also glared fiercely at Huang Ri's four people, hello two teachers hello. 
Students, I'm Kai Xiaofan, a native of the Sioux province, although I know that you may not believe me, I'm still going to say that I don't want to serve as a class of any kind this student I don't know whether or not you can take off your mask first, the teacher didn't mean anything else but simply felt that wearing a mask for a self-introduction was a bit not so good. Kai Xiaofan stood on the podium and before he could finish his sentence he was interrupted by Luo Qingqing with a smile, teacher are you sure you want me to take off my mask? Kai Xiaofan slightly twisted his head a hint of inquiry flashing through his deep eyes, of course you're the only one in the class who still wears a mask, how are you going to fit in if you don't take it off, Luo Qingqing nodded in affirmation, teacher, perhaps the student feels that his face value is too high and doesn't really want to show his face, a robust boy in the last row who looked ordinary but was almost as tall as Huang Ri suddenly shouted, this is bullshit how handsome can he be if he's a bandwagoner, isn't it just two eyes and a nose? playing God. In Kai Xiaofan's backseat a boy with a slightly feminine face also followed with sarcasm, you two better watch your mouths, if you don't stop acting weird I'll beat you up, don't be a jerk, understand, seeing that someone was slandering Kai Xiaofan Huang Ri and Yang Chao stood up at the first opportunity, although Zhuge Guo and Yang Yu didn't say anything they also followed suit and stared viciously at the two, quiet, all of you be quiet. What's the matter, it's only the first day of class and you want to fight it seeing signs of restlessness in the class, Zhu Yuehong immediately slapped her lesson plan on the table and shouted, not to mention even though she is a woman but Zhu Yuehong instantly calmed down the scene with her powerful aura. In fact, the student is quite right, I really don't want to show my face too much, but since everyone wants to see what I look like underneath my mask, then of course I won't be stingy. When the class was silent to the point where a pin could be heard, Kai Xiaofan first snorted to attract everyone's attention and then lifted the mask with one hand. My goodness, so handsome ah, ha 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 ha, I feel like I'm in love mama. What kind of divine face value is this, I suddenly understand the reason why people are not willing to take off the mask in exchange for me to grow so white so handsome I also have to wear a mask ah, with Kai Xiaofan suddenly unveiling his mask to reveal his true face the class instantly rang out 20 to 30 cries of surprise, almost all of the girls couldn't help but cover their mouths in shock after seeing Kai Xiaofan's appearance. The boys weren't as exaggerated but they were all wide-eyed with envy and jealousy, in fact, ever since his realm broke through to the late stage of qi cultivation Kai Xiaofan had consciously noticed something about his temperament and skin getting better and better his face value getting higher and higher. The so-called immortal cultivation was the obsession of being powerful and living forever and it was also a metamorphosis of the level of life, having stepped into the path of immortal. Cultivation, it's normal for my face value to get higher and higher, right? What fresh meat what top stream if you really want to compare, in front of him is a younger brother. Kai Xiaofan without makeup was able to sling those so-called showbiz male stars from all aspects such as face, body and temperament. His knife-cut face, crystal-like jade skin, very explosive perfect body and height as well as uncontaminated temperament single out one advantage are not short of beautiful girl's favor, by virtue of his face value no matter where he goes that is an absolute descending blow, after he so gently removed the mask, screams gasps inhaling and even the sound of gulping saliva for three minutes past are still appearing from time to time, Kai Xiaofan's corner of the eye glanced over the following. Seats the boys without exception all ashamed of themselves and lowered their heads. The girls are open watery eyes are not willing to blink the situation look hate to Kai Xiaofan swallowed in one gulp, Kai Xiaofan also saw that the skin is very white temperament cold temporary beauty desk now also in the eyes staring at him fiercely look look also do not know think of what the face is more and more red and finally even the ears are red through. This phenomenon did not get much better until Kai Xiaofan put on his mask again, at least those girls eyes not as fierce as. Before, the original Kai Xiaofan students actually so handsome, just based on your appearance, our acting department class 5 class president will never be able to fall into someone else's family classmates what do you think? Zhu Yuehong suddenly walked over to Kai Xiaofan and said, she had just seen Kai Xiaofan's face from the side and back and the moment she saw Kai Xiaofan's true face her heart went into silent ecstasy, what was the core of her coaching, it was performance, and what does performing usually entail? There were many teachers and students who might say it was acting, but she begged to differ. She has always advocated that both acting skills and looks go hand in hand and that's what makes a top. Performer, if one was missing even if one was successful one would always feel that something was missing, and of the two she actually valued her face value more than her acting skills. This is not to say that she is a face dog, but because acting skills can be honed later in life, but looks can only be nurtured innately. 
the kind of plastic surgery doesn't count a glance as fake how to look how twisted, without a doubt Kai Xiaofan's face value was definitely the first place in the fifth class of the acting department of the class of 2018, she didn't even need to look at a few other classes that she taught to be sure that on the face value together, the entire class of 2018. And even the entire school and country had no one to come out on top, wasn't this the seat of a born top actor, with such a diamond in the rough under her hand that would surely catch fire in the future which teacher wouldn't be happy? So her heart had actually decided that Kai Xiaofan had to be the class president of class 5, teacher, I'll vote for Kai Xiaofan, teacher I'll vote for him too, he's the only one who can be class president, I'm not convinced by anyone else, I'll vote with both hands and feet, it has to be Kai Xiaofan, with such a handsome class president the girls in other classes will be envious of him. Looking at the class monitor every day my motivation to study will increase tenfold at least. I swear I'll never be late for a class where the class monitor is present, I'll never miss a class, I'd say the class monitor's face is definitely on the school's top list and it has to be the first one. The process is not yet complete, Ju Yuehong's rhetorical question directly blew up all the girls in the class, as long as they were girls there wasn't a single one that didn't support Kai Xiaofan as class president, coupled with the presence of Huang Ri's for a class of 40 to 50 people already had a large portion of them supporting Kai Xiaofan. Although the remaining boys were all reluctant they had no choice but to keep their heads down and play dead in the face of the absolute power, with the class teacher and a large portion of the class in solidarity a minute later Kai Xiaofan returned to his seat with a helpless face as he claimed the position of class president. Following him, the class quickly chose out some other major positions, they were class president Kai Xiaofan, vice class president by Ningxuang study committee member Zhang Run, discipline committee member Tian Tao, sports committee member Huang Ri, publicity committee member Zhang Zijian, life committee member Su Xiaoyu, and so on and so forth. It was worth mentioning that the vice class president by Ningxuang was Kai Xiaofan's deskmate, the fair girl with the high and cold demeanor. After finishing these things, Zhu Yuehong talked about the two most important things in the near future. Other than the usual classes, the two biggest things in the near future were the military training and the welcome party. Military training is very simple, in addition to waiting for the time to gather training, each person also needs to pay three sets of 21 military training clothing 354 yuan. This set of military training clothes contains a camouflage hat, jacket, t-shirt, pants, shoes, outer belt, inner belt. In order to facilitate changing and washing, everyone needs to buy three sets. Without a doubt the matter of collecting money ended up on Kai Xiaofan's head as the class president, the second thing was the welcome party. Although it was said to be a welcome party those who performed on stage weren't just those outstanding graduates from previous years and the sophomore and junior seniors and sisters, the freshmen who had just entered the school also needed to prepare some programs, this matter was handed over by Zhu Yuehong to the vice class president by Ningxuang asking her to count whether any of her classmates were willing to perform on stage. After arranging everything it was already more than an hour later, Zhu Yuehong took the time to look at her wristwatch and quickly withdrew with Luo Qingqing. After the two of them withdrew Kai Xiaofan created a class button group pulling in all of the students in the class one by one before announcing the end of class. But before he could go and clean up the four Huang Ri who had pushed him into the class president position he was called by the vice class president by Ning Shuang from behind, you looking for me for something? Kai Xiaofan glared at the few roommates who had taken the opportunity to escape and turned around to look at Bai Ning Shuang with some confusion. You're the class president of class 5 inch on the vice president of class 5 I think we're obligated to deepen our understanding of each other so that we can better and more conveniently start our work in the future. The blush on Bai Ning Shuang's face hadn't dissipated by now, but she still forced herself to hold back the shyness in her heart and raised her cell phone, flashing the green bubble QR code at Kai Xiaofan, drop. After a soft ring Kai Xiaofan added Bai Ning Shuang's green bubble. Is there anything else? Kai Xiaofan swept a glance at the four people who were about to lose sight of his back and asked with some impatience, Do you want to go to the school's milk tea store together? I'll treat you to milk no next time. Bai Ningxuang lowered her head and before she could finish her sentence, Kai Xiaofan directly refused. How could Kai Xiaofan not know what Bai Ningxuang meant? This little beauty whose skin is so white that it can almost match his is undoubtedly in love with him and wants to be close to the water tower to get the moon first. But is he Kai that easy to be chased? When he came he had checked the information, the Magic City Theater Academy freshman to senior, plus those graduate students. And beautiful tutors at least there are thousands of people, 
and the male-slash-female ratio is 3 to 7, on average, there are 7 girls and 10 people and a large part of these 7 girls are online. Keeping such a bunch of beautiful young ladies he wasn't in a hurry at all, especially if it was a character like Bai Ning Shuang more tutoring and coaching definitely wouldn't go wrong, in the last few days he hadn't just been playing around but had been formulating several goals and plans that he was going to accomplish in the four years of college, with his current limited thoughts he had only made three plans in total, the first plan is to enter a sports club such as sprinting martial arts basketball soccer etc, his cultivation only needs to show a drop it is enough to break out of the big name, this force must be installed also not him. The second plan is to set up an entertainment media company, the goal is to the school of drama inside the handsome men and women all over the net, then he is capital want to what girls do not have, a few people inside the dormitory when the time comes he will also arrange them into the company as executives, at least a few people are going to a college this ability should still have. The third plan was to break through to the foundation establishment stage as soon as possible, as of now. Breaking through the foundation establishment stage should be the fastest and easiest plan to accomplish, during the summer vacation he had fished seven or eight times in the heavens and the worlds and several times he had encountered immortal cultivation realms and had also listened to the sermons of many monks and knew that foundation establishment usually required foundation establishment pills to assist him. Of course, the effect of breaking through on one's own was definitely better than taking pills, but it just required high-grade elixirs or some great tonic heavenly materials and earthly treasures, it just so happened that Kai Xiaofan had a 3,000-year-old snow ginseng in his hand which was a treasure that even Yuanning stage cultivators coveted. It was estimated that just cutting off some of the ginseng would be enough for Kai Xiaofan to advance to foundation establishment, the Reason why he didn't use it before was because Kai Xiaofan felt that his foundation was not yet solid, but these days he has noticed that the body's mana is extremely difficult to refine coupled with the reason that he has met a lot of friends that the feeling of loneliness and loneliness has receded a lot, just need to polish for a period of time should be able to break through, these three plans are the main goal of his university life. After refusing Bai Ning Shuang's invitation to drink milk tea with him, Kai Xiaofan returned to the dormitory in a flurry of activity, he wanted to catch the culprits who pushed him to become the class president, but once he entered the dormitory he only found Xiao Luqi Orange quietly lying on the bed reading a book, Orange, where are the four of them? Kai Xiaofan frowned and looked in the direction of Qi Orange Orange and asked, they off, they seem to go to the club recruitment place to see. The beautiful sister, Qi Orange returned offhandedly, then why don't you, then you continue to read, Kai Xiaofan actually wanted to ask Qi Orange why she didn't go along to see the pretty schoolgirls, but just after spitting out a few words she reacted quickly, Xiao Lu Zi does not seem to be interested in women asking 80% is also in vain. But in the end this matter Huang Ri four people still did not escape, four people enough to pack Kai Xiaofan's lunch and dinner for three days, only to be considered to get Kai Xiaofan's forgiveness, time flies as five days, Inside these five days, Kai Xiaofan has already collected the money for the military training clothes and handed it over to the counselor Luo Qingqing and three sets of camouflage uniforms have been sent down for each person. Military training time notification also to Each new student is September 15th to September 30th, a period of half a month. Two days ago Kai Xiaofan ushered in a new fishing plutonium, he specially found an excuse to take a taxi back to the Golden Bay Villa, but this time the randomly matched to the world seems to be suitable for ordinary ancient realm so the harvest is very general. At 8 o'clock in the morning on September 15, the six people from Dormitory 857 who had changed into their military training uniforms and eaten breakfast soon parted ways halfway across the city, Chi Orange went to class 1 of the dance department, while Kai Xiaofan and the others came to class 5 of the performance department. Not long after they had just sat down in their seats, the counselor Luo Qingqing led a dark and strong young man in military uniform into the classroom, students this. Is Xu Wei Zhu instructor from now on he will be the instructor of the fifth class of our acting department, the next half a month you all have to complete the training under his guidance, Luo Qingqing pointed her hand at the youth next to her and after she finished speaking, she took the initiative to take a few steps back to make way for the main seat. Fellow students, I'm a sergeant Zhu Wei from a certain army in the next half a month, you will complete some basic training under my strict requirements, I hope that you're all prepared in your hearts, because I'm not a very good person to talk to and my style of coaching is inclined to be hardcore. The instructor named Zhu Wei took a hard step forward and said loudly. I don't know if I was startled by Zhu Wei's voice life committee member Su Xiaoyu suddenly furrowed her brows and ambled. Down, that female student, what are you doing? 
pretending to be sick, if you don't want to go to military training you can just say so there's no need to pretend under my nose. Seeing Su Xiaoyu's movements Zhu Wei's eyes glared and without even thinking he chided with a louder voice, Instructor Zhu this instructor aren't you doing things too aggressively, how do you know that she's just pretending and not really sick? Seeing that Zhu Wei's voice was about to shake the doors and windows Luo Qingqing who had been standing at the back just wanted to try and communicate with Zhu Wei when she saw that Kai Xiaofan had already taken the first step and stood up. To ask a question in return, who are you? Did I ask you to stand up and talk? Oh, Zhu Wei had his hands behind his back, his nose and eyes raised especially high, and a glance over was like looking at someone in contempt. I'm the class president of this class, don't know if I'm qualified to speak to instructor Zhu. Despite being glared at from above by Zhu Wei taking advantage of the podium, Kai Xiaofan stared at Zhu Wei without the slightest bit of fear. Class monitor, sorry you're not qualified. Given that your meddling in the class is disrespectful to the instructor I'll first punish you by sending you out to run 10 laps around the playground. Zhu Wei's eyes crossed and he waved his hand in a very disdainful manner. Instructor Zhu really has a great official authority, Kai Xiaofan who saw this scene couldn't help but be infuriated and laugh. When he hadn't stepped into the path of immortal cultivation he often watched novels and short videos and had heard that certain instructors were dedicated and honest inside the army but once they were sent to the school for military training, they changed. To put it nicely, it may be called a big straight man who doesn't know how to change. To put it bluntly, that is the small soldier is used to want to experience a leader called to drink the feeling. Without a doubt, this instructor Zhu in front of me is such a person. What, do you want to disobey the instructor's orders? I might as well tell you from the moment this instructor takes over this class everything you do will be handed over to me to manage, soldiers obeying orders is the vocation you all have to obey even if you don't, Zhu Wei cross-eyed slapped the podium and roared heavily, old teacher I'm really not pretending my stomach really hurts I want to go to the infirmary to have a look. Su Xiaoyu glanced at Kai Xiaofan with grateful eyes then raised her head with some difficulty and explained, not allowed to go, this instructor says you're pretending is pretending. How could there be such a coincidence, you don't get sick early you don't get sick late and you get sick during military training, Zhu Wei waved his hand very forcefully and directly rejected Su Xiaoyu's request, he thought he had seen through Su Xiaoyu's plan and at the moment his face was very serious. But in his heart he was smug, this time leaving the unit to come over as an instructor was an opportunity he had applied for with great difficulty, in the army unit he was just a small soldier where was he as imposing as he is now? Looked at the forehead have emerged a fine sweat Su Xiaoyu Kai Xiaofan are almost speechless this young instructor a whole rash reasoning is unreasonable it seems to have to make some means, I search Kai Xiaofan suddenly saw Zhu Wei behind the anxious counselor Luo Qingqing, the moment he saw Luo Qingqing Kai Xiaofan suddenly had a plan. This Zhu Wei relying on his position as an instructor had to put up a fight if they forced their way out even if they did afterward they might. Not necessarily be in a position to take advantage of the situation, but Luo Qingqing is not the same ah, she is a teacher Zhu Wei can stop them can still stop Luo Qingqing? Thinking of this, Kai Xiaofan immediately used his mana to condense his voice into a thin line and transmitted it into Luo Qingqing's ears, teacher, quickly go and get this bastard's leader over here, the irritation in Luo Qingqing's heart instantly dissipated when she heard the voice coming from her ears, right? Although this instructor surnamed Zhu was as ugly and hard as a rock in a latrine his leader wasn't necessarily the same. Thinking of this she didn't bother to look for who said. This sentence and how it reached her ears so clearly, taking advantage of the fact that Zhu Wei didn't notice her she quietly slipped out of the classroom in a flash. Luo Qingqing's departure really didn't attract Zhu Wei's attention although the students of class 5 saw it they certainly wouldn't go and tell Zhu Wei just the same. This dark instructor had a strong superior tone ever since he opened his mouth as if he didn't even put them students in his eyes, although the students of class 5 are not deep in the world they are not fools and they still have the ability to distinguish between them. After Luo Qingqing went to get help, Kai Xiaofan directly left his seat and walked next to Su Xiaoyu, although Zhu Wei on the podium spoke out to stop Kai Xiaofan's disorganized and disorderly behavior, Kai Xiaofan didn't even pay attention to him, it was fine if he didn't become the class president of class 5, but since he was the class president of class 5 he had to fulfill his obligations and responsibilities. How are you doing? Can you still hold up? Kai Xiaofan looked at the sweaty Su Xiaoyu and couldn't help but ask in a warm voice, 
I'm fine maybe it's because my period is coming soon I'm different from others every time my period is coming that day it will hurt like hell but when it really comes it will be much better. Su Xiaoyu explained weakly with a red face. She had never talked about such intimate things with the opposite sex before but subconsciously blurted it all out when facing. Kai Xiaofan, just as she finished speaking she shrank her neck in regret. When I was a kid, I followed an old Chinese medicine practitioner inside the village to learn some techniques mind letting me show you first, Kai Xiaofan nodded in understanding then suddenly said, in fact the Magic City Theater Academy really does not have ugly girls such as Su Xiaoyu in front of her she is definitely a beauty that can be rated at 85 points. The conditions in all aspects were no less favorable even when compared to Bai Ningxuan, Bai Ningxuan was a bit like Xiao. Yufu both were arrogant young ladies at heart, but Xiao Yuzu fish arrogant at the same time give people the feeling of more or pure cute first love. Bai Ning Shuang on the other hand is more inclined to the character of the isolated iceberg beauty, generally will not take care of the opposite sex she cannot see but as long as it is into her eyes of the opposite sex she will also go to take the initiative to pursue and even the pursuit of a very fierce. As for Su Xiaoyu, she was the typical girl next door often seen with a bunch of high ponytails wearing plain and simple but very clean clothes, but the simple dress and attire paired with her chubby little face and eyes that seemed to be able to speak just gave off a feeling that could only be described by two words and that was comfortable, how to look comfortable, what do, class monitor you know Chinese medicine? Then you should quickly give Xiaoyu a look, look at her pain she's. Dying, just as Kai Xiaofan was quietly sizing up Su Xiaoyu, Su Xiaoyu's deskmate a girl who was also quite good looking hurriedly said. Class president I believe you just look, Su Xiaoyu also winked firmly, humph learning to talk big at a young age Zhu Wei on the podium couldn't help but snort coldly when he saw this scene, until now he had thought that this was a self-directed play by the students of class 5 in order to not want to suffer and avoid military training. Big talk or not that is something that needs to be discerned with results and facts, what can a person with a simple mind like you understand, Kai? Xiaofan sneered back then gently clasped Su Xiaoyu's white jade-like wrist under Zhu Wei's black face. While pretending to listen to her pulse, Kai Xiaofan had already transferred a strand of mana into Su Xiaoyu's body and very accurately followed the meridians to where Su Xiaoyu's disease was located. Su Xiaoyu's case was very simple, it was simply a case of black and white being reversed and a long period of time where her work and rest were not normal thus causing her body to experience a disordered menstruation. It was only that the disorder in her body was much more severe than other women and she had even developed a blood tumor in her uterus, this hematoma was naturally the main cause of Su Xiaoyu's abdominal cramps, with Kai Xiaofan's skills he could easily remove this tumor for Su Xiaoyu. However, because the instructor in front of him had not been fixed yet and Su Xiaoyu still needed to be sick for a while longer, Kai Xiaofan only pretended to reach out to Su Xiaoyu's abdomen and pushed and held it for a few times, but secretly he used a trace of mana to remove half of the hematoma first and then retracted the palm of his hand. Kai Xiaofan's side had just withdrawn his palm Su Xiaoyu's originally pale face recovered its redness at a speed visible to the naked eye, at the same time, she also felt that the cramps in her body immediately became much lighter, oh my god it class president, after being pressed by you for a few times I feel like my stomach is instantly much more comfortable. Class monitor, you're really a god, after Su Xiaoyu realized that the pain in her body had been half to a level she could accept she looked at Kai Xiaofan with an astonished gaze, Su Xiaoyu's two voices also caused the other students in the class to look at Kai Xiaofan in astonishment, Many people actually had an impression of Chinese medicine but it wasn't a good one. At this stage of Chinese medicine because of the lack of some wild and old herbs have long been suppressed by the fast. Acting Western medicine, in addition to some of the old Chinese doctor's character is still worthy of praise the other nothing. But now Kai Xiaofan's operation undoubtedly let many people into a daze, some students really couldn't tell if what was happening in front of them was real or fake, if they said it was fake, Su Xiaoyu's excited expression and the fragrant sweat that hadn't dissipated from her forehead really didn't seem like she was acting. But to say that it was real, they were also a little reluctant to believe it. After all, Kai Xiaofan was really too young and really couldn't relate to those old TCM. Doctors with gray beards, acting, continue to act, worthy of being in the acting department. Ah, you guys, this acting skill is hard to get. According to this instructor you don't need to go to school, just this acting skill directly to get a movie star is not excessive, even the classmates are not confident, not to mention the instructor Zhu Wei who has always thought that several people are acting. 
But the good thing is that although he is full of disdain, but at least he has also received professional training in the Dragon Kingdom, it is not so big to bully a group of students, but Kai Xiaofan wasn't someone who liked to hold his tongue either. In the face of Zhu Wei's humiliation and provocation several times he first took out a tissue from his pocket and wiped Su Xiaoyu's fragrant sweat on her forehead, then only then did he slowly straighten his waist and turn around to walk towards the podium step by step. Class president don't, Su Xiaoyu seemed to be able to see Kai Xiaofan's thoughts and hurriedly reached out her hand in a stopping gesture. Kai Xiaofan of course heard Su Xiaoyu's voice, but he just reached out and waved his hand behind him before walking a meter in front of instructor Zhu Wei. What, is it hard to believe that you still want to have a few moves with me? Zhu Wei looked at Kai Xiaofan who was close at hand and there was a hidden anger burning in his eyes, just now when Kai Xiaofan was down below he was still somewhat unimpressed, but when Kai Xiaofan walked up to the podium and stood in front of him he realized with embarrassment that Kai Xiaofan was much taller than him estimating that he was at least not less than 1 meter 8 and a half. His height was less than 1 meter 8 inch so when he looked at Kai Xiaofan he had to use a slight upward gaze to see, it's not impossible to have a few moves, the corners of Kai Xiaofan's mouth underneath his mask hooked up slightly his hands inserted into the camouflage colored pants pockets of his military training and the color of contempt in his eyes instantly burst out, good boy you are quite mad since you are not afraid of pain then come out and spar, how would Zhu Wei be afraid of? A freshman, seeing someone provoking he couldn't even be happy enough so he hurriedly pointed to the outside of the classroom and wanted to pull Kai Xiaofan out to practice, second brother don't be impulsive, second brother mustn't go, class president you can't beat the instructor why don't you just give in and forget about it. Class president seeing Kai Xiaofan being dragged by Zhu Wei and about to leave the classroom half of the students in class 5 stood up, inside these people even contained some before is very jealous of Kai Xiaofan face value of the boys, there was no doubt that Kai Xiaofan's gesture of giving Su Xiaoyu a head start today had won the favor of many people. Many people had actually thought of one thing in their hearts, and that was that no matter how much more handsome this class president was than himself and how many girls' attention he attracted, at the very least he was a responsible one, not a wimp. Panic what? Don't panic, I'll just spar with him so what? Kai Xiaofan smiled fearlessly and was about to step out of the classroom in the worried eyes of all the people in class 5 when two figures suddenly rushed in from outside the classroom, one of them was Luo Qingqing, and next to Luo Qingqing was a lieutenant officer in camouflage uniform, Zhu Wei, what are you doing? As soon as the lieutenant officer appeared he glared at Zhu Wei who was excitedly grabbing Kai Xiaofan and walking out, Deputy Deputy Company Commander, you, what are you doing here? As soon as Zhu Wei saw the lieutenant he was like a mouse seeing a cat stammering and asking, you're still asking me why I'm here, don't you know why I'm here, what did the company say before you came? They told me not to be individualistic and not to bully the students in the school, but you didn't listen to a word of it, ha, Chen Fei Yang was so angry that he didn't believe Luo Qingqing when she came to him in a hurry saying that his soldiers were unreasonable and had to let a sick girl go to military training. As a result, he just arrived at this side to see Zhu Wei this guy actually dragged a male student wearing a mask to run out. Now he can't believe it deputy company commander. You don't know they are the acting department class, the old performance I suspect that in order to avoid the military training intentionally pretending to be sick, Zhu Wei explained with his hands in the air, you don't have to give me this, doubt, you have to have evidence to do that. Do you have proof? Did you take the girl to the hospital? You're reckless. You are a complete and utter reckless, Chen Feiyang to Zhu Wei head to face as a flurry of reprimand, he directly reprimanded Zhu Wei until he lowered his head without any temper, sorry for this teacher and students this matter is indeed he did biased turn back to the army I will certainly division head, Tiger Special Forces member Chen Feiyang reports to you. Please instruct the chief, Chen Feiyang just. Wanted to say a few words of apology and then give this class a new instructor to solve this matter, but the corner of his eye suddenly found Zhu Wei wearing a black mask behind him is smiling at him Kai Xiaofan. He was an active member of the Mighty Tiger Special Forces and had naturally received Kai Xiaofan's special training inside the Shu family manor. Even though Kai Xiaofan was wearing a mask because he had spent a few days together he still instantly recognized Kai Xiaofan, and the moment he recognized Kai Xiaofan he couldn't help but shout out. With this shout, the brains of dozens of teachers and students in the entire fifth class of the acting department instantly went down, Zhu Wei, who had his head lowered and was still vaguely unconvinced on his face even stared with his eyes as big as brass bells. What are you waiting for? Why don't you salute the chief? 
Chen Feiyan looked at the stunned Zhu Wei went up to a flying kick, Zhu Wei was kicked awake, but he was stunned to look at the eyes of Kai Xiaofan standing with his hands up, but how can not put out his hand to salute, hey 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 this instructor seems to be a lieutenant deputy company commander even a deputy company commander to salute our class president, class president how much official you just did not hear. He called our squad leader chief, you can't just call him that, he must be. At least a few ranks higher, the class monitor is so mysterious, I want to get to know him, don't get too excited, how old is Choi Shu Fan, he'll only be 19 in the new year, what kind of officer is he, maybe he's the wrong officer. I don't want to believe it, but there's some truth in what you're saying, don't make it a real mistake, that would be funny. While Zhu Wei was awkwardly gazing at Kai Xiaofan wanting to salute but unable to raise his hand the people of class 5 had already been whispering to each other, and here a large half of the people were still immersed in the excitement of the identity reversal looking at the podium with curiosity and shock in their gazes, the other half were a bit more rational or simply put they were the small group of jealous people in the class who hadn't fully convinced Kai Xiaofan as the class president. But soon this part of the class shut their mouths, because Kai Xiaofan didn't know where to change out of a small book and opened a page and sent it towards Zhu Wei's face, the next moment only to see the original still somewhat reluctant Zhu Wei immediately shivered his legs and stomach then forced himself to stand up straight and snapped a very standard military salute, Sergeant Zhu Wei has come to report for duty, please instruct the chief. Looking at the red-faced and fearful Zhu Wei. Kai Xiaofan directly pointed in Su Xiaoyu's direction and said, I have just one instruction, go apologize to that student who is sick. If she accepts your apology, then you can continue to be your instructor. If she doesn't accept it, then I'll let him roll back to his original unit and take one major demerit. Before Kai Xiaofan could finish his sentence, Chen Feiyang said loudly. After Chen Feiyang finished speaking, he looked at Zhu Wei who was still frozen there without moving and his eyes glared as he subconsciously tried to raise his leg again. But this time Zhu Wei learned smartly seeing Chen Fei Yang about to kick. Over again he hurriedly leapt off the podium and ran to Su Xiaoyu who was still lying on the desk and sincerely apologized, class president this I Su Xiaoyu were to see this kind of situation anxious little face are almost wrinkled. Okay let's do this first it won't happen again, seeing this scene Kai Xiaofan could only sigh helplessly, he would be able to punish Zhu Wei through Chen Fei Yang and Zhu Wei a small sergeant wouldn't be able to make any waves. But if that really happened the class might think that he was a bit vindictive and not easy to get along with, he still needed to travel the red earth so he couldn't alienate everyone around him, could he? He had no choice but to let Zhu Wei go first, chief. This bastard kid is not reliable I am afraid that he will not be able to teach the class you are in wealth like this I will also come to lend a hand and supervise this kid along the way you see Chen Fei Yang somewhat nervously came to Kai Xiaofan's ear and said. Just as he finished speaking he took two steps back and stared nervously at Kai Xiaofan's face, his own family knew their own business, where did he want to look at Zhu Wei, he just wanted to follow Kai Xiaofan, as a member of the previous Mighty Tiger Special Fighter Team and now the Super God Special Fighter Team he was all too aware of the skills of the teenager in front of him, now that he happened to receive an invitation from the Magic City Theater Academy to be the chief instructor. For a round of military training he wouldn't let go of such a good opportunity to follow behind Kai Xiaofan and learn, if you want to stay just stay, after Kai Xiaofan returned a sentence he ignored the ecstatic Chen Fei Yang as he paced to the center of the podium and stood. Today's matter I hope you will keep a secret for me try not to go out in order to express my gratitude today's military training after the end of the school in front of the hotel hotel you randomly pick a hotel I packaged. Kai Xiaofan put his hands to the podium of support originally still some noisy below suddenly a quiet, in fact he may be the military leadership of this thing is spread out he does not care much, and he believed that those girls would never be able to leak the news so. His gaze swept towards the crowd of boys with emphasis, especially a few of them have been quietly behind the back to say bad things about him he is the focus of care sharp line of sight even pressed a few people cannot even raise their heads. The class president is right today this matter teacher also hope that you do not just rumor talk everywhere all here, Luo Qingqing also walked over to Kai Xiaofan's side and said in solidarity, after everyone had expressed their knowledge Kai Xiaofan immediately patted Chen Feiyang's shoulder, Chen Feiyang understood and rose up in the air to deliver another flying kick at Zhu Wei, Zhu Wei was staggered by the kick and almost didn't fall down, but he knew that he was in the wrong and did not dare to say anything more and could only say to the crowd of class 5 with a resigned face, 
Come two people to send this student to the infirmary for a checkup and the rest of the people go to the outside of the classroom to gather and we'll start the official military training right away. Around 9 o'clock in the morning, after a farce, dozens of people in the fifth class of the acting department were finally pulled out of the classroom and began to enter the regular military training. This session of the new students about more than a thousand people divided into a dozen faculties, the performance department side there are five classes, according to each class a square at the large playground there are 30 or 40 squares. Basically each square in front of an instructor. Instructors or teach standing posture or kicking or military boxing but also with a class of freshmen directly started around the playground first a few kilometers to practice. Almost everything is very orderly, very normal, but only the last square formation in the corner all the students whose eyes swept over there would have a head full of confusion and question marks, there was nothing else, simply because this class square had two people dressed as instructors in charge of it. What's even more amazing is that one of the instructors was also talking and laughing with a student wearing military uniforms and occasionally when they were happy, the two of them would also take out a cigarette and start to gulp down the smoke, this Nima, are you sure we're in the same training program, why can you have a laugh with the instructor and blow great while we can only stand in the sun kicking the front step? The more many sweaty boys thought about it the more angry they became, so many of them began to question their instructors, but the answer they got was invariably no comment, many of the instructors who were questioned by the students were almost speechless in their hearts, just kidding that instructor who was bragging and farting around with the students was their second in command, to ask them to question the second in command? They wouldn't dare even if they borrowed their three guts. Kai Xiaofan didn't notice the commotion in the military training square. Of course, even if he did, he would only smile slightly, military training, not to mention that Chief Instructor Chen Fei Young happened to be his registered disciple even if it was a lieutenant that he didn't know who was in charge of the Drama Academy's military training his colonel's credentials would be able to directly crush him by slapping him over. He needs military training, who dares to train him, why are you here, I don't think I told you where I go to school right, not far from the acting department's fifth class square under the shade of a tree, Kai Xiaofan took over the cigarette that Chen Feiyang respectfully handed over and took a drag after lighting the fire and slowly asked, back to the master, this matter is actually coincidental, because the world special forces competition there is still a period of time for the reason that our Tiger Special Forces team in the Zhu family manner to accept your special training after being pulled a person with a platoon of ordinary warriors in charge of a school's military training matters and I happen to be divided into the Magic Theater Academy. Chen Fei Young scratched his head and smiled nervously as he explained to Kai Xiaofan, you kid is lucky. Kai Xiaofan looked at Chen Fei Young who was grinning from ear to ear and couldn't help but laugh lightly, all of these special forces soldiers he had taught were now his named disciples, so many of them had been smart enough to change their names, some called him master, some called him master, and some still called him chief instructor, he himself was indifferent to these titles and casually let these named disciples call him, master I say you still accompany this group of students for what? This September sun is still poisonous, why don't I treat you to a cup of iced coffee? The two hid in the shade and talked for a while, Chen Fei Young suddenly threw away the cigarette but then wiped the sweat stains on his head and said. Although it is still less than 10 o'clock, but the outdoor temperature to bring the human body feel at least not less than 35 C, although after Kai Xiaofan's special training but Chen Fei Young's physical quality after all still belongs to the category of human beings winter and heat and other seasonal changes he has no way to withstand, including those students are now practicing and stopping one by one they are all screaming in agony. If you want to drink iced coffee you can go yourself. Do I look like I'm hot? Kai Xiaofan leaned back and sat under the shade of a tree, his exposed skin was as crystalline as jade not to mention sweat, not even a speck of dust could be seen, as expected, the master is the master. It was me who was hasty, Chen Fei Young sardonically touched his nose he had almost forgotten that Kai Xiaofan's ability could not be measured by common sense at all, he could jump dozens of meters in the air. The king of soldiers was able to punch whenever he said so, even loaded bullets were blocked by his empty hands, now there's one more heat and cold and vulnerability, it seems reasonable, doesn't it? No, I'm still a bit hot, master teacher, you wait here for a moment, I'll go buy a few bottles of ice water and come over to quench my thirst, after sitting dry for a while longer, Chen Fei Yang still couldn't help himself and got up wanting to go to the supermarket to buy water to drink. But Chen Fei Yang had not yet taken a few steps, Kai Xiaofan's voice sounded behind him you can buy two bottles yourself, I have water no need to bring it to me, 
In fact, before Kai Xiaofan finished his sentence Chen Feiyang turned around with a confused look on his face. Master you have water, it can't be possible right, you've been with me for a while now and I haven't seen a single drop of water on you Chen Feiyang stared at Kai Xiaofan with wide eyes but even after scanning his eyes for more than a dozen seconds he couldn't see where Kai Xiaofan had hidden a water bottle on him, here here is my water, Kai Xiaofan didn't say much he just reached out and pointed to the back of Chen Feiyang's side, where? Where is the water, not at all Chen Feiyang? Followed the direction of Kai Xiaofan's finger and looked over it naturally he didn't see anything at first, but not more than a few seconds later he saw two youthful and energetic beautiful figures each holding a bottle of ice-cold drink quickly walking past him. He subconsciously inhaled his nose and two distinct aromas instantly surged into the spiritual platform. When he managed to get rid of these two streams of fragrance he saw two beautiful girls with both very tall and delicate figures surrounding Kai Xiaofan on the left and right. The girl on the left had a very pure and lovely appearance just like the perfect first love girlfriend he dreamed of who had crossed the gun, the one on the right's appearance was on the flirtatious side, but her long legs couldn't be hidden even if she was wearing a military uniform frequently attracting the gazes of the surrounding boys, at this moment the girl on the left was twisting the cap of a bottle, but the girl on the right had already unscrewed it one step ahead of time and grabbed the drink bottle with both hands and fed it to Kai Xiaofan, absolute, Master teacher's methods were truly absolute. This is the blessing of all people, Chen Feiyang stood frozen in place uncontrollably drooling with envy, the two who appeared beside Kai Xiaofan at this moment were of course Gao Yunyun and Xiao Yufu, to say that the two of them were also considered to have a heart-to-heart -heart unexpectedly running over to give Kai Xiaofan water at the same time, however, this round was obviously won by Gao Yunyun who was from a poor family, after carefully feeding Kai Xiaofan two mouthfuls of water she even Glanced provocatively at Xiao Yufu who was still struggling with the bottle cap over there, Xiao Yufu's family was from a good family and her appearance was at the level of a school flower so where would she take this kind of anger? Immediately she and Gao Yunyun looked at each other in a wide-eyed stare, okay if you want to fight then go to the side of the fight away from me, do not see around so many people watching, Kai Xiaofan was tired of seeing the two fighting so he immediately reprimanded with a cold face. Kai Xiaofan's position is there he opened his mouth, the two women do not dare to fight again and hastily made good obedience to the appearance of sitting down, this is only if you really have nothing to do then give me a pinch of the shoulders and legs, Kai Xiaofan just sat on the ground for half a day legs and shoulders have long been a little sour simply commanded. The two women are not ambiguous and compete for favor in general one person walked to the back of Kai Xiaofan's shoulder needing one person walked to the front of Kai Xiaofan leg pounding, Kai Xiaofan on this side was comfortable, but the mood of the surrounding freshmen who were resting was not so beautiful, especially Xiao Yufei and Gao Yunyun's first class of the acting department and the second class of the dance department they were like a bull with red eyes glaring viciously at Kai. Xiaofan who was enjoying himself, with Xiao Yufu and Gao Yunyun's face value and figure, they were definitely the top-ranked goddesses in their classes and were the targets that all the boys in the class competed to pursue. But what happened? It's only been a few days that the goddess of their class has been taken down by a dogweed from another class, and this person is still the one who was favored by the instructor before, who can bear this, in the second class of the dance department where Gao Yunyun was several boys were still discussing how to act, over there Xiao Yuzue's first class of the acting department had a dozen or so people who rushed over aggressively under the leadership of two boys, the two. Boys in the forefront pointed their fingers at Kai Xiaofan from a long way away and yelled I've put up with you for a long time, dare to pick up a girl from the first class of our acting department are you tired of living?